Have we oh, not been no. live this whole time? Apparently we haven't been live for the last five minutes. Oh no! It's fine though. We're back now. You've been through. I thought we were good. I know what it's like. Oh no! It's fine. And put this on too. So oh no! Why are you fretting? Never was much. Ah! Everything's ruined. Everything's ruined forever. Uh, thanks for patching me up, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon All right, might we're be able now. to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Who? Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Don't tell me what to do! Uh, Hardcore mode, you could if you want to. Hell no. <laughs> what the? And the Groovatron is bad in your inventory. And the, the hell did that music come from? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you, we, unfortunately, the last five minutes were not broadcast. But what happened was we set up the character. Uh, Doc Mitchell tried to give us <laughs> oh, gross. Doc Mitchell tried to give us a test, and uh, he was so short that we couldn't actually see the Rorschach photos that were popping up next to him. Yeah. Ooh, you got a marvelous mustache on that character. You do have a pretty good mustache. You're right. And you're wearing an ar I think that armor is from. I think it might be from the frontier. The frontier, which is why the icon's kind of broken right now. Yeah, yeah, I just kind of threw some of these mods together. It's working now, I guess. What? <laughs> what is up with this arm? Oh, I look like an idiot. I look like I'm about to tell you my name is Cletus and I'm here to fix your truck. <laughs> I don't know why you need to have a belt of ammo on your chest when you're cleaning my truck, but okay. Can't Moving slowly, lose some weight, fatty. <laughs> Can't believe you started without us. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. All right, so here we go. New Vegas. Well, uh, you want to do the frontier? Uh, no. Okay, then. Ignore that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this Victor? Doesn't look like Victor to me. Howdy, partner. Might I say you oh my god, Victor, what is wrong with you? Victor's seen better days. <laughs> uh, I guess thank you for taking me out of that grave, but also, uh... <laughs> Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Uh, um... You would love more Wanderer's Edition slash Hardcore playthroughs. I mean, Dust is kind of like that. I was out for a stroll that night. And I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. You're it's all it bone like orchard. It's bad eggs, so I laid low. Thank you for the donation, Once Hatchet Man. Run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. Oh, goodness. Thank you, so cubed you people. Right quick. Goodness gracious. Big so donation. many donations. Next stream should be to raise money to buy Zach Famas. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Uh, you could do this the stream to buy me, uh... <laughs> Zach, tell me the next three guns you want to purchase. I think you told me one earlier today. Yeah, I did. It's the... A TM... Um, M... S 8. TM M8. No, it's the Smith & Wesson TRR8. RR8. Yeah, I want to get one. Uh, I've never seen a robot like you before. One that looks like a giant monster. Are you, though? You look like a weird monster. Uh, okay, bye. Happy trails. You've noticed over the years that I know some Spanish and you wanted to know if how I learned it and my level of fluency. Uh, I learned, I started learning it in high school. Then I took like 203 level, 300 level college courses on it because that was like Oh, I don't my even mind. have any yet. Oh. Huh. No ammo for this yet. That's interesting that my hand goes in front of the mat, like how you would actually hold a grease gun. All right. That's kind of cool. And then I also did, like, some Duolingo courses, and I just kind of studied Spanish in my spare time. My fluency is pretty good, but not great. And then the Duolingo owl beat him up and broke one of his kneecaps. Yeah, so I don't... That's actually how he um, emulsified his finger. It, it was the owl. The owl did that. The owl did that, But he too. also made me promise not to tell anybody or he would come back for me, so great. I'm looking forward to a visit from him. Thank you, Kid Reckless. What? Uh, ooh, Okay. There's an AK-400 in here. <laughs> sure. Apparently, I left that mod on. That works for me. It's all right. I just won't use it. Thank you, Nun1234. 
Victor seems uh, like a... Ooh, ooh. a Moss 4956? I feel like they're randomizing... <laughs> a Madsen! Why are there so many guns in Victor's shack? I'm, get, I, I'm gonna assume that I have a, <laughs> a mod on that adds all this stuff and you just stumbled across them. Yup! Maybe not the randomizer after all. Do, 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 do. <laughs> free guns for me. Free guns for me. It's some free guns for me. I think Harry O just gave us 20 Australian dollars and says, You love the New Vegas Minus 3 series? You can't wait for the Dust series? Just Zach going utterly insane. Well, more than usual. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm there to help him out. Hold on a second. I'm just going to do that so I can see what's going on. There you go. You better not take my guns away from me. <laughs> so we got, Oh my god, it's actually a Moss 4956. Okay. That is fun. Oh, well, the animation's busted. Is it? Let me, how was it busted? I, I didn't see that. Uh, like, my hand didn't actually grab anything when I reloaded it. Look. I don't know where <laughs> my hand is going back there. Okay, so these are these are probably mods that require a special animation pack that I currently don't have installed. Ooh, a heat shield for the Moss 4956. What else do we got? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got a Sterling gun. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Sh I should have, like, the OBS window right here, which have, like... Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm looking for the chat window. It's right there. <laughs> I'm... Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I'm a fool. So, I'm seeing a lot of donations. I think those are, like, super chats, but I don't know if those are going to the donation link. So, I'm not sure what's going on. I thought I kind of disabled super chat, but... If you are able to uh, give money through the link in the description, I would appreciate that, as opposed to whatever YouTube's got going on. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to, like, write that off of my taxes or something. I don't know. It might just add, a, like, an extra layer of complexity. The owl, is he... It, he is quite... At El Sneaky Pajaro. Ah, yes. <laughs> the sneaky bird. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The AK-400 is... Oh. The broken reload <laughs> animation where I just bop the top of it and somehow more bullets appear. Bad gun. Bad gun. Bad gun. You're a naughty AK. <laughs> you go right back into this weapon trunk, you naughty, naughty AK-47. Zach's like, install modern weapons. And I'm like, okay. He didn't say install the modern weapon animations pack, though. <laughs> I said install weapons that I actually like. Ah, there you go. You got me. Do the background on those guns? I don't know them. I, you've probably already done the backgrounds on those in the gun range. I'm sure I have, yeah. I don't think we've actually found the Sterling in the game, but I don't have any 9 mil ammo, so I can't even use it. Yeah. And you don't even know anything about the Sterling to begin yes, with. Yes, I do. <laughs> the Sterling is the, the gun that all the Stormtrooper rifles are based off of in Star Wars. Really? Yep. Those are actual rifles based on actual rifles, huh? They're, they're based on 9 millimeter submachine guns. Hmm. Man, that weird. Not grease guns, though. Mm. Nope, not grease guns. They're based on Sterling submachine guns because a lot of Star Wars was filmed in Tunisia and in uh, in the UK where they had access to like World War II guns. Okay. Uh, uh hi. Farming legionary. Hey there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Way too many strangers coming into town. These you days. look decent. No offense. You don't seem... offense taken. You don't seem decently out of place. You seem good. Howdy. Howdy. Unlike you. Yes. And, oh. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute this little... Are you bad motherfucker? Motherfucker. Oh my god, bad motherfucker's a tiny big horner. <laughs> We're traveling together. Motherfucker. <laughs> All right, he's giving me the smash perk. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh, this is the best day ever. All right, so a lineup of mods here we got going. You came from General Dave's stream? Uh, he's not following me. Oh, is the is the AI for him broken? It might be. Or is he just so small he's moving very slowly? Say like keep distance. Maybe that'll oh. change him. Whoop. Oh, you were talking to that guy, weren't you? Oh, uh, was that guy bad motherfucker? Was it not actually this no, little he, tiny big owner? Okay, I don't know what happened to the one-eyed guy there. <laughs> oh, he's, is he... He's not following you? Uh, I think the game's busted. Someone was saying there was 9 mil in the chest, and I wasn't paying attention, which, okay. is, which is typical. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm guessing that maybe the big corner isn't allowed to have the follow package for some reason. I don't know. Maybe. You're at, you're at work right now, but you want to support? Thank you, Sporadic sport, sport guy. We'll have to see what the, uh, what the thing does if it's like, oh, yeah, here's all this money. Yeah, I'll have to, once this whole thing is done, I'll have to... Oh! 
Oh, he is following you, just not... Okay. Just not very well. Oh, he teleports to where you are, but then doesn't move. Got it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so it kind of works. Yeah. I'll have All to right, figure give out... Me the, give me this. Yeah. Give me this. I'll have to do inventory on the stream once we're done with it to figure out if the money was actually going to charity or if it's all just being, like, dumped into an account that I have to deal with. Or maybe it's just being delayed because I just saw, I saw a sudden jump for donations. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Let me check down here. Is it... If I close that... And I close that. Oh, it's because somebody called Abed just gave a thousand dollars. That's why. Holy crap! Yeah, that's why it suddenly jumped. Oh my god, dude! And then we got oh, we got twenty bucks from the Duolingo owl. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Kind of pales in comparison, but it's still appreciated to the thousand dollars. That oh my god, that is so. Thank you so much. You fixed so many hearts. Thank you so much. Okay, does this work now? Oh man, this is busted too. How is it busted? I keep falling. J jump. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> no, even. Oh, what? The... <laughs> I think it might be because bad motherfucker is following us. Oh, you think he's causing love problems? Do you? Yeah. Wait here. Oh, motherfucker. Thank you for the support, Mr. Blonde. Thank you. Motherfucker. And you too, Rogati. Wait, bad mo bad motherfucker. Go go uh talk talk to. Motherfucker? Hmm. I'm broken. I think you might be. Uh it's time for us to part ways. Yes, I'm sure. Motherfucker. I lost this smash perk. I'm sorry, bad motherfucker, but I think you're Thank you, Heronera, and Travis, and Eco Neko, and Screeching Eagles, and A3B Harrier 2 Plus, and Hatchet Man, and Ferro 70. Thank you for all those donations. Goodness gracious, this is so many donations. Oh, we got a donation from an AV8B Harrier 2 Plus. Yes, I tried to say that, but I probably mispronounced it. I keep, like, falling randomly. You're not falling randomly, you're falling for a reason. I'm wondering if you can figure that out. Oh, let's see how this is broken. I mean, it works. No, all right. Why am I just, like, falling over and over again? You're not. Also, I got that shrimp posture. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. A hey, posture check. We don't want any shrimps in the chat. It's strange. You know, once I reinstall the Frontier model, all these visual glitches restarted. Oh, this is an unvaced Odin voice character from a different mod. Okay, that's it. Very well. You can do that if you wanted to. That's an option. Thank you, Iron Scar, for donating $50 to this charity, and also to you, Zeroth. Kitsune. We should download the Mole Rat Companion mod. We already did that. Or oh, was a different one. He's a teenager who was adopted by the courier. What is happening? I just heard a bunch of gunshots. Probably. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? What is going on? I don't know. I have no clue. That is a big... What just happened? Who, who just came through and got shot up? Who, dude? A random powder ganger? <laughs> Random powder came here. This one powder ganger showed up in town. Go! Oh, oh, come on. That's Victor. That's Victor. That's Victor. <laughs> Who is this powder ganger? This random powder ganger showed up in town. Hang on. We need to address this really quick. <laughs> this random powder ganger showed up in town with a browning high power, and he decided to take on this woman with a gauss rifle. That's that... A special gun that comes with that crash helicopter, isn't it? Oh my it? god, I think it might be. It's like so, just like a huge, a huge f off cannon. <laughs> hey there. Hi. What do you have? Oh, apparently you've got the WA one hundred one tactical shotgun. That's too. not a real thing. I know. I know what the game says. It's a real thing, but it's not a real thing. Uh huh. Thank you, Jack and Light eighty one one eight and Sir Roderick Quincy Von Thunderbottom and Just Satan. And Fiend X, thank you very much for the donations. I, I have to have glasses on. I forgot about that. And also to you, Thor Alexander. Thank you for $50. Weather's starting to get weird. Yeah, it's a little peculiar. Uh, let's, go inside the, let's go inside the bar and talk to some people. Hello. <laughs> people that are... How about you just mind your own business? Okay. How about you just mind your own business? Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to get it stuck out of my, <laughs> unstuck from my chair here. Oh, now you picked a fight with everybody in the town of Good Springs. No. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Where did he come from? What? Oh my God. Sergeant Arcus, no, we didn't do anything to you. Except oh, you, man, you. when we
was the last save. Just the last auto save, I guess. So you got out of Victor's shack. My goodness. Mike, we're almost at $3,000. Thank you, everybody. I should have made that. But whatever, it's fine. $3,000 is good for me. Oh, well, somebody, somebody down there is actually saying, like, in the, in the chat... Uh, there's a lot of people saying things in the chat. No, someone actually is down there saying, uh, saying like how close we are to different donations. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ranger Steel, for the fifty bucks. Question: Do any of your military buddies or high school friends dis have they discovered your YouTube channel? How have they responded? Uh, pretty much everybody knows what we do for a living. Oh, that's the companion I made for a while ago. But thank you, Sand Shark. Greetings from Poland. Thank you, Clumsy Panda. Yeah, if you want, you can bring that guy. He's got nothing. He's just a generic companion. I'm generic like, greeting. <laughs> very generic, yeah. It's time for us to part ways. Please confirm. Yes, I'm sure. Returning to Good Springs. Okay, thank you. Very uh, basic, yes. <sighs> okay, uh, bad motherfucker. I think you're causing me to fall, to, to fall repeatedly. It's not him. It's the randomizer. Are mod. you sure? It's adding random gravity. You're, you must be the one. <laughs> Shit, you're very tall. Chet's well, huge. I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. Well, you were wrong. Plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. Agent yeah, well, you're a goober. Agent Few says he believes the three thousand dollars is told to buy donations that doesn't include super chats. I'm trying to figure out how to turn off super chats, but I don't know how. Oh well. Oh well. I'll just say that if you can, if you're if you're gonna donate, please donate using the link in the description, um, because that means that it goes to a charity. And that's, that's, that's the entire reason we're doing this stream is because we're trying to support the American Heart Association and help them raise money to fight heart disease and do research on heart disease and figure out Can do. best treatments and to fund researchers and doctors that do the kind of things that need to be done. Oh, Ingvar's Blade. I remember that weapon. That was that one guy that only spoke Russian in the frontier. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I don't know why. The <laughs> things my brain holds on to. The <laughs> things my brain is is just like... Like, hey, that's really important, and you're going to want to remember that later. You came over today, and you said something that made me go, oh, yep, there's that brain again, just picking up random things. I don't remember what we were talking about. Yeah, I can't remember what it was either. It was, like, something with a knife? I haven't even remember. I don't even remember. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Something with history? I, I can't remember. I know the first, appearance of, the first appearance of Muppets was in, like, commercials. I think Sir Linnet. Oh, yeah, we, I've seen them. Yeah. Uh, coffee. You know you wanted this coffee? I don't yeah, this like coffee. Kermit, the first appearance of Kermit the Frog was in a commercial for coffee, and then the first appearance of, I guess what you would call like a proto Grover is <laughs> is Sir Linnet, who is a Linnet. thing for like a starch that you spray on shirts. Oh, okay. And he says it burneth not and it scorcheth not. <laughs> All right. I I'll have to check that out. I guess later. Donated to the link. No change in the account. I man, that's weird. Jeez, all right. Apparently, we got another $150 donation from Screeching Eagles. Goodness. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. And then you got a $1,300 donation from Metastreumotic Force. What the hell? Thank you so much, man. Man, that is, that's crazy. That's a lot of, that's a lot of love for the Dave of the Heart. Sorry. Man, we're, <laughs> I was so worried this is going to be a complete mess. And it's like, at least we can go and say, hey, we did the stream. And they go, how, how'd it go? And we'll say, it was complete chaos. We had no idea what we were doing. Yeah, we didn't know what was going on. But we got a bunch of people, and they were Dude, really generous. And uh, it, it, I would say, it was a yeah, this has definitely been a success so far. Take it easy now. I can rest easy knowing that this has been a success. Thank you. Thank you, Screeching Eagle. And It definitely has been a success. Metastreamatic Force and everybody. And Rick Smith, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. We... Oh, yeah, like the gravity keeps <laughs> randomly changing. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, Moon Man. Don't worry, there will be a version of Mike and Dust. I'm not making Zach do an entire playthrough of a mod without me. That wouldn't be I very feel easy. like I am on the moon now. <laughs> what is with the freaking... The, like the dust are we in fall uh, of dust already because because we have ran oh my god he's so it's like having a capybara following me <laughs> this is the best is he actually following you now or is he just kind of teleporting I think behind he's, you? he's actually following did you see you saw him what running there's three people here i don't know you you don't know me let's keep it that way oh. let, indeed let's i won't shoot you well i won't shoot you this time i'm very very small <laughs> he's looking fancy howdy that's Firefighter Pete. Pete do for you? 
Uh, what can Firefighter Pete do for you? You know anything about the people who attacked me? I know they weren't on fire, so it weren't my business. They weren't on fire, so it weren't none of my business. Other folks in town might know Thank you, Stemby McLean, Anonymous, so Danny Boy, and Clumsy Panda. Thank you very Watch much. Out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Our playthroughs on the RPG Maker games, your love for them, and you're not kind of making your own. You know, I I made... You remember the RPG Maker the game that I made many, many, many I do remember ago, that one. Where it was based on my job at a warehouse. Yes, and all of us were in the game. Yes. Uh, there was also that. I made a I made a couple different games in RPG Maker. So there was one game where you would go to Zach's house and get, like, the bullet. And then you'd go to Dave's house and trade the bullet for the duct tape. And then you go to someone else's house and say, hey, if you give me some duct tape, I'll give you, like, this gem. And then you bring the gem to the end. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It was a very basic game. It was an incredibly basic game, but I remember it. No. Help out with the Brahmin and Big Horners. You're ready for the next Fallout series? Dust is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be awesome too. No. As yeah. someone who's already no. edited it, Zach with an H is wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. Flyby, flyby with an F is wrong. Just call it salvaging. Yeah, he's, Zach spells flyby with a PH. Wait, I see. It salvage me. Hello, hello, fellow Mike, Michael Owen. Yes, thank you. Me, Greetings from Wales, eh? Good stuff. Guns. Camp, Much appreciated. Spare parts. Good money in it. We got uh, donations from Gaz, Garibi, and D Dibia as well. Thank you very much. Currently working on an essay on how to assemble a Colt 1911. That's apparently an essay material. Any weird facts, you think, for 1911? I mean... Any weird facts on the 1911? Um, it's one 1911 more than a 1910. <laughs> Thank you. That'll work. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh. A question for you. Are you going to get the new Warhammer game, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2? That's yes, a, I will be. That's a thing, huh? Yep, I will be getting that. Oh, I was streaming yesterday, and somebody asked me, hey, you guys going to play Clips of Protocol? And I'm like, I think Zach said the game's coming out on his birthday, and he's really stoked for it. Yeah, I'm super stoked for Calypso Protocal. It's the Dead Space. Cal Callisto you, you, Protocol. Yeah, you've been waiting for it for a long time. Yeah, that. And then also, the game routine is actually coming out. I have no idea what the game routine is. Oh, my God. I, that game, they announced that game like a decade ago. <laughs> You're going to get that before I'm going to get Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh, man. I also I remember Beyond Good and Evil. So what do you know about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. Well, she thinks Trudy. it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Oh, my dad just wished me happy birthday and good luck with the charity streaming. Thanks, Dad. Oh. I also I had an alarm set for today. So like, it's 11 o'clock. I want to be awake and I want to start working on the computer. So I had my alarm set. And I did the normal thing of, good morning, Michael. And before it actually went into, like, this is the weather, he goes, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Oh, Happy God. Birthday. Happy birthday. He started singing to me. And I was like, aw, how do you know my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> That's great and unsettling. I'm concerned. It's festive and frightening. Hello. Had a pretty good claim. Something from Scotland. Thank you, PJ. East by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. That is... Oh, another donation. Oh, 10,000 um, Colorado pesos, COP, I guess. I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it's Colorado pesos. I don't know what, what is what is COP then, Zach. I don't know. Yeah, it's Colorado pesos. Uh, Any advice for someone who's going to study system that needed to be a web developer? Ooh, that sounds like a... Big title. Developers, 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 developers. I guess that's his advice. I have no developers, idea. Developers, developers, developers. Does anybody else remember that? Am I the only one? Probably just you. It's, it's a really old meme. I also got to thank Grimbly for the $100 donation and also Iron Reaper. That's a lot. Thank you, Grimbly. Jeez, you guys are making some big donations. I was expecting like a lot of little $5 donations here and there, but you guys have been crazy. Columbia, it's Colombian money, apparently. Oh, okay. That makes more sense than what I was going for. Danny Schlepper, Simon, Lyaf112, and also Frog Skeleton. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for the donation. What do you use the Bighorners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. You just lay down until you take it off. Well, maybe if you don't find you a know, bunch woo of wild first. high up in the hills, but got to be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. All right, bye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Come on, don't burp into the mic. 
I never did. I may have said this before. What was what was my MLS? My MLS when I first joined the military was 45 Bravo. And then um, after I got out of the military, they changed it to 91 Fox. Hey. Zach, what's your MLS? I, I, I just said. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I was, it was 45 Bravo while I was in the military. And then it was changed to 91 Fox after oh. I got out. Sorry, I'm trying to respond to the chat and also disable Super Chat because that's not part of the charity. But Oh my God, the dog is big. <laughs> She won't bite unless I tell her to. <laughs> what, are you, what are you in Game of Thrones? You got your dire wolf here? <laughs> Marvelous. Hey, thank you, Zach M and Dakur. Thank you for the donations. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Oh, well, no, I wasn't done talking. Your dog is large. I wasn't done talking to you It's a yet. very, very big also, dog. Also, you have a... Camelback and a dress. <laughs> the I best combination. Where's Trudy? Is that Trudy? I, I, I'm, I, I can't get through. Oh, no, that's Vanessa. It's a very tiny Vanessa. <laughs> it's a very small Vanessa. Can't you see I'm very busy doing nothing? No, but I want your M4. Never mind. Goodbye. What, give me, give oh, me your oh, rifle. God. Yes, that's right, motherfucker. <laughs> it's sneaky, yes. Give me your... A girl! Uh, weapons. Oh, I can't take her rifle! You can't, you can't rob her, huh? Dang it! It's probably for the best. Hey there. Hi, how's it going? Do you mind? NCI has guns, Frank. Guns. There's yeah, more Trudy probably hasn't spawned in yet. Yeah, like grenades and explosives. NCI's got those, too. But what about heart, Bill? Legion ain't got no hearts. Shut up! That's ex One moment, please. I'm actually gonna go into the YouTube settings. I believe this is how it works according to this web page here. This so, Patronic Force is from I, Divine Cybermancy. Neat. So go to YouTube Studio. Done. Mike's working on stuff right now. Yeah, give me like five minutes. You can read the chat, I guess. Um, whatever I, Divine Cybermancy. What mod is Vanessa from? I think she's just from a mod... Called Vanessa, I yes. She, yeah, I think she's just from Vanessa. It's another one of those mods where it's basically like incel fantasy. I, it, it kind of. Yeah. I don't. She's I would, like. She, I wouldn't want to be reductive about it, but yeah, it does have that option. She follows you around, and she's like, "Oh my god, you're like so cool." Ah. <laughs> what about hot, Bill? Okay. Yeah. There we go. So I can turn off super chat here and turn it off there. All right. There you go. So thank you everybody who gave a super chat, but because those don't actually go to the charity, uh, I'm disabling them for now. So if you do want to give to the charity, ooh, geez. If you do want to donate to the charity, then please use the link in the video description, which actually goes to the Tilt to Fly for the American Heart Association. Uh, if you did already give a donation, like through super chat, I'll probably just forward it to like, the American Art Association, which is an unfortunately a step I've got to do, but you know what? It's just par for course. If I was in a post-apocalyptic universe, what gun would I carry, and how long would it take me to turn to cannibalism? Probably wouldn't take me to, or uh, probably I probably would never turn to cannibalism because if I was in a post-apocalyptic universe, I most likely would just an hero myself instantly. An hero. I, I, I think we understand the implications. But yes, I would. Yeah. Yes, we would, you wouldn't want to survive. So yeah, I'm not longer. dealing with that. <laughs> Say my name. Thank you, Ziggy Tacos Baby. And another $1,000 donation from the Screeching oh, Eagles. Oh, my God. That's the last I can spare. Yeah, the last $1,000 you had rolling around. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so... Any, oh, my God. Keep, Thank you. Keep your hearts healthy, motherfuckers. You're off to play some XCOM. Oh, good game. We should stream that sometime too. We could stream XCOM. Hello, motherfucker. If you were to make a, if you were to make a need ki new kind of caliber, what would you call it? Uh, new, what would you call see it? See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there. <laughs> I'm not sure what I would. I'm not sure what I would call the caliber, but I can tell you that if I was to create a gun company, it would be Hazard Custom Firearms. So there oh, you go. Okay, there you go. So instead of giving you a caliber name, <laughs> this weather. What gun does she even give you? Oh, uh, the 9 mil submachine gun. Okay. I, th I think it's possible for you, for you to go, all right, here you go. Take this and shoot those sarsaparilla bottles. And she gives you, like, a shovel. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. 
Uh, can Zach read out the following? Can I have that Pancor jackhammer for my FAMAS NP90? <laughs> it's no, I will not read that. They gave $25, though, Zach. Uh, can I have... Idea. Look down the site. <laughs> Try crouching down and staying... Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn... Sarsaparilla bottles. bottles. <laughs> Tell you what. I gotta go chase... Gek there you go. That's, the what, that's what you anyway. get. Darn critters are attracted to it. $5,889.60. More than Fallout 4 Hope's $5,000 expected limit. You know what? That works for me. Thank you very much. Oh, 6.5 zinc would be fun. If it was 6.5 ZNK. Call it zinc, yes. Yeah. Do I still play Destiny 2? Uh, I haven't so, played Destiny 2 in a long just time. Down to the southeast of short ways. I got I got really annoyed with uh, without going on on uh, without going on a whole tangent about why I stopped. <laughs> God, Cheyenne is huge, <laughs> and she keeps getting in the way. Without going on a whole tangent of why I stopped playing Destiny two, um, I just got I got annoyed with a lot of the changes they started making, and it was feeling way too much like a second job. So I I have I've stopped playing and I haven't gone back. That's fair enough. That's that's how a lot of people feel about World of Warcraft. It's a second job. I don't want to do that. Thank you for the donation, Sam. 100, 100 bucks for charity. Thank you. Thank you for that. And Hayden, thank you for the donation as well. We should play Project Zomboid, he says. Uh, or they says. I haven't actually seen much of Project Zomboid. I gotta look into it. I've heard a lot of people recommend it. Aw, oh, is she having a problem? Yeah, she's stuck. Oh. I, I think it's because Cheyenne is too big. Oh. Here, do a second. Unplug your controller for a second. Wait, hold on. Is she fixing herself? No, hold on. <laughs> she just runs into the corner. There you go. She fixed now. I'll look into it though, Hayden. What's the worst gun ever made? Says Mini King, who donated ten bucks. Uh, in terms of, uh, I've heard pretty bad things about the P90, but I have firsthand experience. Oh, so I can't. For God's say. sake. <laughs> Southpaw Paladin says fifty bucks. Thanks for doing this, guys. It means a lot to someone with a family history of cardiovascular issues. I a lot of us have family with issues like that, so. It's very personal for a lot of us. Happy to be doing this, though, Southpaw. Thank you for the donation. The worst gun ever made. I, I'm sure that there are other options that are probably far worse, but the Zip 22 is really bad. Um, I would I would argue sure that the, the Liberator pistol is probably one of the worst firearms ever made. What they are. But like that's just because it's terrible to shoot one. Else. It's not that fun. We can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. It's not fun to shoot a uh, a liberator pistol because mm -hmm. it's a forty five single shot pistol. That this is very important. Okay. The You're barrel right. is made out of a okay, piece of go. flat steel that they roll into a barrel, and it has no rifling. I don't really understand that. You're gonna have to explain that like step by step. What's they the took? Issue? Imagine you take a piece of paper. <laughs> so you want a tube. Okay. You want a tube. You want a tube. Yeah. So you take a piece of paper, and you roll the piece of paper into the shape of a tube. Right. And then you use a little tiny bit of spit to hold the paper together. Okay. I'm imagining that. That's basically how they made the the barrel for the Liberator pistol. Oh, okay. I, I can see why you wouldn't much care for it then. Only they made it... Because uh, the Liberator pistol was designed to be a gun that you sneak up behind a bad guy and go boop and shoot him in the head and then take his gun. <laughs> That's like a single-use only firearm? Pretty much. The way you reload it is you have to disassemble the majority of the gun and then jam the empty shell casing out with a pencil. It's a disposable gun. You, in between, like, the old cameras you get at Kodak. Yeah, it was it was, it was was designed to shoot a, a 45 caliber bullet, and I have actually shot one before, and it is miserable and painful. <laughs> I want one because they're hilarious, but it's miserable and painful to shoot. Uh, thank you, Brit Soldier. For oh, $5. these are not geckos. <laughs> Thank you, Brit Soldier. And Dearth Knight, thank you for the 20 bucks. Hey, I got him. And to you as well, Gazard. Collab with Al Chesbreach. That'd be fun. I'd love to do that. I would love to do a collab with Al Chesbreach. We, we, we kind of have, we kinda have with, the, with the Axeman mod, though. And he's played the mod that I made, so it kind of works. Does he voice Axeman? Yeah, that's, that's Axeman. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you, Roy Andrews. Thank you for the $100 donation. Mike and Zach fall out. Fun times are good See? times. Yeah. I'm getting the hang of it. No, I'm not. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Hell yeah. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two. Give me minutes. 60, 22 Don't long me. rifle rounds. Thanks so much. <laughs> she gives you like five tactical nukes. Here you go. Clear out those geckos. <laughs> Here's Davy Crockett recoilless rifle. <laughs> 
Have we heard of Project uh, Fallout 4 Project Mojave? Yes. Yes, we have. We're very interested in it. Zach is more interested than I am. I think Get it's okay. I streamed it. I streamed the um, early version of it, the early build of it. It's okay. It's, it's New Vegas in Fallout 4's engine. It's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Oh my god! What is, what is the dog doing? You see that? What the? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, what? <laughs> Mr. Steel, no! Why are you here? What if, what's going on, Mr. Steel? <laughs> Did it? Oh! Oh no, Cheyenne! Oh no! Big dog is big dead! Oh no! I, I think, uh... <laughs> is that a protectron? I'm... <laughs> What is happening right now? I'm pretty sure that, uh, well, those that Sunny ants, Smiles is dead. How, where did she go? Oh, check the quest. It, it'll, it'll say where she is if she's still alive. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't Kill see that the geckos link. at the wells. I can't see that link, though, but thank you, Ziggy Tacos. Slavic Cthulhu. Oh, are you, I, oh whoa! <laughs> are you ready for dust? Are you ready for dust? Zach's dust death montage. Is that Hope? Hey, Hope's still here. Have Ow! You turn that off. Who are you fighting, Hope? <laughs> I had to make sure that Hope was installed. Even if we didn't recruit her, we had to at least see her. Because it's called Fallout for Hope, you know? It's called Fallout for Hope, so there has to be a, a Hope here. Bullets and roll them in the dirt. What? <laughs> uh, Where did Sunny Smiles go? Check your quest log. Oh, is that her? No, that's... Oh, that's 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 her that's her friend. That's uh, that's Hope's friend. Oh, that's dead seller there. <laughs> rickety basher, huh? All right, weird. That must be the rickety basher. Hello. What do you need? Yeah, it's Al. Time for me to go. Later. Whew. Sunny was gooified. Oh, was she? Oh, okay. did she get gooified and I missed it? You love the content. Thank you, Mister Helpful Asian. Thank you for the twenty bucks. Question for Zach: Did you know there's a minor league baseball team called the Rocket City Trash Pandas? I have heard of that. It's got an adorable raccoon as in, in a trash can as its mascot. Aww. <laughs> oh, I think Sunny <laughs> did get gooified. We found Sunny. Search goo pile. Yup. There's her purple dress. <laughs> Fare thee well. Oh. Well, we can, well, if you want, we can try it a second time. You know, do, get a mulligan on that. <laughs> oh, what does it look like if you put the purple dress on? Does it turn into like a, a regal purple suit? It has to, right? That's how Fallout New Vegas works. Yep, well, that's not a suit. It's like just kind of generic clothing. Hey, right. yeah, that makes sense. That works. Uh, yes, to everyone who asked about uh, Fallout London and New Mexico and all those other Fallout mods coming out, we're excited. Any Fallout mod that comes out is a, a win in my book. Howdy, stranger. Yeah, come on, Hope. Does Hope lie? Ow. So, <laughs> if you I haven't seen Hope that. before. Uh, she's one of the first companions we recruited back in episode, like, three. Explained. She is basically, yeah, the first companion we recruited. She's not supposed to be a robot, but she's a robot. If you want to know you why, you can check out the series. Extra clothes. Beds around here are so cold, you'll shake like a hound dog on Elvis night. <laughs> she got a lot of fun dialogue. I like Hope. One of my favorite companions, honestly. get rid of some of our food, too. Some of it stinks so Bad, you could knock a buzzard off a gut wagon. All right, let's trade. Yeah, ho hope is hope. Put the party dress on. <laughs> to, oh, you'd have to take away her wander outfit. Don't be robot naked. Don't be robot. Na okay, good. Yay! <laughs> What's she saying? Right, let's trade. Uh, oh, I don't know. I was too busy going through Hope's backpack. Unfortunately, Hope does have a lot of great dialogue, but we're kind of like talking over it and skipping around it. We've already showcased most of it on the channel. <laughs> there we go. Hope is wearing a purple party dress. It looks like she's wearing a jetpack, honestly. <laughs> I mean, why not? What's wrong with jetpacks? I mean, it's a randomizer. I wouldn't expect anything different. Uh, are you ready for Zach Deathmont? Um, Ziggy Tacos, an ordination, asks, what would you do if someone sent you both a crate of MREs? Would you eat them? I mean, eventually I would, but I kind of can't because I, I have gluten intolerance. Ooh, is that, a, is that a thing they have to worry about in the military? Cause do I don't think so, and if they do, they don't care. <laughs> they have vegetarian options for people that are vegetarian. Yeah, but though. are they gluten-free, though? I don't know. I, are there more people that are vegetarian? Is I wonder if the military will just straight up not take you if you have a gluten intolerance. Maybe. Or, I'm not sure. Alternatively, maybe there's no... Well, there's got to be gluten. There's got wheat snack bread. That's got to have gluten in it, right? Oh, God, yeah. It's made of wheat. 
Or is it called wheat snack bread, but it's like made of like cornstarch or something? Oh, who knows? I don't know. Greetings from Norway. Thank you, Kimmy boy. Thoughts on the Craig Jorgensen Springfield M1 89299 rifle? That rifle is pretty freaking sick, and I love the loading mechanism on it. Like most rifles, I there I keep blah, blah, blah. I cannot think of that many rifles that use like a that are manually cycled bolt actions that use a trapdoor mechanism for loading. That's super cool. I'm really into it. A trapdoor mechanism. Yeah, basically on the Craig Jorgensen. Uh, you know how normally on a bolt action you would pull the bolt back and like jam the rounds down into it th through the top? Right, right. On the Craig Jorgensen, you open a little door on the side of it. It's got a big left. You open this door on the side and then just pour the rounds into it. You just drop like five rounds in there and it snaps the door closed. And it's got a leaf spring that, or it's got like an arm that pushes the rounds around a curve up to where the bolt is. It's super interesting. It's really cool. And actually, I think the mill, I think the. I think the U.S. military adopted the Craig Jorgensen for a really short period of time. Uh, I thought it was—I thought it was a super interesting rifle. I would love to get one, but usually they're in like 30, 40 Craig, and I don't really want to pay for. What's that caliber? Yeah, it's—it's it's another caliber. I just don't want to uh, to pay for 30, 40 Craig for a rifle that I'll shoot occasionally. All right, see you, firefighter Pete. <laughs> I hope we're in the purple dress. Yeah, just—it's gonna be. I hope is, you know. I didn't really realize it until she was standing right there. Hope's a little tall. Hope I, I'm liking Hope now that she's taller. <laughs> mm, step on me, Hope. Yeah. <laughs> Big mama. <laughs> mama. All right, well, uh, Sunny Smiles is dead and Cheyenne is dead. Well, hello there. Who the hell are you? you? Be some manner. His name's right there. Gun, would you? Uh, just a courier. Well, I don't have any mail needing delivered, so we have nothing to discuss. Cool. Uh, I'm sure that's from a mob uh, we haven't gotten to yet. We'll get to that later, I, I guess. Nice. <laughs> oh, we found Shruti. <laughs> oh! It's too bad I like your helmet, Joe. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get, get murdered. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, to kill you and take your helmet. Yeah. Yeah. No, come back! Come back! Come back! No! <laughs> what are you firing at him? I'm trying to kill him. What is that? Re oh, what is that? What is what is happening? Oh, that gun is broken now. What are you? Oh no! I don't know. It's not actually shooting. <laughs> it's not shooting anything at him. <laughs> and and of course he's running into that modded building now. Oh, I got I got hits on him. Okay, good, good. And now you. Ah! Oh well, yeah. Sometimes their weapons are randomized too. <laughs> get your get your cop. Take him down. Give me that helmet. That robussy got Zach acting up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Remy Time Live. Oh. Thoughts on the Johnson Eagle XL 1911A1? Planning on getting a license like that in New York City? Uh, I do not know enough about the Johnson Eagle XL 1911. Uh, the what? The... Hey, it's a gun that looks like it's working at least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's out of ammo. Ah, uh, that sucks. Well. Thank you for the the donation. Seven seven Zachary. Ooh, excuse me, I hiccuped. Oh, uh, game crash. No! Oh, thanks, Todd. Thanks, Todd. All right. Pardon me. Un momento, por favor. Oh, boy. Oh, rip, Todd. Let's see. If I hit Alt Escape, there you go. Now we can reboot it. All right. There's bound to be some technical hiccups as we go through this crazy game mode where everything is slapped together and modded. I added like a bunch of other randomizer stuff too. So it's just gotta, just gotta whatever, you know. Oh, so th this guy's asking, uh, Da Cool gave a $10 donation and asked basically the, the kill fuck Mary for <laughs> Piper Kate Curie. Wife, employer, or contract unalive person. <laughs> um, ooh. It's hard for me to say because I don't know very much about Curie as I've never met her in the game. Oh, that's actually tough for me. Okay, um... I think it's pretty simple between, like... You'd, you'd, you'd classify Kate not really as wife material because she's kind of a druggie. Maybe she can be upgraded if you do her loyalty quest. I would... Uh, I probably would do, uh... The have the have the, the the naughty times with the naughty times with Kate. 
And then... And then, uh... Oh, man, this is tough. I guess... Uh, I guess kill Piper and marry Curie. Oh, uh, you like Curie that much? Mm. Curie's a beautiful cinnamon bun. She's too pure for this world. Since I don't know much about Curie, she gets put in the discard pile for me. And, ooh. I think I'll wife Kate because I can change her. <laughs> You know, I've got that fetish for bad girls, like with Jack and Mass Effect. I mean, you technically do. <laughs> you, you do, uh... In video games, at least. I don't normally date truck addicts in real life, but, you know, sometimes... Well, you do change her in the... Uh, spoilers, you do change her in the game. She gets she gets help. That's her, like, companion quest. Yeah, same thing for Jack. That's her companion quest. You help her get vengeance, she becomes a better... You murder her, her former classmate, and she becomes happy. That's kind of weird. Oh. Hey, it's me! Uh, I'm... sorry, I didn't mean to make you appear. I'm you... in the game now! Can Yay! you go away? <laughs> <laughs> you can just not recruit me. I haven't... I'm not gonna follow you then. I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> I'm, I'm very injured and I have no healing items, I think. Oh, here. Let me just, uh... Oh, wait, hang on. I have an MRE. Okay. That didn't do anything. Player.add item. I have this... I already know the code because, believe it or not, I've done this a lot. <laughs> there you go. You can hot key all in stim packs. There you go, there you go. There are infinite stim packs. That's how I survive everything. Have you ever been to Scotland, Zach? We haven't actually left the country, except um, for like one or two times. Zach's been deployed and I went to mm. Africa. That was not an okay <laughs> noise for uh, for YouTube. Mm. Um, I have been to Ireland, but I didn't leave the airport. Oh, you were there for a connecting flight, were you? I was there for a connecting flight to Iraq. Ah, uh, And you went to Germany. And I went to Germany. Vanessa's so small. What's she got in her leg right there? Is that picking her up? <laughs> is she got like, oh, is, there, is her leg glitched or is she carrying like a big old broadsword? She's, she's glitched, but I'm putting her in the trash where she belongs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. I can take care of that. I have blood! <laughs> so, yes, that was a secret for cash on delivery. That is the mic summoning tool. Um, I overheard an argument. Looks like Arg argument, argument, like argumente. We don't, something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader Ringo comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. He says. Men after him needs a place to hide. <laughs> we figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is this Ringo now? Tell me. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Oh, never mind. I want to talk about something else. All right. Um, I'm looking for the people that did things to me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Ooh, that probably needs to be deleted. Yeah, I see that. We got some spam bots here. I'm trying to... Oop, oop, oop. Oh, great. That's that's good. <laughs> what did you do? I made them a moderator. Whoops! <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, I, I didn't actually ban them. Uh, there you go. That Mike, there's a bot! I know! There's I'm a bot, Mike! I get to fly! Get the fly swatter! There you go. I got rid of it. I killed it. You're but, well Mike, you're supposed to stop jerking. It's cheaper than Tinder. Don't worry. I promoted it to moderator, so I was in charge of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> now you too can stop jerking. <laughs> the bot is attacking. Great, good. This is oh, mm. good lord. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the American Heart Association is happy that we're representing them here. I mean, hey man, we've gotten them six thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars. And by we gotten them, it's it's because we got some generous donations here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, oh, including wait. Seymour Butts who gave hundred and fifty bucks. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Seymour Butts. <laughs> oh, I should have named my character Seymour Butts. Thank you. Another 150 donation from Metastream McForce. The guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. <laughs> if that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Uh, I forgot to mention, this is in the first comment. I got sober last year while watching your Fault in New Vegas series, so you both will always have a special place in my heart. Thank you, Force. 
If you ever need a favor from a Yale trained actor, you can call on me. If you can find a way to contact me. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Thank you. I congratulations on getting sober. Uh, meta, me, meta force. <laughs> meta force. <laughs> meta force. I'm sorry, I got your name wrong. Thank you, crazy fish. Rip sunny smiles. Hope everyone's doing well today. Ah uh, yes. And another fifty bucks from Hatchet Man. Also a Zach with an H. Ooh. Ah, so you also spell your name with as an H. As ex-military, do do I conceal carry? Yes. <laughs> what are my thoughts on the Glock 42? I'd rather have a Glock 43 or a 43X. Our, I think the 42 is fine. I just prefer more than 380. Yeah. What is that, Trudy? Hmm? Go on. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So mm. where are they headed? I didn't mm. hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the stretch. My opinion on the VHS-2? Uh, I love it and I own one. It's my favorite. Take Highway 93 up. Another what happened to Trudy? Uh, it's a randomizer. Uh, there's another bot. There's another I bot. I got it. I saw it. I saw it. There's another bot. Kill it. Kill I, the bot. I killed it. I didn't accidentally promote it this time. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, you want me to take a look at the broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. It's probably just a diode. Caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. What are my thoughts on the L1A1? Isn't the L1A1 just the British version of the FAL? If so, it's good. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the donation, Fox Bike. Yes, if you're new to this uh, video, we have a donation link in the video description if you want to support the American Heart Association. We're trying to raise money for them because they do good work. They're the largest su supplier of uh, heart research and disease research in America outside of the federal government, so... Uh, if you have the ability to uh, spare a dollar or two to donate to them, we would appreciate that. Also, it's my birthday, so it's like it's like you're giving me money, but also I'm giving that money to the American Heart Association, and we're saving lives together. Uh, apparently, there's more bots. No, I've killed them already. Maybe I'm not as fast as I could be, but I'm getting them. I'm getting them as I say. I got to play whack a mole here. I'm gotten it. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Uh, okay. Tell me about the NCR. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Why did you say happy Money birthday, troops, Mike, but say it. Mike in quotation marks? They to keep things safe in the region. But if, if that is your real you, name. They do too much. They're spread too thin. What Wait. happened if you find Scar H or Mark 17? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Thank, you for, thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. I should set the chat to sub only. I guess I could. That would probably r um, cut down on the amount of spam we're getting. Unless the spammers subscribe to us, in which case, hey, hey free subscriber. Gewehr or Car 98, which do I think is better? I like the Gewehr 98 better than the Car 98, but that's just because I like really big rifles. I like big, I like big <laughs> barrels and I cannot lie. <laughs> I was wondering where you're going to go with that. By the uh, way, everyone who's saying exterminate the bots, I think YouTube is catching your comment. You can't say exterminate or something like that. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Okay, uh, show them what you have for I'm sale. Sure I've got something you like. It's gonna be randomized. Uh, no, it isn't. Ah, uh, you wish it were. Zach, what's your favorite anime? Um. Mine is Yu Yu Hakusho. I love that one. What is my favorite anime? If you could only pick one to watch forever, I guess. Or the one that had the biggest impact on you. Uh... Hmm. Uh... Kimono Friends? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. It makes you happy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's too many animes I like. Uh, Gunsmith Cats, probably. I don't even know if I've heard of that one. I think Gunsmith Cats. Um... That one's a really good one. Oh my goddess is really good. Uh mm. One Guy Teacher. Zach likes that one. I, I read that when I was in high school. That doesn't mean that I like I like it. I know, I borrowed your manga, I believe. I still have one of your loop on the third books. We both enjoy that series. Yeah. Um, I really like uh Oh, hold on. Thank you, Lone Wolf Psycho, for the donation. Uh what's your favorite gun rants bit? Uh, you were in Small Arms Repair. 
Uh, anything that causes us to break down hysterical laughter is always fun for me. Thank you, Kobe Goy. It uh, looks like your uh, donation there. Thank you. Got the same job as your military side. You make me feel bad. Yeah, okay, thank you. Kind of you to say. Thank you, Remy Time Live, and it's Zoe. Hey, wow. Thank you, Zoe, for the $150 donation. Mm. It's very kind of you to give that much love. Very, very generous of you. Thank you. I really like You're Under Arrest. That one's Some probably one of my one of my favorite ones, but, but no it's one it basically was. impossible to find it in the United States that's translated. Um, Are you still talking about anime? That one's a manga. Oh, okay. Uh, the OVA is really all I like if you're under arrest. Once it gets past the OVA, the animation quality is not great. Uh, the OVA is amazing for you're under arrest. Um, and thank you, Cloud and Anthony, for your donations. Can we give you a brief description of what Fallout Dust is? Uh, it's like Fallout New Vegas, but they try to make it a survival game. You so you can't actually talk to anybody or, um, you know, use it charisma or speech. You basically got to scrounge for everything. Everybody's only got two bullets on their corpse. So every Getting bullet is really you? difficult to come across. That. And we modified it, though. Yeah, I heard it we made it less frustrating. You got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Yeah, no, we... I don't want anything. Bye. Yeah, the Fallout Dust series that we have is still going to be in the same vein, but <laughs> it's so tiny. It's not going to be as brutally difficult as it is by default, because that would not be fun for Zach. He had a lot. He had a rough go of it. Like I knew he was going to, even with it modded. There were a couple points that were a little, uh, a little bit too much. Yeah, it's not the best, <laughs> Joe's cop. It's not the best design. You, you had to go down into the sewers, and those are pretty awful. Things like that. There were some issues. Hello, you spawned me very tall. Let's go. Let's go talk to Ringo. Okay. Ringo, Ringo. We're going to talk to Ringo and shoot his face. Ringo, Ringo. This car crashed into this stop sign here. Yes. Thank you, Wayland Cross and Rogue Shadow and Weapons Guy, who donated $300. Goodness. Jeez, thank you. You guys are very generous. Thank you very much for your support. Very, very generous. Oh. Oh, this mod is still active, is it? Yeah, we'll, we'll ignore it. <laughs> yeah, that mod's coming up later. You didn't see anything. Yeah. You didn't see anything. That's close enough. Just like we can't see anything Boy, because this is in the way. Me. Exactly. Uh, not an enemy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard. That's all. I enjoyed JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Waiting for the fifth series to come out. Over with a friendly game of Caravan. You know how to play? Hell no, I don't want to play Caravan. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. I killed Joe Cobb for you, by the way. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for stopping by, Torno Raydolf, and uh, thank you for the donation. As well as Lady Marishki. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you to, to give what you can. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found him. I don't know. He was like twice Cobb's your size and he had an energy weapon. <laughs> so. I could have handled him. <laughs> well, if he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I can fight them all. It would have been interesting if you did this quest the normal way, where you uh, you help the town out, and then you get them, like, crummy leather armors. Yeah. And then you set them against the, the powder gangers. And it would be totally random on who wins. Like, if the powder gangers all had tire irons, well, good luck. Oh, yeah. Bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the we both enjoy the Metal Gear series, yes. So I figure their friends are out for revenge. We'll probably eventually showcase it. Uh, what's your favorite Metal Gear Solid game, Zach? Um, probably Metal Gear Solid Three. Well, that's pretty good. I was really and good. then three, and then five, and then two, and then four. Ooh, you'd actually rate two above four. That's that's surprising, honestly. I I would do that too, but I think you would you wouldn't have as enjoyed two as much. Four is great, and it holds up well. But I feel like 4 is really dependent on you knowing the previous games to enjoy. Whereas you could probably yeah. play 2 without really knowing much about 1. And, like, I, I really want to play Metal Gear Solid again, but it's it's very difficult for it, me to play Metal Gear Solid. It's tough to go back because you know that Metal Gear Solid 5 kind of ended halfway and the series was kind of thrown to the wayside by Konami. Yeah, it's really kind of a bummer that they're not actually going to make Metal Gear Solid like remake it. I I feel like they Well they really are could. they're gonna remake it for like plachinko machines. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But 
Oh, sorry. I will probably do a bit more of Metal Gear Solid in the future because I enjoy that series. I'm a traitor with the It's difficult caravan. to stream though because there's so many cutscenes. Have I played Metal Gear Rising though? I don't like Metal Gear Rising. Oh, I love that game. I know. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand why that game has become a meme. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, it's... Senator Armstrong's a big goofy idiot. It's not that good of a game. It's. It's not, it doesn't have to be good to be memeable. It just has to be unique and different. They say memes in the game. whoop de doo It's not... They don't say memes in the game. They yes, say, they do! They say things that are weird and different, and they become memes. No, he literally says memes are the DNA of the soul. Yes, but you also have to keep in mind that in that context, memes doesn't mean, like, stupid internet memes. They were saying that in Metal Gear Solid 2, where memes had a to to before memes were things. I know, I know. It's just, it, but because they say that, everyone goes, "Oh well, memes," and then they they cream their jeans over the fact that someone <laughs> said the word memes. Okay, I think I understand where you're coming from. The ire. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree. It's I'm, deserve it of the ire. I don't like hack and slash games. I've never particularly cared for anything Platinum Games has made. Yeah. I understand the Bayonetta is a very good game. Most of Platinum Games' games are actually very good. However, they're not the kind of games that I like playing. That's fair. So that's why I don't like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And I'm sick of seeing videos on YouTube <laughs> where, like, you're a, something, something fun is about to happen or something's about to happen and then Senator Armstrong comes running out and punches you. Yeah, I said, I said to Zach, hey, Zach, I got a funny video for you. And I tried to show it to him. He's like, this better not be a... Metal Gear Rising Revengeance meme. And as soon as he said that, it became a, that meme. Oh, we got more bots. I'd leave with more them. More bots. Don't worry, Zach. They, they've replaced that, so you're never going to see that anymore. You're not going to see that meme anymore. The Metal Gear Ri Rising Revengeance Did meme is dead. They replaced it with Morbin Time. Even better, right? Yeah, it's it's whatever. Those, <laughs> those meme, it, it's, 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 it's whatever. Mm -hmm. I just don't particularly care for that game. It's... It's not a bad game, but oh, 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 everything turned red when I what? <laughs> What's going on? It's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't particularly enjoy it. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Just because, and I, I feel like I have to say this every single time. I'm like, I don't like this game, or every time I say, like, even facetiously, when I jokingly say, "Oh yeah, it's such a bad game." Most of the time, it is not actually a bad game. I just don't particularly care for it. Thank you, Torno and Lady Marishka, Torno Radolf, and Atlas Grand, and Remy Time Live. Thank you for all your donations. Ooh, Atlas Grand gave 50 bucks. Thank you very much. Ooh, goodness. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, people really want you to enjoy the games that they enjoy, so it kind of bums them out when you say you don't enjoy it. Even if it's understandable, they kind of get a little disappointed. Oh, I didn't like the game I like, so... It's, it's good to soften the blow. Just kind of couch it like, it's a good game, or it's probably a good game, but I'm just, it's not my kind of genre. Oh, well, let's it. see what's in. Bear! Bear! <laughs> so what random animals do we have in here, eh? <laughs> I can't see what's going on. Oh, I leveled. Hey, level up. There you go. Thank you, mid, for the $40 donation. Very kind of you. We got you through high school, now you're getting through your, through your 9 to 5. Happy to help you out. How to make time go fast for you with that. Zach got morbid by Metal Gear Rising. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just one meme that you hate after another. Don't worry, you'll hit the next one next week too. Been with you for all 311 episodes in New Vegas. Awesome! That's quite a lot. There's even more episodes if you include all the side series that we've got too. I think we're nearing like 500 episodes in the New Vegas series if you include all the like the, the mini series and the sub series yeah, and side series. Yeah, there's quite a few. We have quite a few episodes right now. Mm -hmm. Like that 311 episodes doesn't include the 800 episodes, we did, the 80 episodes we did for the Frontier too. So it's quite a lot of episodes. Thank you, Billy Joe, Jim Bob. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here and enjoying this with us. If you haven't donated to the charity yet, the link is in the description. The um, the the uh, the charity says, hey, if you want to like do this charity thing, you should probably have like a bot that posts it every. 30 minutes or so, but I didn't actually do that. So I'm just going to say it every 30 minutes or so. You should have done it. I I didn't even know if this was going to freaking work. And it is, kind of. We got it to work barely. Oh, moon gravity. Moon gravity. Oh, I got people wishing me happy birthday too. Man, you <laughs> and Hope are both tight. You're like looking at Pat. <laughs> mm, that's a small super mutant. That is a small goat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well guess who's gonna live on the roof of this building? Is it you? Me? Oh, now, now it's a different jump height. So yeah, if you just got here, uh, we initially started off this stream with the hope of raising $150, and we've gotten way more than that. You guys have been very generous today. Very appreciated. <laughs> well, we're going to be here a while. <laughs> just, wait, we come back to Earth. Zach, I thought you didn't want to go to space again. Nope, I don't. Hello, I've returned. <laughs> All right, don't worry. We'll get on the roof of this building. Another bot. All right. Time to put down the smack hammer. Come on, YouTube. Get on your shit. I'm on the roof. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Naked X did can you like ban them? They are banned. Somehow they keep they got like multiple accounts, I guess. They should all be banned. Anyway. Oh! You broke your leg. Okay, we got it now, I think. Whack-a-mole. Don't worry, I killed it, everybody. Calm down, I killed it. But don't worry, it's like a Hydra. It's gonna get a few more heads. I mean, you could change it to subscriber only. Oh, Agent Fuse is offering to help. Sure, if you want to help, here, I will um, make you a moderator for the chat. You can, they can now do that. Thank you very much for the assistance. Uh... Don't go mad with power this time, though. I know you're thinking it. I know you're thinking it. So what's up, Zach? Oh, you can see... Wow, oh, man, look at that. You, it's such a clear day out. You can see that monument way off there in the distance. Ow! Uh, <laughs> don't jump that high. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I've seen the Kimono Fred's Dojin with Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3. It's it's interesting. Thank you, Red Shadow and Dr. Jackson and Person212 and Anthony. Is Dust going to be a solo Let's Play? No, I wouldn't I make like Zach the arguments. do that. The tension makes the air so heavy it'll break your back. We don't want to spoil the surprise. Don't worry, you'll see. I was going to make the video go live today, but I forgot we're doing the stream. So I'll make it go live tomorrow. You'll see what happens. The next, the first episode of Dust will go live tomorrow on the channel. So watch this space. Ooh. Grave Robin. Yum. Oh. <laughs> we forgot to set the time scale. So now time is going very, very fast. Like, as by default. Oh, well. We can always fast forward time like normal people do. Just wait until morning. Yeah, I wouldn't make Zach do a solo Let's Play. That would be kind of cruel. <laughs> Just me sitting behind him. Come on, Zach. Be funny without me. And there's also me trying to stifle laughter for like 12 hours. Yeah. So, the uh, randomizer gravity mod seems to be conflicting a bit with the you fall over if you jump yeah. to my mod. Uh, yep. What's your opinion on Missouri? Zach did a whole video where he rated all the states. You can check it out on his YouTube channel. Yes, and people got very mad at my personal opinions, which have no bearing on reality. Oh, uh... Tutorial over. Keep All right, out. Well, I guess I probably should help out Good Springs. Don't float this way. <laughs> Hope's trying to do it too. <laughs> oh man, my gravity's not that big. Oh man. Oh man. You're jumping higher than a, a snake up a tree. Oh boy. What? <laughs> you know, Hope's weird colloquialisms. Yeah, she does have many strange colloquialisms. Thank you, Hatchet Man and Atlas B10. <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> Thank you, Hatchet Man. Fallout New Vegas 2. I don't, I don't even want Fallout New Vegas 2. I just want a good Fallout game. <laughs> this is going well. You are going to break your leg and you're I'm probably going to die, actually. Like, I probably will actually die. <laughs> yup! <laughs> yep! I died! What's with your arms there? <laughs> uh, how did this happen? Okay, very how odd. How could this happen to me? Peculiar, yes. Oh, all the way back here. Okay, so what you're gonna go do the the? I don't <laughs> know. Do, I don't know what I'm doing. Do a quest. Do the Good Springs quest. Sure, we'll do something today instead of just messing around 
<laughs> killing ourselves by running into mountains. Oh, gravity is quite your enemy, isn't it? Uh, how hard would it be for me not to burst out laughing? Uh, it would be very hard if I were if if I was making Zach do a silent by himself duck, dust playthrough, and I would just be here watching him trying not to laugh. Make Mike laugh challenge. Although it wouldn't be very funny though, and it would also be kind of stressful for Zach. Hey, we got a lot of fun people around here, eh? <laughs> I'm I'm actually a little. Is Vanessa getting smaller every time we come in here? Is she becoming more and more invisible? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trudy. Why is she wearing her clothes? Uh, Where her clothes? Where her clothes go? The Legion. Uh, what can you tell me about the Legion? Where's Ringo? I already went and talked to Ringo. Goodbye. Oh, where's Sunny? You gotta talk to Sunny then. Uh, well, Sunny is dead. Oh, you can't do the quest for the good Springs then because no, Sunny is dead. because Sunny is dead. Well, then let's go to Prim and continue on, I suppose. All right then. Hello. Hello. Uh, thanks for enjoying this stuff and donation, Bianca. Get your brother to watch as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Frog Skeleton. Thanks again for another donation. Have a great rest of the stream. Thanks. You guys, you, 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 uh, you're great. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for donation. And another donation from Remy Time. Thank you. You want a good Fallout game made by Bethesda? You, you Choose one. A good Fallout game or made by Bethesda? Ah, burn. Fallout 4 was on the right track. We give Fallout 4 a lot of flack because it made a lot of missteps. Had a couple of setbacks compared to New Vegas, but at least it was no Fallout 76. At least it was okay. It had its moments. We, we're making a series from Fallout 4, so it's got its moments. Hey, look, the ammo store. Hey, I remember this place. Hey, it's me, the gun vendor. I'm still here. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember if that was his voice or not. I can't remember what his voice was either, but hey. Um, How'd it go? Welcome to Frankie's Guns and Ammo. Uh, hey, you killed me a while ago, like many, many years ago. Don't worry, I got better. Yeah, it was a long time ago, man. I'm screaming a lot. My neighbor's going to get mad. Again. Again. Never mind. Happy birthday. Thank you, Private Pounder, and thank you for the donation, as well as Most priv most Powerful Dad's donation. Ow! Oh, that was a poorly timed jump. Zach's opinion on the 9mm 1911s. He likes them. Yeah, they're fine. I, I think 1911s are fine. I like... They're good guns. As someone who had to fist fight Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, I had never even heard of that syndrome. I don't know what that is. But I'm glad you battled that and came out the victor, I assume. Or maybe you called it a draw and you went your separate ways. Thoughts on the HK-51? Is that a thing? HK-51? Uh, yeah, I can't remember which one that is off the top of my head. Shut up! Ah, forget it. Oh, Niner still is- Did I install all the companion mods and then just walk away? Yes. We've got Hope and Vanessa and, uh, oh, okay, and Niner. You know, Niner was one of the... <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not bringing Niner. That's fine. Niner was one of the first companions we ever recruited that was back in episode 30 or the so. Who's this guy? <laughs> and I feel like because we weren't uh, experienced, we were kind of rude to Niner. So maybe one day in the future we'll go back and give Niner another go. Give him another chance to redeem himself. I think they're still working on the mod. <laughs> Peace, traveler. How'd it go? Hello. How's it going, buddy? Which way to Prim? Sign says you go south. Just look for the roller coaster. Oh, and don't go north. A caravan just got sacked up the road. Cool, thanks. Bye. Oh, wait, you have anything to trade? That's a dangerous question. His eyes are very ask big. Way a bandit might ask. But since we're close to town... And very far apart. So yeah, that Wasteland Adventurer guy is actually from the deleted files of the game. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Ain't no one gonna mess with me. Yeah, not when you have a freaking fully automatic grenade launcher. <laughs> Keep being funny. We'll do our best. Thank you for the $100 donation, Nate No, Brewer. I refuse. I'm not funny at all. <laughs> what are our thoughts on the upcoming Fallout London? I'd love to play Fallout mods. Including I would Fallout. like to play it because you know what? I, oh, I have said before, and I will say now, I am tired of Fallout. Aww. I, when I say that, I mean I'm tired of the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm tired of it always being in the desert. I'm tired of vault Tech. I just want them to do something new. Yeah, and I even if they don't always have the best idea when it comes to something new, they've tried something new. Yeah, I want the, I want something new so I, I can really... Whoa! <laughs> thin, 
<laughs> we got freaking Slender Man here. <laughs> what in the hell? I appreciate that you're still wearing the mask in public, my guy. Gumby! But- Gumby! He's here, and he will show how to play. Gumby! Gumby! <laughs> he's here. Finding landmines with his face. <laughs> Gumby. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I think the Fallout, I think Fallout London will be really cool because it'll be, there's no Vault Tech. There's no Brotherhood of Steel. There's no, like, of these factions. Like, why is the Brotherhood of Steel? We already ranted about that I, being in 76. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. I. <laughs> why is there an evil, okay, there's an evil an gnome evil in that inventory. gnome. Oh, yeah, I, I really enjoy fan-made mods, which is why, basically, we keep on featuring them on the channel. Because we love them. We love them. I, we yeah. love seeing what they can do. Even if it's not always amazing, it's usually pretty unique. And it's always a good time to try them out. What makes that evil? What makes that Yo, gnome What evil? makes him evil? Is it the fact that he has glasses? Oh, wait, no. I know. I recognize that gnome. He committed tax fraud. Oh, did he? Yeah. I mean, that doesn't necessarily make him evil. That well, just makes him... The IRS says so. I mean, the IRS <laughs> has no judgment on what morality is, all right? They just do whether or not you pay your taxes. Righto, righto. <laughs> can, I, can I say something potentially uh, potentially can controversial? I, um, no, Zach. You must be friendly, family friendly. I can't stop you. You're, okay. you're going to say it no matter what. Uh, I, the IRS I don't is, pay my taxes. No, the IRS is one of the only government institutions that I don't inherently have multiple problems with. Oh, yeah? Because they're just trying to do their job, man. I, they just... You well, kind of hate how they're prioritized. Now their funding goes to attacking the small guy and they never go after the big guys. Yeah. That's kind of a problem. That's annoying, but I feel... Most of the people that work for the IRS, if they didn't have the IRS, they would have nothing. Yeah. Would that be better though? I don't know. <laughs> if you, I, I know, okay, I don't know why I'm asking this question. I know you fucking haven't. Have you ever watched any of the IRS training videos? Yeah. Oh, you have? Hell no! <laughs> what do you think I am, you? I well, watched, what normal person does that? I watched some of them and it's like, all right, well, today we're going to be going over how you analyze the 1040 easy. And it's just like, oh my God, you have, if you don't have the, your job, you have nothing. I'm so sorry. They're like some of the most unimaginative, most boring people in the entire world. Anyway, thank you, Maximum the Stupid and Nate Greer and Brobuscus115. Oh, you enjoy Zach's gun rights? A lot of people do. Thank you. And, and, now, the stories. and now, having said that, I'm going to get obliterated by the IRS next tax season. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the $30 donation. Thank you, Anonymous, for the 150 bucks. Nate Greer, Hunter. Yeah, very kind of you to keep on supporting the American Heart Association. Even you, Pro- Brobuscus, who is not even American, apparently, but still donated to the American Heart Association. Thank you. You know, you, you don't have to be American to donate to, to the charity because they do great work and everyone benefits from the great work they do. No, why are you murdering that Mr. Guts? He was... Uh, because I'm trying to figure out how to get my gun to work. What's broken about it? Box me up and ship me home. <laughs> Box me up and ship me ho. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of rude to call you that. Box me up and ship me ho. <laughs> Going to the beaches of GA? Thank you, Wyatt. Thank you for the donation. Enjoy those beaches. <laughs> the rate of fire on that gun! It, it has infinite ammo! We didn't turn God mode. Oh! <laughs> oh! It has regenerating ammo! Oh my god! Well, guess what weapon I'm using forever now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, speaking of anime and JoJo. I have zero chance to hit. This big gun in your face takes up a quarter of the screen. <laughs> Still, oh, I forgot you disabled that. It's not. Is it disabled? Yeah. No, you have to get closer. I think. Oh, it's randomized. But it's got the yeah. It's got the stats of a melee weapon now or something. Oh God. <laughs> you can fire. It. <laughs> okay, you just get right up close to him. Now. 
<laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm just your friendly neighborhood exterminator here to help. <laughs> We're well, gonna get rid of this bug problem one way or the other. <laughs> oh, great, the bug problem's gonna solve it. Oh, you killed the bug! You killed the bug. <laughs> no, this guy is the bug. Oh. <laughs> All right, don't, Mike, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. He's, Wait, I can talk to him! He's friendly! He says ellipses, he says nothing. Yeah, weird. Alright. Oh. We're gonna we'll probably be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna hold that? I need to, I need to go to the bathroom. Alright. Uh, <laughs> where'd he go? Where the other you got him! You got him. Woo! Oh boy. Alright. Break time, quick break. I'll be here though. Whew. Thank you, Troy. You're an ER nurse and a gun guy in the stream makes your day. I'm happy oh. we can do that. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the donation to the American Heart Association. If anyone else wants to donate to the American Heart Association, the link is in the video description. You lost your grandmother a few weeks ago to chronic heart disease. We, I feel like a lot of us have lost loved ones. It makes it very personal for us. But uh, sorry to hear you lost your grandma. I've got... I've got one grandma left, and she's not doing so well, too. But that's life, I suppose. Not to be much of a downer, but that's just life. But the American Heart Association is a great charity, I think. It's great. It's a great organization. It's, it's got to be a charity. It, it's got the charity, like, um, 501. It counts as a charity. It's a charity. Ah! Oh, it's actually mad if I come back and I kill this character. Mmm, boy. But thank you for the donations. Thank you, Silent Chaos. Thank you for all these giant... Oh, yeah. Uh, don't tell Zach I did that to him. Thank you for uh, all your donations. These are a lot of donations. If you, hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Even if you can't donate big dollars, I kind of expected there to be a lot of small donations, so I really appreciate everyone who can contribute what they can. Thank you, Silent Chaos and Civilian Dan and Shammy the Shamrock. Been watching this stuff for a while. Had a lot of fun with Resident Evil. Ha happy to help. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Greetings from Belgium. Thank you, Civilian Dan. Do you like the Winchester 1897 shotgun? Yes. Zach says yes. <laughs> Mike, what is the correct amount of... The your, your plant is leaking. My, I watered it a while ago. Oh, okay. My plant is leaking because I just dumped like three cups of water in it because <laughs> I haven't watered it in two weeks. What is, the, what is the correct amount of caffeine pills to take? Uh... Probably one at most. Probably shouldn't overdose on caffeine pills. Bottle? No. <laughs> not one bottle. Maybe if they were low yield, but I feel like they're not going to be low yield. No, oh, that's not a caffeine pill. That's just soda. All right. Thanks. I can take care of myself. No, no, no. It's your ass. Don't say you. It's your warned. ass. Don't say you weren't warned. Oh, he's tiny. He's a tiny, he's small, man. Very, very tiny, tiny man. man. There you go. He's very small. Oh, right. no, he's not. I was just a long distance away from him. I, well, uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, I leveled. You leveled up. The vlog channel I made does exist, but I haven't updated it because I've got nothing to say. If I have anything to say, I'll upgrade the vlog Hello? channel. Hello. If you've got something to say, and say it to the soldier. lieutenant. If you've got something to say, say it to your ass. <laughs> Who is this <laughs> firefighter with the... I'm sorry, my God, you got jaundice? Bronzed skin. Quite a town we got here. <laughs> Sheriff gets murdered, Deputy Beagle dragged off for ransom to the Bison Steve. That should bring back the tourists. <laughs> I think I can handle that. <laughs> uh, I Okay, that was interesting banter I've never seen before in all my time. There you, thank you for that. Thank you, Sha Sui, for the birthday wishes and the donation. And thank you, Owen B, for the $100 donation to the American Heart Association as well. Suck at work, but you can listen to the stream. Excellent. Happy to entertain you. Make your day go by faster. LOL, they donated 762. Ah, uh, the caliber. This guy is not wearing clothing. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New <laughs> California Republic. Sergeant Army. McGee, <laughs> you are out of uniform, soldier. Talk about something. Speak to Lieutenant Hayes. At least you have eye pro on. Whew. Where are you from? I'm from the hub originally, but it's been a long time since Ooh, I see their bot. Hold on, I gotta get it. On my second get the bot, get the bot. Oh, uh, it's gone. Uh, uh, uh. Officers are. I think these guys do it before I did. Thank you. Cheap sex. Streamer recommends. You know, you don't have to repeat the spam <laughs> from the bot. Yes, when I watch cheap sex, I always go to nakedhd.xyz. Stop, stop, stop shilling for the spammers. <laughs> That's incredibly counterproductive. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, uh, goodbye. Don't actually. Goodbye, Sergeant McGee, who's not spamming so. us. Hello. Are we going to make more Fallout 4 videos? Yes, eventually. We're get, taking a break from that to play some New Vegas. Because we took a break from New Vegas for a while, so it deserves a little bit of love. Thanks, Rester Reese, for the $10 donation. Happy to keep, happy to lure you to sleep with our beautiful voices. Why is there flack going off in the sky? Flack? You mean smoke? <laughs> oh, come on. You don't think that was funny? I, you know, your tallness is, it can only do so much. <laughs> Lady Dimitriescu. Yes! <laughs> Gotta go, but remember to use your code GRUB at checkout. Thank you, GRUB home child. <laughs> And thank you, Daniel Uchiha. <laughs> oh, nuts, a tiny man! <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? I, oh, man. All right, Driver Defy. What are you doing out here? We were sent out here. Because he's got a golf club? A no, because he's the same voice actor as oh, Driver Defy. As you yeah. can probably tell, we aren't doing This game only has 10 voice here. actors. Yeah. The mission isn't a problem, the problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but <sighs> oh, shit. Things are just going slow. Uh, thank you for the donation. Uh, Pick him up and put him in your pocket! They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town. What happened to the Outer Wilds playthrough? Uh, there's still an episode coming out, but support. it's we've we've already checked out all the worlds. We've seen the majority of what the game has to offer, and now we have to like if we continue on with the series, we have to solve the riddles and the puzzles. And I don't know if Zach's up for that. He, he finds it kind of frustrating. Maybe, maybe. Someone paid for cheap sex. My payment for cheap sex. Thank you. Thank you for the twenty dollars donation to the. Oh, American Heart I bet the American Heart Association regrets every <laughs> second of this. Maybe. Thank you, Eddie. Been a big fan of yours since stumbling across New Vegas videos years ago. Thank you for the laughs. You're welcome. Happy to help. Some free time. Ask away. You can't donate a lot. You donated ten dollars, and I'd say that's very significant. Thank you. Bye. Hey, so really quick, five foot eleven guys, six foot tall girls. <laughs> 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 yep. What are you, it's not trying to peek a poop's dress. I mean, can you blame him? Look how tall she is. Hey, hey, this is only, this is one of the perks I get for being this small. It's like the only perk I get. It's the only perk I get for being this tiny. All right, just let me have this. Hello. All right, Hope, I just need you to sit on me. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got his own giant, small, giant person under She's him. He's like, excuse me. You'll probably want to talk to Hayes. Hey. It's a good thing you came in here now while we were both dressed. <laughs> Unlike that man over there. I like how they're both wearing fire helmet. Oh, for a second, so I saw the helmet, and for some reason I thought this fire extinguisher was another helmet. <laughs> so I was very confused when I looked over here and just saw the fire at the top of the fire extinguisher. I was like, oh, there's another tiny man over there. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you for the $50 donation. MWT to the AHA. Thank you very much. You're all very generous today, and I very much appreciate that. Play Skyrim. Zach has talked about wanting to play Skyrim before. We probably will. We need to. I, well, that's a thing on the Patreon. We've reached that goal. I don't think that is, is it? I don't think that. I'm not sure you should be here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure those hair plugs are working out for you, my guy. <laughs> oh, rude. <laughs> Don't be a dick to him. He didn't choose to be bald. He chose to get awful hair plugs. He chose to be in the NCR, which is known for mocking people, I guess. Ooh. So, how are the power hangers looking today? Oh, let's see. Let's see how, let's see how things are. Whoa! Okay, I thought that was... <laughs> hey, do you think the sheriff is dressed... Is His body's all dolled up in some other outfit? Maybe. Thank you, Nuki. The video is the highlight of your day. Good to hear that. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying. I'm over encumbered. Is your carrying capacity random too? Carrying capacity of no, oh, you just have a lot of garbage. Yeah, I just have a lot of crap. Hold on. Um, let's see if I remember the code for this. Player dot set av carry weight. No, it's not on it. Is, oh, hold on. Close that and open it. Is that is that gonna do it? Is that gonna do it? Yay! It worked. 
Yeah, right. I can carry 7,000 pounds. I can carry three weight, and a half tons. The weight of the world on your short shoulders, yes. No, it's three, just three and a half tons. You carry three and a half tons, and what do you get? That's a tiny little man. Is it up against the wall? Oh. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, I should not have this gun. Oh, Ooh, he's stretchy. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently, when you smack them with Hope's weapon, they grow, but only kind of. Okay. 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 How do you get your mods to work every time? They don't work every time. It's trial and error and troubleshooting. Yeah, a lot of the time they don't work at all. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim. Johnson Ash is actually looking relatively normal. Plan. Yeah, he I looks normal. He's just kind of small. You open there, expect to see something crazy. It's like, hey, it's me. I'm just like a foot shorter. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Ruby Nash! <laughs> oh, Fuse put the code right in there. Thank you, Fuse. I remember it though. What it's worth, oh shit, it's gonna be. And if you fuck with me, I we can take a ride in my SUVs. All right. <laughs> with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Does Hope have Yeet, the Yeet shovel? I don't think she does. I guess a regular shovel, but gravity is just low. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. About one of them packages. What mod is the Gauss rifle from? That Probably, I have no idea. Maybe the Frontier. Yeah. But we couldn't turn down the caps. It says that the overlay is, is stuck at zero out of 150. Well, it's fine. The overlay can be broken all we want. Right? We currently have uh, $8,600 raised for the American Heart Association. So, so thank you for everybody that's contributed to that. Including someone who's trying to give a tip for killing Esther, even though we already did that. Thank you, Red Turner. We're watching since episode 90. Ooh, okay. That was like 2018. Next year's going to see a giant cast in a bikini and cowboy boots. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only we could mod nudity and then stream it, but we can't. Had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Paradise, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I, I heard one of them was carrying some kind of nuclear like device. I didn't look too much into it. Yeah, I didn't really, <laughs> didn't really look into it. it was just your chip that didn't make it. First How many mods we have on? A lot. The job There's a lot of case. mods. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Thank you, Mad Crow. Thank you for the 20, 20 well, bucks. That's where you came in. Yep, that, we're here. So he canceled, yeah, you say. Mm, interesting. When he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. That's You're a courier. Yes, we weird. are aware. I said, sure as like a rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let courier uh, six carry the power. Has anyone ever That's played Fallout New Vegas? Have any, has anyone Once seen this before? Sort you out or something. <laughs> then he just... Uh, I probably don't need it. Cowboy robot. Uh, something else. Give me the delivery stuff. Men still my package. Where they go? And talk to Deputy Beagle. Okay. Bye bye. Oh. Hi. I ain't got nothing for you to eat. If you're hungry, see Ruby Nash. Where, where is he going with a hurry? Uh oh. What, what was that roaring I heard? Uh, <laughs> is this Prim Slim? Uh, howdy, partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, his mouth moves. Mouth moves. <laughs> Who are you? Prim Slim at your service. <laughs> How do you not poke your eyes out with your teeth? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that Prim Slim has lip sync considering the original voice actor character, the robot. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a mouth. Well, no, he lights up, doesn't he? I guess that works, yeah. I guess that's the same thing. I guess, thing. like, the light is similar to that. Yeah, like, it corresponds. The bigger, your, the wider your mouth is. Yahoo! First thing. Okay. Then again, I guess there isn't lip sync for monster characters, of which robots are. Yeah. Also, random question. Are you recording this as well? It's being streamed, so I'm, I'm pretty sure people can just check out the stream once it's done. Why? Well, I don't know, because you could do like a best of afterwards. I could, or people could just clip things and send them to each other. Yeah, that's lot, true. There's a lot of possibilities. I mean, best of. What part of this hasn't been gold? Uh, Besides the 30 minutes of troubleshooting. Ignoring that. Where it was busted. Yes. So I know I heard roaring. I knew I heard roaring. <laughs> uh, there goes the Infinity Gauntlet. If you see the <laughs> Avengers, it's right there. 
And there it goes! It's gone forever. <laughs> now, now Professor Xavier will never be able to get it and turn the world into an entirely handicap accessible place. Oh, according to Agent Fuse, I might have lip synced Death Claws because I have the mod Death Last Death's Last Whisper installed, which was that mod we did a while back with the talking Death Claws. So that might have given all the Death Claws lip sync. <laughs> All right, good to know. What was the roaring though? Was it some, something? All right, all right, let's go. I think it was Prim Slim. All right, let's go assault the powder gaggers here. And I think it was just ambient noise from Prim Slim. Could be, could be. This weapon can only be wielded with the assistance of power armor. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dark here. Oh, did they? Did they kill him? There you go. That gun just sends people in outer space. Yeah, this gun is busted. Like, I should not be allowed to have this. Whatever, we're here to have fun. We're having fun. Oh, no, we've been killing the NC... Oh, that broke it. Oh, no! Oh, no! Hey, he's got Dixon's Whiskey! And Vulcan Warhammer! And a fresh potato. Been watching for years. Thank you for the 150 donation to the American Heart Association, McQueen. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Vulcan Warhammer is busted. What does it do? I don't know. Break the game? All right, fine. Th there it is, though. Okay. <laughs> There's the Vulcan Warhammer. It just won't even appear in my hands. Uh, no. I can't even Dark Souls it and two-hand it. Ah, okay. It's just a little broken. Got it, got it. Yeah. <sighs> it's a dev god weapon. Is that what this is? This? I, I guess. It's super, it's super broken as a dev... <laughs> Guess we're not gonna talk and rescue him. Oh my god, it's a big gun! <laughs> yes, no kidding. Yes, it is. Careful, collateral damage. You're gonna hurt Hope. Remember to keep Hope alive, Zach. <laughs> Get it? Oh, you hit her. Ah, she's fine. She's still alive. Yeah. Okay, well. Um. Oh. He had a death claw gauntlet, did he? Okay. Apparently so. Uh, whoops. Killed that beauty beagle. He got caught in the crossfire. Collateral damage. Sad. Oh, no. I'm so sad the deputy beagle's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Apparently that Vulcan Warhammer is the uh, the frontier weapon that can only be equipped when you have power armor. Oh. Uh, I see. Thank you for the heads up on that, Fuse. Which gun is that? Uh, that was the Guinevere that's also busted. Oh, it's probably something that's used by, like, I'm guessing a crusader f from, uh, the frontier as well. Why are we in space? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go to space. Space, space, space. You've got Gotta normal go gravity, but the guns don't. What's up with that? It, what, what is this thing based on? It's like a weird... <laughs> what is What this? is happening? Why do you crouch and that happens? Weird. This whole thing is busted as hell. The randomizer has broken quite literally everything. Yeah, but that's part of the fun. Thank you for the uh, donation, Armis. Thank you. You love Viking Zack and you hate heart disease and cancer. Yeah, that's a good stance to take. Relatively non-controversial, too. I can't think of many people who would... Who would, uh... <laughs> no, I love heart disease! <laughs> Oh boy, that's great. Uh, who doesn't love uh, clogged arteries and whatnot? Clogged arteries are my favorite. Uh, oh. Always worry that we're going to do something and then uncouth and the game's going to be like, mm, how about going back to the main menu? Mm, how about that? Mm. Hmm. Ever played Portal 2 multiplayer? Oh, I've yes. played that. Yeah, it's, it's quite fun. I remember playing Portal 2 multiplayer with one of my friends in college. Look <laughs> at this body here. <laughs> Okay. I was playing with one of my friends in college and he had an exam like the day before. So he'd stayed up way too late studying and we were playing Portal 2 and I was like, yeah, I need you to go over there and grab that thing. Hey, hey dude, go over there and grab that. And I look over and he's just passed out. He <laughs> fell asleep and is running into a wall. Oh, uh, you're not going to be able to pass the cooperative portal testing initiative then. Yeah. You're very tall. You're very short actually. I'm normal size. I'm actual size, but I seem much bigger to you. Doo -oo. I'm actual size. I seem much bigger, bigger but to the me. skies are clearer. 
That's a They Might Be Giants song. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've heard that one, but it just popped into my head. Oh my gosh, the gravity's low, you can get on top of this thing. <laughs> Go! <laughs> okay. I fell through. Thank you, Grusinator, for the sub, for the, for the donation. Can't wait, to see the how, can't wait to see how the new path for New Vegas series goes. Yeah, we're just doing a few of the uh, overhaul mods right now. Um, I guess since Deputy Beagle is dead, we have to find a new... Oh, no, you know, we'll just go make Prim Slim a new sheriff. That's fine. <laughs> if your science skill is high enough, I don't know if it is, though. Howdy. Howdy. You've come to the wrong place, Traveler. Prim's dying. If you got any sense, you'll be moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey there. Oh, God. Oh, uh, that's a cool helmet. I want that. The, the helmet that turns your head into a skull? Yeah. God, what is with the crouching weirdness? Howdy. I don't know. Quite a town we got here. Ooh, sure, gets nice Mac 11. Deputy Beagle <laughs> Mac 11. Oh, my goodness. And Steve. <laughs> it's weird. That's Every time you crouch, that happens. Course. Like, you've got... Is it in this room? I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, you're going to try and take his stuff? You're trying to console command yourself the Mac 11s? What are you doing? Where is it? It's probably not under help. That's for Fallout 4. Oh. What is it then? Search, maybe? You see, I already give it. You just want to check out the Mac weapon and yeah, take a look at that? Sure. <laughs> All right. We'll just console command that. Uh, I guess it's that one E. Hey, it's Isaac Clark. Hey, I get that reference. It's a Dead Space reference. What? Because the guy over there has got the, the welder, arc welder helmet on. Oh, oh. You're, you're talking about... <laughs> you're trying to pick up that weapon, huh? One E nine five eight nine six zero. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. You want to check out the Mac 11 and see if it's broken? It probably is. I got about seven Mac 11s, about eight thirty eights, nine nine. Oh 10 Mac no, 10s. ammo for it. It's out of ammo. Yeah. You could have just grabbed him, grabbed his weapon with open teammate container. That's true. You could have done that. Whatever though. Thank you, Thermos. Thank you for donating. Howdy, partner. Welcome to. Hello, you creepy monstrosity. Hmm. Hmm. Where did uh, where, where uh, Nash go? Where did he go? I don't. Is that a? Is there a quest you can make active? Hmm. <laughs> there he is. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about. Gotta a find huh? him somewhere out here. Yeah. Yeah, he's tiny. Deputy died. Well, I guess you're gonna have to find us a new law. Sucks. Why huh? do I have to do it? Just talking to those Good point. Why do you have to be the kingmaker? I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about some ex sheriff on lockdown there. Okay, cool. I guess what about Prim Slim? Could he be sheriff? Hmm. Well, I guess I never thought of that. That was Scrap's companion weapon in the frontier. It was using magic companion ammo. Oh, Ooh. someone said it's my helmet is giving me night vision. Oh, the Elite Riot Gear helmet you've got on. That would make sense. It's weird that it makes that noise, but I guess... Okay. Yep. That was it. Okay. Sup, Prim Resident. Okay. With that uh, Enclave Power Armor. Yeah. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Get ready to be sheriff. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> System... You need I said three... get ready to be sheriff. Ah, oh, shucks. Need three fission batteries and four conductors, eh? All right, whatever. Or more science skill. We'll come back later and reprogram that dinosaur. I guess. Thank you, EMR fish. Thank you. Finally, I'm dense. Yeah, I know. It took you this long to figure it out? Might have criticism. Mm -hmm. Took you this long to figure out that I'm dense? <laughs> I'm not a smart man. It's because I got all that gun knowledge in there. There's no room for anything else. How are we supposed to know it was having a helmet effect? It's not like there's a base game effect or anything. It's not like there are any other helmets in the game that do that. I didn't figure it out either. Yeet! And now your everything is broken. A lot of people ask us about the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Old World Blues because it's like Fallout related, but I... Neither, neither of us have played Hearts I, of Iron. Yeah, I've never played Hearts of Iron. I've played Civilization. We did an NCR run of Civilization Five. You can check that on the oh, channel. Yeah. I saw I saw a game the other day that you might be interested in. I think it's called like uh, Humankind. 
It's kind of like a Civ. It's a Civ type game. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Humankind is a, a competitor to Civ. I've not played that one out. It's been out for a while, I think. Apparently, it's very good, but I don't know. I. It's just difficult to get into those games. I have been looking for a good uh, rival to Civ because Civ Civilization Six, I feel, is not. I've I've tried it like for eight hundred hours, and I've had like three good games. It's not been great. There are some really tough balancing issues. Really problematic balancing issues with that game. Couldn't you just mod them? Yeah, I try. I try to mod them to be more balanced, but I mean... Hello. The base game needs to... Get out of here. Oh. He's not hostile for sight. Oh. Uh, he might... Oh, he was a convict. Thank you, nonverbal pie, Roland and Lord Jabu. Oh, you're used to him shooting you on sight because usually by this point you're vilified with the powder gangers. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's probably... But we didn't get to do Run Good Springs Run, so... I also thought these might be the, um... I thought he was a viper. Oh, he's too tiny for me to see him. <laughs> he's tiny and on top of the roof, is he? All right. Ah! <laughs> One of them had a nuclear launcher, it looks like. Okay. Hmm, looks like we're going back to Prim. <laughs> Controller's having a time. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Today you were at a gun hand in Maine trying to buy guns off people so you could sell them for money to donate to Samaritan's Purse and support Ukraine. Every gun went to be made for jewelry, solar pocketed. Anyway, but watch for years. Thank you, Roland TTG. Here is something for better heart health. Thank you for that, Lord Jabu. It's the humor of the Fallout series, the unbridled joy Zach has for capybaras. You two are always pleasant to listen to. Thank you for saying so. Very kind of you to say so. And thank you for the donation. I you, love capybaras. You too, Rich. I just like cute things. Yeah. I'm a big fan of things that are cute. Yeah, this world is cruel and unforgiving, so cute things make that more tolerable. Speaking of capybaras, I think I told you this. I've been getting into a card game called Inscription lately. Mm -hmm. Bit of a puzzle game. And I added capybaras to the game. So I if, heard. If you ever want to play a, a round of Inscription and see all the modded creatures i've added capybaras and shoe bills and a few other creatures you mm. might enjoy yeah so maybe one day we'll be able to get a full run of at least the first act of that game because it's a pretty good yes. game and act one isn't all that long either i've got like 100 hours in casey's mod it's a lot of fun mike really likes inscription it's it came out of nowhere and really surprised me with how good it was you better get out of here or what found you that's what uh, I thought. I would be worried because last time you came down here and started shooting people, one of them had a gun that was pretty powerful. Not guess, as powerful as my uh, Sterling submachine gun. I guess if you take them out before they can get to you. <laughs> get him, Hope. Get him. I think oh. you got him. I think. Right. Hey, oh, level <clears> up. <throat> this time you leveled up without exploding. Ah. Uh. Capybaras are kind of a dangerous animal in Brazil because of the ticks they carry. Ah, uh, well, the ones he saw in a zoo didn't have ticks. Yeah, they're just ones in a zoo. I mean, it's it's true for I love I love animals. I just you know I understand not to I understand that wild animals are wild animals, and you probably don't want to go up to a wild animal and be like, "Let me pet you." Yeah. Oh, actually, I didn't I didn't actually release the episode because I haven't finished editing yet. We have a whole podcast episode where Dak talks about going to the zoo and. Petting uh, capybaras and hanging out with wild animals. So that'll, that'll be live like in a week once I've finished editing it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we talk about that a bit more. What what perk are you going to take, Zach? Uh, Before you get blown up by a rocket launcher. Weapon handling. That works. Oh, hello, uh, uh. Another bot? You're quick on the draw there, Fuse. Thank you. I didn't see your... Yeah, there's a lot of messages. Uh, I'd like to respond to every message, but it's been kind of difficult because uh, there's a lot of you people talking. Someone did say uh, VP70 or 5.7, and I would choose the 5.7. Okay. The VP70 has such a bad trigger, it's not even fun to shoot. Whoa. All right. Oh, boy, that's the one. Oh, wait, maybe not that one? Okay. Like I got him. Okay. Threat's been neutralized. Good, good. 
Uh, if you just joined the stream, we're uh, playing this Fallout game with the randomizer on, including randomized stuff from the Frontier mods. So there's a bunch of random stuff going on. Uh, there's a charity link because we're doing this for charity. So if you want to donate to the American Heart Association, link is in the description. And we do... Sound is kind of broken. And the game is broken. Everything's kind of broken. Mm. Oh, we. I think we have a. I think we have a, an official crash. Uh, second crash. All right. On it. Oh. Wait, wait. Did, did I just see it? Did it move? Did it move? No. Am I going crazy? I Am think I... we've. I think we've crashed. All right. All right. All right. Time for a reboot. Do we want to do Fallout Four? I have no idea if we could. I mean, that game takes a while to boot up too. There's some, oh yeah, it's true. It's got its own technical issues. We'll just end that and reboot that and back in. All right. Take three. I guess take four. Whatever. We're at there. Any advice for someone who would love to work on an armor or fixing guns but has serious phobia of loud noises? Uh, Earplugs. <laughs> Gauss. Yeah, that's basically the best I can do. Thank you, Araki, Senpai, Forerunner, and Blake Ambergaze. What's a cat's favorite game? Fallout New Vegas. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Play Stellaris? I tried. I tried to get into Stellaris because it was like a civilization type game and I had that itch, but Stellaris is daunting. You have to like go through like three hours of tutorials. It is not easy you it at all. It's just, here's the game. Almost as broken as the goal meter. You know, the one that's still set at $0. <sighs> Feel know, bad, Mike. You know what? Feel that, bad. That's good, actually. That's good. Because if people come into the stream and think that nothing has been done, they'll go, oh boy, I can't wait to be the first donor. And then they'll donate. There, there you go. There you go. Feel bad. Whatever. I don't feel bad. Feel bad. Nah. Feel bad. You're shipping off next month to join the army? Well, good luck with that, senpai. What GPU are we all running? We're currently using the 1080 right now. I have a, I have a, I think I have a 1080 as well. Do I? Yeah, I have a 1080 Ti. Do you? I think. Not, no, you, we went to the computer parts store and got you a, a like a recent. Oh no, I got a three. I got a three sixty. I think. Yeah, you got that like a few months ago. I yeah, I I oh, oh there we go. It might be bottlenecked by the rest of your components, but you got a really powerful graphics card. Yeah, I need a better monitor too. I don't think that would bottleneck your graphics card, but well, I, I need a new monitor anyway. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's actually bottlenecked by the rest of my components because I actually have a pretty decent processor in my computer. You know, you could do what I did when we first started doing Fallout New Vegas uh, as a series where I didn't actually have a monitor at that point. I was just using an old HDTV as a monitor. You remember that? I do remember that. And we had a crummy $10 microphone instead of a Blue Yeti. Like, we started off doing this channel with some very bare bones components. Didn't even have a 1080 yet. It was like an art... Was it an RX like 30 model? It was really bad. It was a pretty bad graphics card. I still have that crummy little graphics card. It's like the size of a cookie. It's so small. <laughs> yeah, my current graphics card is a big old chonker. The fan on that graphics card, that first graphics card, is actually bigger than the card itself, I feel. The fan on the front of my computer is the size of a dinner plate. Hey, look! A giant gecko! Whoa! Is that supposed to be a mantis? How'd that get out there? Weird. Yeah, the fan on the front of my computer is like a 300 millimeter fan. Oh boy, let's see what all the matches have turned into. Giant Protectron, Crazed Mutant Machinery. We'll yeah, we'll flank in the small building, Hope. You got it. Thank you, Cracker Shot. I don't like how the robot stretched out. Yeah, a lot of things doing that, it looks like. Uh, unfortunately, we can't ask, answer every question that's being asked of us right now because there's a lot of questions and we're missing some of them. But uh, we do regularly stream, not usually on YouTube. This is kind of a special occasion because we're doing a charity stream together. But we do stream on Twitch. I stream regularly on Fridays. Zach streams pretty regularly on Saturdays. So you can check it out. I think the links to those streams, our Twitch channels are in the description. So you can sub to us on Twitch and then join us on the a, a pretty much a smaller stream because we usually don't have that many people. It, it's a bit busy in here, but the, the Twitch streams are usually pretty small and pretty chill. So if you have a question for us, there's a, probably a better chance of it being answered. Uh, either if you donate through the link in the description so I can see it, or if you join us on the on the, on the streams. Oh, which one of the... I dropped something that I think might have been hopes. I suppose it honestly doesn't matter, though. Oh, yeah? Because, I mean, it's just like, you know... <laughs> Very locked. Eh. 
Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. Favorite gun? That is in Zach's video description on his Switch channel. He's got a frequently asked questions page. Yeah, I have a lot of different favorite guns. So he, he that, that question gets asked of him a lot. So he's, that's probably the his... probably the 226 Mark 25 variant, or an AR-15, or the BNT TP9, or the um uh Springfield Hellion. Ah, yes. You say you just like Twitch because of the ads. It's, it's kind of like, there's different advantages and disadvantages. Hey, man, I got, we got to get paid somehow. That's true. On one hand, I could, we could also stream on Twitch. Oh, that's kind of broken. <laughs> oh, it, it's the full barrel that was broken last time. That's true. That's right. We could we could regularly stream Ow! on YouTube, but I don't know if you want to put all your eggs in one basket. But that is an option. I've seen other people. I've enjoyed other streamers that are on YouTube, but... For now, you can find us on Twitch on the regular and occasionally here on YouTube. I'm going to need to buy more ammo from somewhere soon. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'm running out of ammo. Well, we do have Lacey coming up. And I have a shovel. Mm-hmm. Is, is that a shovel or a shovel, period? I don't know. The Yeet. The Yeet. MG42, yes or no? Yes. There you go. There is an answer to that question. I like the MG42. Mike alive, or is Zach just throwing his voice? Yes, I am just a figment of Zach's imagination, and he's just doing my voice. Thank you, Ace. What did, what did you say? Goodness, look how big this good boy is. <laughs> it's a big look old, how big this good boy is. That's a big old coyote. Big old Night Stalker. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of this good boy. You don't have Animal Friend perk. Keep that in mind, though. Look at the size of the good boy. He's a very big boy. What did you say at the end of the... Um... Thank you, Iron Lax. You, you, your, your ghost whispered something at the end of the oh. last episode where you said, uh, bye, Zach. And then did you say, put the toilet seat down? Yeah. Okay. I, so I said, hi, Zach. And then when you were leaving, I said, bye, Zach. And then I told you to put the toilet seat down. Okay. It was a little difficult to hear, but also I did that on purpose because it's just supposed to be a ghost whispering. Yeah. Added to the chorus of voices that happen when you're in the, in any graves, any graved site. Fallout the Long Dark would be so good. I, yeah, I've said that before. I think Fallout 76 would have been better if they just envisioned it as a Fallout skin over a game like the Long Dark. Because the Long Dark is amazing. It's great. I always sing its praises, except for Ash Canyon. Screw that level. But I love the Long Dark, and I think a Fallout version of the Long Dark would be a great Fallout game. Because it's got everything I love about Fallout, ex you know, except for the RPG elements, because there's, like, no people in that game. But it's a game where you go exploring. It's it's like, if you like Fallout 3, if you're, if, you're, if you're the kind of person that thinks Fallout 3 is better than Fallout New Vegas, then you'll probably like The Long Dark. Because it's going around an abandoned wasteland, scavenging, checking out stories from before everyone disappeared. The Long Dark is great. I will always say it's great. Even if I don't always like the levels. There are the occasional levels I have issues with. The weather has gotten very dark. That is correct. I noted that it was getting dark, so we might have to wait for a few hours until the sun comes back out. Hey, I leveled again. Level five. Man, we're just shooting through the levels here. A Fallout skin over into the Radius or Metro. Yeah, we can do a Fallout skin for Metro. That's kind of the same thing already. Hey! Whoa! Uh, greetings, citizen. <laughs> we are soldiers of the NCR Republic. As you can see by our uniforms. What mod is this? I'm afraid that this building has a uh, tax. People have to pay to enter it. <laughs> 100 caps, and we'll be on our way. Interesting! <laughs> I don't have 100 caps. Oh, fuck this. We'll just kill you and take your stuff. You're not real NCR troopers! I don't believe it! Wow, that went well for them. <laughs> they did not get random things distributed to them, sadly. Well, I suspect they weren't actually troopers, but we'll never know, because there was no Nort on their bodies. Yeah, uh, oh. No! Oh. That guy, we could just talk to that guy. He was just not hostile. All right, whatever. Bye-bye. No survivors. No no witnesses. Thank you for the donation, Ness. Why is he British? Because... <laughs> because uh, not just Americans like this game. Yeah. So that's the thing that you see uh, quite occasionally is that there are a lot of people that mod this game that have British accents, obviously, because they're from not America. So they have different accents. You kind of have to suspend your disbelief. What I did is, if you download my NPC companion mod, there are a couple of um, NPCs in that game. They'll say, oh yeah, we came from a vault where everyone spoke British. 
They, yeah. Everyone in this vault was raised on British lore. We watch British holotapes. So everybody that here has a British accent. And if you find somebody in the wasteland who speaks like this, they probably came from the vault too. And any, any other backstory they give you is a lie. Yeah. That's kind of how I kind of consolidated it. Download Mike's mod. It's very, very good. Mike actually knows how to write mods. I, it's a small mod. It's not an overhaul, but I thought it was pretty good. I'm happy with how it turned out. Added a handful of quests. It's called Mike Bird Fires NPCs, Quests, and Companions, if you haven't played it. Mike is actually... Mike actually writes... Wrote convincing characters, unlike fucking Marco. Damn, it's hot as the devil out here. I'm fixed to empty my water into a tub and go skinny dip. <laughs> Keep it PG, Hope. Mm, must not turn around. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... You You wrote much more convincing characters than than anyone in New Vegas Bounties 3. A lot of people have issues with the way Marco was written, and I don't begrudge them for that. He is kind of annoying and tropey and everything, but... At least we got a full conclusion to the New Vegas Bounties trilogy. My problem with it, one of my problems with it, which I couldn't actually say what my problems were because I was so mad at it that I was just fuming. One of the problems that I have with Marco is that if you are, the majority of people that are playing Fallout are probably playing a, a quote-unquote good character. Yeah. So if you're playing a good character, none of that shit pertains to you. Mm -hmm. None of what he's saying pertains to you. And if you're playing an objectively evil character, you won't care. A lot of people take issue with Mark when there are some projects out there to fan rewrite him and revoice him and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it's not. It's he's kind of underwhelming. Also, his hat is stupid. Yeah, you know that's fine though. We can mock him for that and have fun with that. Thank you, Kyler, James Kelly, Anonymous, and Elias. Thank you for your donations. And, like, why does Ford... Be Ford, is Ford is someone who literally worships the ground that you walk on. And I was a dick to him and shot him repeatedly, but most <laughs> people probably aren't going to do that. Yeah. Aside from the fact that he's a, he's a turd. Coming from the north. Must be crazy to brave those... Hey, we should tell this guy and make him lose his... We should tell this guy about what happened in Nipton and make him lose his Well, mind. we haven't gone to Nipton oh, yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. But anyway, Ford is like, oh, I literally... I literally worship the ground that you walk on. But then he just betrays you instantly... For no other reason that than Randall made me feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the best well written, but keep in mind it, it was like uh, 10 years ago and it's like New Vegas Bounties is still like the best trilogy of any mod out there for New Vegas. And Mike, catapult or trebuchet? Answer quickly. Ca catapult? It's fun to say. Tra trebuchet. Yeah, it is a superior launching siege weapon, isn't it? Those two represents unification. Mostly good for shade. Thompson or much Sherman or Panzer? Ranges. I don't know. I'm not a tank nerd. Yeah. Thompson or MP40? MP40. Nothing. I Marco know. might be poorly written and kind of frustrating in a lot of ways, but at least we could make fun of him and have fun about at his expense. The best part about touch. fictional characters is if Just they're annoying, you can mock them, and it's okay because they're fictional. Their feelings won't get hurt. Road. If your gear is in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major... That's why we don't feel bad about saying shut up, Hope, all the time. You know, shut up, Hope, shut up, Hope. Because yeah, because Hope isn't a real person. Hope isn't going to go into a grocery store and then someone will go, Oh, hey, you're that character from the New Vegas series. Shut up, Hope. Ha, 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 Like that character that voices Meg. Like the person that voices Meg from Family Guy always gets harassed like that. Mm. Things like that. Uh, there's a ghost living on the rooftops here. When I, I got this assigned, hats, I was hoping there'd be more gamma. I was hoping there'd be more gamma. Why is it one of the one of the the big horns has been replaced with a Casador? No, they ride Casadors and milk the robots. That's what they do. What kind of milk would you even get from a robot? Thank you, Killer Matt and Blue the Artificer and Ginaku Tenshi and Jonathan and Quartz. Thank you very much. How long did it take for us to set up all the Fallout 4 mods? It took a, a day or so. <laughs> Heard your footsteps coming up the ramp. You're tiny. You sound like a trooper or one of the merchants. Nice hat. Nice enclave hat, trader. trader. If so, this might be your lucky day. Do we got any short stack appreciators in the chat? And your eyes are good. <laughs> I've already answered. Thompson or Thompson machine gun or MP40? MP40. Swedish K or MP40? Swedish K. Tenchi asked. Uh, Tenchi says just got into modding. Super fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
uh, the more modders, the better. The more fun we could have, the better. We're always happy to see what people make. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town, I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Goodness, Maybe thank you very much, Killer Matt, for the $50 the donation and the 150 from Quartz. Thank you very do. much. Go there. PPSH 41 or MP40? MP40. Mark 23, SOCOM or USP? They're the same gun. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> USP. Aliens or predators? All right. Aliens. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right, you got it. We're cutting out eyes and ears. Be back soon with all those eyes and ears. Not much to tell. Full of... Man, Ranger Ghost wants a lot of body parts. It's kind of weird, but okay. M4, AK, M4. Why would I ever pick an AK? Yeah, I think it's pretty yeah, clear. Yeah, I want a communist weapon. I think it's pretty clear where you stand on that. You've made your... Oh, yeah, I want a commie weapon designed by a backwoods redneck that doesn't know, that doesn't know a hammer from a rock. Over time, your opinion on the AK seems to have soured more and more every time you get asked that question. It's just really fun to keep to keep making AK fans mad. <laughs> uh, Cass looks different. Oh my, Cass. Hello, want to go drinking? Cass looks weird. We won't go quiet. We need ammo. The Legion can count on that. New face in the outpost. Hi. Must have come from the north. Hi, Lacey. So, what do you have? Mm. Uh, ammo. You got the ammo. You remember you brought Russell the Roundy Street because Landon shows up. And yeah, he, he doesn't have any unique dialogue, unfortunately, no. Having Marco kill your companion sucks, but it fits for Russell. I guess it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh. How I love you. Is Cass not wearing pants? She's wearing pants. It's just tan. Tan colored pants. Why is there 38 special in there? That's weird. It, all right. It's always awesome to see one of your favorite content creators do something for charity. Thank you. Thank you, Alaskan Pancakes. Thank you very much. And Red Masquerader says, isn't Mike supposed to be dead? Eh, I got better. Thanks. Yeah. Thank Rumor, you. Rumors of his death were greatly exaggerated. And also thank you to finally Tessa and Sunspot. Thank you very, very much. They change outfits Morning. every time? No. No, not really. She's got pants on. It's just tan Yeah, pants. she has pants. It's difficult to see because lighting is poor in this game, but you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, hey, there's those soldiers there. What soldiers? Oh, those two? I don't want to talk to them. Yeah, you don't have to talk to them. They have ambient conversations. If anyone's downloaded that mod, 3D NPCs, add more characters that have ambient conversations you can listen in on. Download Mike's mod. It's not, it's not even from my mod. It's from a different mod. Download Mike's mod. Download both mods. They work together very well. It adds more NPCs. Both of them add good NPCs that uh, fit in with the lore of the game. They don't break the lore, hopefully. Well, why would I make fun of AK fans when Glock fans are right there? Because <laughs> uh, he actually enjoys the Glock, I guess. Yeah, because the Glock isn't, it doesn't have a giant hole in the side of it that is just like, hey, I'm right here willing to accept any and all dirt. So that I stop working. <laughs> favorite vanilla song, or favorite song you hear on the Fallout Radio? Ooh, um, Big Iron. I don't always jam out to it, but it's probably the best song. You can make it there and back before the sun comes up. Uh, the I'm I'm Mr. New Vegas and I love you, where he says I love you. I'm Mr. New Vegas. That's not really a song though. It's just him. He's just coming out on the radio saying I love you. Nice mantis. Oh, you're Pac Mantis. I see. Oh, I was really hoping it would say something. Murr! Yeah, Why did you just pull out a grenade? <laughs> That's concerning. I'd like to see your wares, please. Stand back! I'm going to defend my mantis at all costs, or I'll take them both out, both out with me. Oh, jeez. A $1,000 anonymous donation. Oh, my God! My goodness. Thank you so much, dude. That's insane. Well, that pushed us over the edge. Now we got $10,000 raised for charity. Thank you, anonymous. Uh, I'd like to thank you personally, but you kept yourself anonymous, so I'll just say thank you. Thank you very much. Man, you guys are great. You guys have been so great. Thank you so much for supporting the American Heart Association. They're a good charity. Happy to be able to help them out. The Discord link has expired. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Is it the old? It's, it should be the one that says, no, it should be fine. I checked it like three days ago. Discord, stupid Discord link's always expiring on me. Good 
should be working. It would, it wouldn't be the first time it expired, though. No, it works. It says it works. No, you must be having problems, because it works for me. There, I took all of his money. Yes, thank you, Agent Fuse. We've reached ten thousand seven hundred dollars raised for the that's, American Heart Association. That's so much money! It is! That's so much money! <laughs> ten point eight. Wait, 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 wait. Hey there. Hold Hello. up, hold up. I just gave you way too much money. <laughs> Don't be stingy, Zach. We just raised a bunch of it. Yeah, but this is my money though. <laughs> it's coming out of my personal paycheck. Come on now. Yeah, you guys might not know this, but Mike actually pays me based on how much money we make in Fallout New Vegas. Not, not actually like ads or anything. It's how much money I made in bottle caps in Fallout. <laughs> yes, and I don't let him console command him itself because otherwise he just give himself into money. That's just cheating. Yeah, yeah, I would just give myself money, and then that would bankrupt the economy. And then in between recording sessions, I go pour some of it in the well just so I can pay him less. Have Mike or I ever played Magic the Gathering? Yeah, I actually, I used to play it quite a bit. Um, yeah, and then also when we did the, uh... Oh my. He died fast. When we did the, uh, video... Uh, this farm gives me the creeps. On, um... Feels like the I don't... Are all I'm using an assault rifle! What? Oh, the weapon. It's probably popping up because somebody else is trying to use a weapon. Uh, when we did the, uh... Inscription game. I kept saying I swing for lethal <laughs> when, I would, when I would go for lethal attacks. I assume that's the uh, Magic the Gathering reference. Yeah. What's the best struggle food? Is that struggle or snuggle? I'm guessing it's like comfort food. Um, uh, mac and cheese probably. Yeah, you had some gluten free mac and cheese. Uh, the South American vulture. Ooh, he got big when I got close to him. <laughs> what is? Someone asked what my favorite sidearm is. It's probably the 226 Mark 25 or a Glock. Ah! 17. Jeez, Hope, what are you wielding now? Is I got a blade on a stick? Okay, weird. I like handguns. Handguns are neat. That takes care of that, says someone off in the distance. Uh, oh, look at the lake lurk back there. Hey, look at those ants. They're big horners. <laughs> look at those ants. They are big horners. There's a death claw over there, and there's a lake lurk. Thank you, Kyler. I've never played Magic the Gathering, but I have played the Yu Yu Hakusho trading card and also Pokemon trading card back in the day. Basically, if you played any card, if you played any... Oh my god! Yeah, their projectiles are kind of randomized too. Whoa! Remember, that was sketchy. Do you remember when we had uh, Cheyenne who was barking gun bullets out of her mouth? Oh, I remember now. Yeah. Yep. All animals can do... Oh, hello. Hey there. Hi. Who are you? Who uh, is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Thank you, N7 Grenadier and Saber Axkel and Allura. Thank you for the donations. It's a very generous donation, Saber Axkel. Zach, if you could have one gun for the rest of your life, would you choose? I think you said before it was uh, not the P90, but... Uh, um, If I can only have one gun? Like you're only allowed to possess one gun? Uh, Probably the B&T TP9 short barrel rifle that I own. Ah, the BNT, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, even though it's 9 mil and it's a really short barrel, it probably would be that one because it's small enough that I can feasibly conceal it. <laughs> Something's spitting at us. Oh, I don't worry, Hope's gonna kill it. It was just, it was uh, one of them things. All right, let's go. Let's let's go to let's go to Nipton. Hold on, is there is a ah? We can go to Sector B. Sector B. There's a 13 ball in the mine box. Oh, this is where Sector B is. Sector isn't it? B. Yep. That's from the A World of Pain mod, which adds mm. over 100 new locations to explore. But yeah, I guess like my comfort food would probably be some type of macaroni and cheese, or maybe like a pizza. Yeah, mine would probably be like a cheese bread. Like a crazy bread or a cheese yeah, bread. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Oh, you, you just took a swink of soda and your headphones fell off. Yeah, that happens a lot. Worst follower we had? Oh, hmm. Who would be the worst follower? Hmm. Uh, Niner. Niner was kind of annoying, but he didn't interrupt or get in the way or... Well, Ford. <laughs> yeah, Niner didn't end up betraying us at the end. Ford, Niner, the abomination panics and flees. Um. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that? That guy was going to kill me. With a giant sink. Yes, I see that now. What was that you took from his corpse? What? This? Uh, he stole this from me at gunpoint. Lucky for me, he got distracted and I got a chance to draw on him. 
It's a necklace that I made out of these special caps. Oh? You ever see any caps with a blue star on them like these? No, never. Hmm. Wait, I mean... Hmm. You Nothing like those six you've got there. They are nice, aren't they? I'm very proud of them. Oh, I thought that intelligence check was going to get you in trouble. Kind of like uh, when you're doing the Dead Money DLC and you do a speech check. You're mm -hmm. like, hey, this is a speech check. I'm going to turn off my brain and hit the speech check because I know I'm going to pass it. And then it ends up getting you the bad ending. I yeah. thought maybe it was going to be something like this where you're like, oh, an intelligence check. And she's like, oh, you are pretty smart. Guess I'll have to kill you. Hmm. Actually, the necklace is made of seven caps. It's not really yours, is it? Well, I guess you're... Aha, uh -huh, it is that thing I just said. You're too smart for your own good. I'm going to stand here. Uh, <laughs> didn't even get a chance to put a weapon. Ah, uh, yes. I saw somebody had asked, She has dinner bell! <laughs> is that what someone asked? She has dinner... She has the shotgun dinner bell. Yeah. That you get from Red Lucy. Yeah. That's the, that's the reward you get for schnogging Red Lucy. Uh, somebody had asked if I had a 5'7", how much would someone have to steal from me before I'm willing to bankrupt myself to shoot 5'7 ammo at them. It's not, that, it's not even that expensive. It's like a dollar a round, which is not even that bad, honestly. I'm familiar with that meme. It's not a very funny meme. Thank you, Petro, for the $200 donation. Ah! I got your back. Because he knows the money's going to a good cause, he feels good about that. Thank you. Thank you for that donation. And Izzy City... What, what is happening to Hope? <laughs> She's falling in slow... For the 450 donation. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 I believe I can fly. Oh no, we can't sing that song anymore because he he uh, he peed on on underage people. Oh, is, is that is that is the song taboo? Okay. I mean, we can. <laughs> I I don't really I don't particularly care, but like, fuck that dude. Okay. Yeah. Nice armor. Oh, Oliver's wearing the Crusader leader's armor. Couldn't you just drink it like booze? Doesn't it make you want to join a cult and then take out some people in the frontier? Are you a powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Izzy City, for the 450 donation. It's very kind of you because that's a lot of money. Going to a good cause. Cool to see you guys expanding out more and more. Should have listened and not re-enlisted. Ah, uh -huh. you should have. Should have, would have, could have. Goodbye. Enjoy, enjoy your army life. Later. And thank you, Joel. Thank you for your donation. Zawaruldo! Hey, two shot. The Crusader Carapace, yep. Uh, I need 12 gauge ammo. pleasures? <laughs> for me, it's got to be Spring Valley Crisps. When I was young, I used like to collect the little barcode so I could send them in for a moon map. What? Never got it, though. I imagine these days Spring Valley's going through a nuclear winter. Is that like Hidden Valley Ranch dressing or something? Who is giving you rewards for sending in barcodes? Yeah. What corporation still exists? I don't think any of them do. Weird. Uh, search you're 12. Trying... Oh, you're going to give yourself ammo, huh? It's it's not gonna do twelve gauge and twelve gauge has to be the same oh, thing. What? Just do search for gauge ammo maybe, or twelve ammo. And if you want to get yourself ammo, you can get some ammo. There you go. I need twelve gauge. There ammo. you go. A E C F five. Eight Echo Charlie Foxtrot Fiver. Eight Echo Charlie Foxtrot Five. It's not Fiver. It's Fife. Whatever. Four hundred. Uh, I don't want to confuse Fife with Niner. Shotgun! We got a shotgun! There you go. Shotgun! We got a shotgun! Thank you, Pretzel Ranger and Habibi Martin. Shotgun! Oh my god, it's boxcars. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Oh, I, I was like... Who? I think the roaring is bad, motherfucker. It's, it's gotta be! I was yeah. so confused for a second. Um, You know what a really good... I. I I'm sure somebody has asked this question, but do you know what a really good post-apocalypse gun for the United States is? Or, I mean, honestly, 
Any, Ma- any gun that's got caliber that's frequent, I guess. Maybe even the UK? I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, a 12-gauge shotgun. Is it? Is it easy to maintain? Hey! Whoa! A friendly lake lurk. Okay. He's not friendly anymore! Okay. It's nighttime again. Man, time keeps on flying by. Oh, it's not even nighttime. It's one in the afternoon. Weird. In fact, for that matter, I'm going to set time scale to make it two. That way it's going to stay daytime for a while. If this is daytime, it's just cloudy, I guess. I don't know how to change the weather. Anyway, 12 gauge shotgun because uh, you can. Ba- I like how this guy just came off of the cross and is just like, well. <laughs> it just got off the cross! <laughs> 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 like, I was dancing on the cross. <laughs> he fell off! He fell off and was like, yeah, I'm gonna take you bastards down, and then it did not go the way he thought it was going to go. <laughs> Goodness, look at. Oh. Don't worry. Oh my god. My hey, Wolfes. How you doing? It's useful that you happen by. Is it really? I, I will. Tell me about Caesar's Legion. The Legion is civilization reborn. Oh, is it now? Our culture is based on virtues such as martial excellence. Zach, is that a Remington 870 or an Ithaca 37? I think it's an 870. The dam. Name of the android girl companion? That's Hope. From Stop. Hope Lies. Only she's not an android by default. That's a, that's a mod I did to her. I modded the mod. Where? That guy got bored of being crucified. If you want to... Oh, Agent Fuse has a console command for us to change the weather. Let's You're try that. Usually... You're unusually bright for a person we're about to crucify. Yeah. Let's give it a try. So, Fallout, Wasteland, Weather, NV Wasteland Clear. Interesting. NV Wasteland Clear. Clear. Is that even going to work? What do I think about the Scorpion Whoa! and the Scorpion Evo? Uh, the Scorpion and the Scorpion Evo. It's Benny! It isn't Benny. <laughs> what do I think about the Scorpion and Scorpion Evo? They're both really good. Uh, they're both really good, like, firearms. The original Scorpion is a little kind of hard to use now, but. Uh, thank you, Noble Fire, for the donation. You've been watching this for years now. Nice. Thanks for all the content. Our pleasure! Love to see the two of us have fun and bonk things in the name of Bahamut. And thank you, Great Sage Gwyn. You give me 20 bucks to use a pistol for a while. I, we could, I mean, if we find one. I don't know if I even have one. I have a 10 mil pistol in 12 rounds. That's, yeah, okay, we'll just fire the 12 rounds, I guess. <sighs> Hard to let a bunch of murderers walk away. <sighs> but we gotta be smart. Um. Besides, the good lord will make sure they get theirs. Sorry, what was that? Did we, oh, I guess we did let them walk away. We didn't murder everybody. Yeah, I did didn't we? kill them. No. Uh, see, I agreed with them, actually. Yeah, this is what I love about Hope, is that she's got dialogue for basically every quest in the game. Like, they did a lot of, they did a lot of work on Hope. Every location has some bark for her, maybe a few of them. How many people even let the murderers go? Not very many. Most people just gun them down. Well, I say that, but most people at this point aren't even, aren't even that strong enough to do that. So maybe they don't. I think I tried to the first time I played this game and they weren't hap- uh, it didn't go well. It didn't happen, no. Thank you, Caligula and good guy Darkses. Thank you for the $100 donation. Very kind. With love from someone who's a member of the Bundeswehr. Bundeswehr. It's the You're- German military. Oh, okay. Doing a great job? Excellent. Thank you. Uh, another raider. Uh, and there he goes. Ow! Got him. I didn't actually get him. Hope dead. Uh, she's, she's quicker on the draw than you are. Thank you, Fuse. Tinder overpriced. Stop! Shit. I, I'm gonna stop <laughs> mentioning whenever Fuse does that. <laughs> hey, everybody, spam our channel. Zach's gonna read it aloud like you're a freaking donor. Ah. <sighs> So, what's your favorite quest in this game? My favorite quest in this game? Yeah. Um... I'm not talking modded, because you already know my favorite modded quest in this game. Wait, what is your favorite modded quest? It's the one from uh, the frontier, the uh, Unsafe Harbor. Oh, yeah, that they did a really good job on that. They Honestly, that one's really good. I wish the rest of the frontier had been that good. Yeah. Oh, I'm just exploded. Uh, and someone's shooting at something with something. Uh, there's a lot of chaos going on. Hope it's friendly. <laughs> Who is exploding? What is happening? 
Someone picking a fight with the merchant here. Oh, it's a fiend. A fiend is attacking or being attacked <laughs> You're gonna with his bare hands. <laughs> okay. What is my favorite quest in this game? Yeah. What is my favorite quest in this game? Hey there. Need anything? Is it the one where you get two lovers to fall in love? You gotta go back and forth between the two locations five times? Um, no, it's definitely not that one. I don't know. I'm not actually sure what my favorite quest in this game is. A lot of people say, and I would agree, that one of the best vanilla quests is um, the one in the Ultra Lux, because there are so many different ways to resolve it. Uh, Beyond the Beef, I believe is the name of yeah. the quest. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a really fun episode we did of that. Yeah, we always have fun with these things. I, I really like that episode. I, 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 I can't remember. I, I was getting real like punch drunk in that oh, episode yeah. for some reason. <laughs> I was getting real punchy. It's always great when that happens. All right, let's make this guy real What's sad. It? Something else you wanted? Hey, is everyone in that town okay? I'm worried. The Legion has attacked Nipton, burned and killed everyone. I can say Ave Kaiser. <laughs> what? Ah, no role playing, fun stuff. Miles from the Colorado. They, they aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside. Mike, the what's your favorite an What's the scariest seen. animal in your Not opinion? We're doomed. Uh, scariest animal. Thanks for bringing the word. Mm -hmm. Even if the news. Cordyceps is, bad, is pretty freaky. No. Wait, which one's that? Cordyceps is the one that takes control of your brain and makes you stand out on a leaf so you get eaten by birds. I mean, yeah, but that only happens to ants. Right. But if it happened to humans, it'd be pretty freaking terrifying. Yeah, but it's like, that isn't happening. Yeah. You know what else would be terrifying is if sharks learned how to use guns. I guess polar bears. That would bears. be terrifying. A polar bear would probably mess me up and I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Thank yes, God that yeah, I would, in the I, would, I would agree with that one. Polar bears are terrifying. They're uh, real scary. Yeah. What, is, what do I think is the most terrifying? Ooh, how about animal? the Misfits quest? That'd be pretty good too. Yeah, eh, that one's not a bad it's one. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Arcade Ganon's quest? Well, it's pretty good. Kind of time-consuming, but it's good. I like how the companions in this game have a companion quest. Check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Ooh, Arizona Killer is good too. Yeah, you'll know what happens when you either protect or assassinate the president. That's pretty fun. That's a good quest. Uh, the Legion turned that sinkhole into a graveyard. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. Nope. That's not outside the border. They're moving in and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but. But it was a town. Thanks for checking on that. Oh, we should Agent mind, Fuse has one on me. Cordyceps isn't an animal, it's a fungus. It's not in the kingdom Animalia. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess that's true. It's in, it's in a different phylum, a different kingdom, and all that nonsense. Which well, faction did I choose on my first playthrough? Um, Free Vegas, I think. Probably. Polar bears are cuddly. Polar bears are smart. Yeah, you've seen videos of people that are like in a protective cage. The polar bear is like, hey, they're meat. He's like got these giant meat paws that are scratching at the door and like he puts a slightest bit of pressure on it and the door like starts to crack because it's just so massive i remember exactly what it was that you were like why do you know that oh po yeah polar bears their uh their liver will kill you if you eat oh it. yeah I, was, I don't remember how that came up but you're like it was vitamin d like you can overdose on vitamin oh, d oh yeah that happened D zach came over he's like hey mike i got you a birthday present here's a half-eaten bottle of it's gummies not, they're like all in there i ate one gummy <laughs> So he bought some gummies, and he's like... Vitamin gummies. Yeah, these are vitamin gummies. Not not drug gummies. They're just actual, like, full of vitamins. He had vitamin Did gummies, he but he didn't he didn't want that brand. Thing. So he got a different brand, and he gave me his leftover vitamin gummies. And I said, oh, uh, sure, I can take these. And because these have vitamin D in them, I won't have to take my vitamin D supplements. And you said, oh, I take vitamin D supplements, but I guess I don't have to if I'm taking these. And I said... Hey, it's okay. It's not like having too much vitamin D will kill you. And you said, uh, actually... Uh, uh, actually, yes, it will. Polar bear liver is made of vitamin D, and if you eat it, it will kill you. And I'm like, how do you know that? And he's like, I just pick up knowledge from everywhere. I'm, I'm My brain is a sponge, and I just know all these things. Uh, easy there is broken. What's that do? Uh, I don't know. You've always had somebody by your side. You get additional damage threshold, and you move faster when you've got a companion. So if you want to move faster, there you go. What my favorite story is from the military, I I don't know. When I got out of the military. <laughs> yes, uh, we've all When got I went it. home. Thank you, Mike's Sketchatorium, for the $50 dono. And Ram, thank you. And Morvane, and Ace1589, and Demon Calypse.
Demoncalypse, thank you. My The best time I probably had in the military was when I did the convoy live fire exercise and I got to shoot uh, machine guns and a grenade launcher from the from the back <laughs> of a truck. Zach, did you know the 45 APC was built with anti-cow technology? I'm assuming you did shot at cows to test it or something. I don't know. Uh, okay. In the theme of pestering Zach with gun-related stuff, curious about thoughts of the six spear. Uh, we already had a video that came out about that. Did we? Which video was that? We were just talking about Six Spear. The the Six Spear is the civilian name for the XM5. Oh, yeah, right. That's that, the, yeah. yeah we, that, we already had a video. The most recent uh, podcast is on the XM5, and also uh, we got a follow-up coming up in, in about a week. So once I get finished editing on that, we'll have a follow-up to that podcast too. Any chance we'll do a playthrough of Baldur's Gate? Uh, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about it. Isn't that an isometric game? We're not really that big into isometric RPGs. But I could take a look at it, sure. Thank you very much. Ah! Oh boy, Carol, not to break your leg down here. All right, well now what am I doing? Hmm. Hello. I don't know. Well, clearly I'm on the roof of this building. You could go to Good Springs and then pick up the bounty and then go to um, do do a bounty or two for Randall. Is he even there though? He, he might be. I get why Ghost is frustrated. When I was playtesting this, I couldn't find him because I would console command myself into Randall's shack. But because I never picked up the note, he probably wasn't programmed to start being there. Uh, we can try it. Yeah, let's go see. I was going to make that a stretch goal. Like, if we can do a stretch goal, I bet we'll, uh, we'll do a randomizer bounty if we hit 10,000. And we've already hit like almost 12,000 at this point. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll try it if it works, though. Because, like I said, I tried to playtest it, and it didn't work. So we'll try and do a bounty with a randomizer on. See, our good friend... Okay, we gotta go to Good Springs to pick up the note first. Oh, boy. That was cool. <laughs> and then he exploded. Of course he did. Why not? Have Why fun with he? that. Y'all ever play D&D or other tabletops? Sex played a bit of that. Yeah. BG3 is kind of like Dragon Age Origins. I do love Dragon Age Origins. I do think Dragon Age Origins is one of the finest RPGs I've ever played. Back when Bioware made great games, yes. Bioware made great games? Yes, they made the Mass Effect trilogy. Uh, I feel like you're lying. Hey <laughs> there, hot cheeks. Who it is? Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Oh my. All right then, fine. <laughs> I don't even like blondes anyway. I like brunettes. Oh yeah? <laughs> Judging them like a piece of meat. <laughs> That's me, just a big old, big old meat, meat wanner. Meat, meat judger. Meat judger. Hello, it's me, judge of meat. Thank Where you. am I going? Thank you for the donation, Michael. Uh, it would be inside the Good Spring Saloon. It would be on the on the countertop. It's been, I know it's been a while since you played New Vegas Bounties, so you probably don't remember. But yeah, what, is, like... what is my best story involving my drill sergeant? Um, One either... time I left and I never saw him again. Either I, I got a couple. Either the one of with with the dummy the dummy fragmentation grenade, which I'm pretty sure I talked about on the channel. By the way, apologies that the loading screen. Okay, I think we might have had a crash. Uh, yeah, I think we had a crash. But I apologize. The loading screen icon is just a revolver firing at you. It's kind of obnoxious, kind of unsettling, and I tried to mod that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Nope, we are not broken. But yes, also we are kind of broken. <laughs> what happened to the saloon? <laughs> Oh, love that one. Um, so I had the story about when I was in basic training. Thank you, Peter Mucho Gusto. I had the story about when I was in basic training where they would throw like a like a stress ball that looked like a um, that looked like a frag grenade. They would throw that into the into the bay and yell frag out, and then whoever was closest had to go whop and drop on top of it. Um, Oh, yeah, I think you've told the story. Yeah, and basically one day I was standing by the door and it came rolling in and someone said, or the drill sergeant yelled, frag out. So I kicked it out, back out the door uh -huh. instead of jumping on top of it. So he made me, uh, he like yelled at me and told me that I had to go into his office. And I went to his office and he very calmly explained to me that it was really more of an exercise just to get us to follow orders and listen to what they were telling us to do. And then was like, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, Go! I'm gonna yell at you when you leave now. Got to keep up appearances. Yeah. Got to be intimidating. Uh, that's my nipple drill, Sergeant. That was another good one. Hey, um, is the game not working right now? Are you gonna try and load? It's not working. It's it's like completely crashed. 
Okay. I press. I pressed A. It's, okay. it's done. I didn't realize. My mistake. Let's see if I can get us out of here. Um. Let's see. What else? There's the Nats my nipple drill sergeant, the grenade one. There was the time that I was made to drink so much water that I got overhydrated Is and threw up. Is that a fun That's story? That's not a fun story, though. That was pretty miserable. There was also another time in basic training, or in my job training, where I was listening. I had to... It was my squad's turn to clean the bathroom for that day of the week. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was listening to my CD player back when CD players were a thing. I was listening to my CD player and was like cleaning one of the showers or whatever. And I came around the corner and one of the drills, I was like singing to the music I was listening to. And one <laughs> of the drill, I came around the corner and one of the drill sergeants was in there. So fun stuff. Yeah. He was just like, he just stared at me. He's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Uh, thank you, Great Sage Gwen. Question, have we reached the goal? The bottom overlay isn't updating. Yes, we uh, have. Yeah, we, we blew, you guys blew the goal out of the water. Like, in the first five minutes, it was already beaten. Yup. But then again, I mean, that was the first goal. The second goal was 3,000, and we've blown that one out of the water. Too. I guess our new goal is, um, I don't know, what do you want to do? $15,000 for the new goal? One million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> Why is Rob the Pirate running away? What's going on? What's the chaos here? All right, let's go in and hope it doesn't break this time. Come on, big money, no crashy. Big money, big money, no whammies. Stop! The New Vegas team. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Who was that? The New Vegas team. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylan. Oh. The New Vegas team. Who was that? You're supposed to be in the bathroom. She got out. Didn't lock the door. Putting her in the toilet. Man, I think her custom model is kind of broken. I hope. I think Vanessa might actually be dependent on, like, some kind of nudity mod, which is why she's all glitched out right now. Oh, probably. But I'm not installing any nudity mod live. Are you kidding? There it is. There's a note you got to pick up. Now hiring bounty hunters. You lost karma for stealing that. How dare you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I lost karma for picking up a magazine. Oh, okay. That's that. A good cause. Videos are your religion right now. Oh, gonna spam. I'll get that in a second. I'm glad you enjoy our videos, Anonymous. Thank you. Thank you, Fuse. You stay here, Vanessa. You and your broken boobs. She does have very broken boobs. Wouldn't it be the first time? It feels like every once in a while you come across a female character and her boobs are like glitched off into no man's land. Um, so are you familiar with the, uh... Are you familiar with the thing that the AI that generates images that's been going around Twitter? I have seen a few people doing that, yeah. Yeah, so I went uh, I went on there the other day and I started poking around. I was, my friend and I were, do, were just inputting dumb stuff. I inputted like alien boobies and it made some really some images that I couldn't fucking stop laughing at. But anyway, um, so I went on there and I type in big tit. A big tit. So or like big tits. Is it like a bird? Like is it half of it's like birds, half of it's half of it birds? I typed in big tits. <laughs> Do you want to guess what popped up? I'm already guessing. A giant bird with a giant tit. It was only birds. <laughs> it played the hell out of me. Only birds. It's safe search enabled, huh? It only does images it can find that are friendly friendly, huh? It's like, oh my god. I, I got played. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Why are you Welcome tiny? Randall and hey, it's Steven Randall. He's not randomized, though, it looks like. I'm Steven Randall, owner and operator. Mm, kind of sad. Randomized didn't affect him. Correct? Uh, yep. Hell yes, it's open. All right, I guess we can do a bounty or two, yeah. 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 Have one quick. Yes. That's good, but I need to be up front with you. Favorite running joke from the Vegas playthrough? Eh, Bigger, Dave Bigger Dave was pretty um, good. Bigger Dave was good. Um... The rewind time the machine. Stage? Yeah, that's. I think my favorite Please instance of the rewind time machine yes, is. Everybody. Are you sure this thing's <laughs> getting hot? And then like five <laughs> seconds later, <laughs> yeah, it's getting real hot. <laughs> well, this thing is getting hot. <laughs> that one, I I had many giggles that, at that. That was it. That was the one that was in the Beyond the Beef that we did. Yep. Ready to pursue the bounties. You got it, Randall. We love bounties. Your first target is Tom Quigley. Quigley, Quigley. Ranger. Who's rumored to be the best marksman in the Mahal. You like Randall as a character? He's very well done. Contracted syphilis instead Fun fact, Randall has this mask on because he doesn't actually have voice lip sync. Huh. Because I don't think that was easily range. done back in the day. This the is like the early, early days of New Vegas modding. It's, it's become it's easier now that people know the systems. But it used to be a real pain in the butt, and so just doesn't have any voice crazy. acting. 
So there's there's the answer to your question, Quince El Goff. Any lipping? Yes. How many gigabytes of RAM are you running? A lot, actually. I think I have like I think I have either like I think I might have eight. It's at least twenty. No, I think I have sixteen. Thank you, the merchant, and thank you again, Kyle and Pheasant Plucker. Ooh, running a little risque with that name. What do I think of the What do I think of Romanian-made guns? Yeah, they're fine. We remind you of why you like Fallout. Also, we're funny. Well, thank you for saying so. Do I believe in any cryptids? I guess not really. I mean, like, they're fun to look into. The Loch Ness Monster is out there. But maybe not in the Loch Ness. People are looking too, too much. I'm trying, too to think, I'm trying to think if there's any cryptids I, I believe in. I think the, the stories from the, uh, the, the book The Hunt for the Skinwalker, which is about Skinwalker Ranch, is a really compelling, is a really compelling story. There's probably an antlered rabbit out there. Jackalopes are real, too. I bet jackalopes are cute. Do we like breathing? Eh. Eh. <laughs> it's overrated. Ever heard of the Wasteland series? Yes. People have asked about that quite a few times. I played a bit of Wasteland 2, and I didn't really get into it. I've heard better things about Wasteland 3, so maybe I'll check it out sometime, too. Who does number two work for? That's for me to know and you to find out. Any other questions? Uh, no, I'm ready. Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof, and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there. The XM8 was a failure in a dumb design. No, it wasn't. The XM8 was fine. The pro the main problem with the XM8 was the uh Oh, you're floating again. Whee! The XM8 wasn't a failure in a dumb design. It was just ruined by bureaucracy. Jackalopes are real. There is some genetic disease that causes rabbits to grow horns. Okay, that, that makes sense. I don't believe you. I'd buy that for a dollar. You did you know what that's a reference to? Uh, no. It's a reference to the movie RoboCop. Oh, is that is that a line they say in that movie? Yeah, yeah he says, I'd buy that for a dollar in RoboCop. Uh, we gotta go all the way up there. Oh, huh? man. Well, that's not too bad. We just take the left path past the cast doors and get there. All right. I feel like you're not really supposed to do this quest until later. I mean, whatever. Do whatever you want. Is the Zip 22 a good gun? Yeah, go buy one. Use it as your concealed carry. I am going to use the restroom, and while I'm doing that, somebody asked what are your thoughts on the Resident Evil 4 remake, so you can give your thoughts on that, and also on any other pending remakes that are coming out. What are my thoughts on the Resident Evil 4 remake? I am excited for the Resident Evil 4 remake. I am looking forward to playing it. I think it could potentially be very fun. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about the Dead Space remake. That also will be fun. You know what else I'm excited about? Uh, many other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. Death claws aren't so bad. Someone said. It's weird seeing this without subtitles. No, it isn't. I don't know what you're talking about. It isn't weird. I'm not weird. I don't have brain problems. I'm not insane. I'm not crazy. Thank you for the $20, Anonymous. And Colonel Zemzar. Oh, uh, you laughed really hard at the inches, Brooklyn. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good one. I was not happy with the War Trash mod, but we've been over that. It was I was not happy about the uh, how the War Trash mod ended. That made me grumpy. Zach takes issue with some of the design choices in that mod, but at the same time, we also enjoy seeing what people do. And we can always look back on it, and it is fond of memory. No! <laughs> He's wrong! It was a bad mod, and whoever made it should feel bad! He should feel bad because he did bad things in his life, and he's a bad person! So he should feel bad because it was bad mod! And also, if he ever came back to modding and did War Trash 3, I would definitely play it. If he came back to modding and did War Trash 3, I would show up at his house, and I would, I would spank his bottom and, and tell him he's a dummy for making a stupid mod, and he's dumb! And if I said to Zach, hey, we got War Trash 3, you want to play it? And he said, I legitimately do not want to play War Trash 3. I'd go, that's fair. I'm going to have Legion Mike do it instead. No, I would actually play War Trash 3, but I just really don't appreciate it when mods are so, when games are so heavy handed with the, 
uh, with the, you're bad and you should feel bad. Right. That's that's a frustrating trope. I probably they probably should stop doing that. Do you want to do you want to guess what my thoughts are on Last of Us Part Two? Yeah, I think you've already mentioned that before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're basically the same. Yeah, and I've I've heard some people say about the uh, about New Vegas Mounties Three mod. Oh, are we doing the Frontier thing? But you got to keep in mind that New Vegas Mounties Three came out like eight years ago or something like that. <laughs> nice yeah. lightsaber. Yeah, technically New Vegas Bounties 3 did it way before the Frontier did. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Colonel Zamzar. Yeah, I, I, th I thanked him. Oh, but okay. I, I, I think that the main problem with the Frontier was a lack of uh -oh. oversight. Oh! Hey, we crashed again. We had a full-blown crash and actually booted us out of the game. That's interesting. Taking a break for a second. Oh, someone wants to know what the Fallout 4 mod was that added a strip club. I honestly don't remember because we didn't actually do that quest because we stumbled across it and Zach was like, "This is a locked door. I'm gonna console command myself in there." And I was like, "Okay, let's go and see it." And it was a fun laugh. We went in there and had a fun laugh, but because we didn't get there the way we're supposed to. Some of the stuff was broken in yeah. there. Yeah. So we loaded from earlier saves. So we're eventually going to go back there, but is oh, it, I have no idea what mod caused that. Is it sad I skipped over Marco's rant in the last video? Well, it depends on which part you skipped over. Because if you skipped over the rant at the end, uh, Marco and I actually like banter back and forth between each other. That was kind of fun. But if you skipped over the first part, he did rant for about 10 minutes straight. Yeah. He did monologue for a while. I won't, I won't blame anyone. I didn't want to cut it, though, because I do like showcasing what mod authors have done, but... Uh, How do I feel about the DB-12? Are you talking about that double-barrel 12-gauge shotgun? Because that thing sucks. I hate it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go use the bathroom, and you should play for a little bit. Oh, but I'm not Peter... Yeah, you are. <laughs> We're, he has multiple personality disorder, and you're the second one. Okay, that works for me. But I'm also my own companion. I'm my own companion. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but it really is so. I'm my own companion. And I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, you, can, you don't have to announce that. I got that. Shovel. There you go. All right, so player.add item. Just give me the uh, powerful weapon right there. All right. Now you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, me. So I'm gonna give you this shovel. Period. The special shovel. And you can wear... Sex combat armor, I'm sure you won't mind. Nope. That, that's gonna... Eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright. And now I am gonna put on this armor. There you go. I am now Peter. Peter and Mike. Peter and Mike, whose name is Zach. There we go. There we go. Yes. <sighs> thank you, Oh God No, and thank you, Hork Debt. Thank you for your donations, the American Heart Association. If you're just joining us now, we're doing a stream, me and Zach, Zach and I. There is a link to a donation page in the video description to the American Heart Association, and I would greatly appreciate it if you contributed. It is my birthday, but in lieu of sending me birthday money, please make a donation to the American Heart Association. A thank you. Through the link. Through the link in the description, yes. I mentioned that. Thank you, Miruru. Love watching us. We're always, we're, we're always having fun. We try. We try to have fun. Oh, my. What's going on over there? Who's what doing is that? Might zoom in, but I got a shotgun in my inventory. Well, I can't really see. Just dequip the shotgun. And that, then, no one can hear what you're saying, but you're saying dequip the shotgun. Dequip the shotgun and then aim down sights. Aim down sights. The ADS with that. So put, put away the shotgun. Uh huh. Put away the shotgun. Put, like, put your hands away. And now. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. There you go. And ne Nope. Got it. <laughs> now aim down sights. There you go. See, now you can zoom in. Right. Because I haven't disabled that part. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. It's like you're squinting, though. That When you do that, you're squinting. I, I guess, yeah. Someone's got a red suit down down there. Oh, Thank you. you, you I, have a, I have to have a snack. I'm hungry. Or, okay. If you want, you can go and have a snack away from the microphone, but... Well, I have to sit here and entertain. Well, I'll do that while you have a snack. I always find it kind of obnoxious when people eat while they're streaming, so I wouldn't do that to you. How dare you? I don't like it when other people do that. Fine, I will move away from But the maybe it's just my personal opinion. 
coloring what I say. Why are you all the way back here? Happy birthday, thank you. Why am I back here? Oh, that's right. I was doing Randall's quest for some reason. Yeah, we're doing Randall's quest. Oh, that's right. I came out of Randall's shack and I just started walking south. Force habit because this is New Vegas. Oh, thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. I am happy to be here doing the stream for you on my birthday and doing a stream for the American Heart Association. Outcasts and Remnants, or Tales of the Commonwealth, are probably the ones that add the strip club. That makes sense. I, got, I had both those mods equipped. They both add different settings and characters and quests. Any interest in Bethesda's new sci-fi RPG coming out this November? I mean... I would take anything coming out with a grain of salt, especially from a company that's not got the best track record. Keep in mind, the last two games were quite the departure from the Fallout we enjoyed, so there, there is the option for them to redeem themselves and actually have a good RPG coming out, but I would always keep my expectations tempered. That's what I would say. Am I excited? No. Am I hopeful? Yeah, I suppose. There's always a good chance. There's always a good chance that there could be things turned around and they could make a great game that we all enjoy. Every new game is a new opportunity for fun. Just driving how to be here? Thank you, thank you. Ducky, drink all the water. I've been shipping water. I've been drinking. Oh, my small child. We won't go quietly. Not, not a child. You can count on that. Not a child. Just a naked man with a mask on and a giant blue proton axe. Yep, that's just normal. Thank you, Darlene, Darlene, for the sub, uh, the, the donation. I'm Darlene. I'm Darlene. Keep on I'm saying Darlene. sub. It's the donation. Darlene. And thank you, HR support. Mm-hmm. And thank you, Archangel762. Ah, 762. Got it, yes. Why am I streaming on YooHoo instead of Twitch? Because we've already got an established audience here, and we wanted to have the um, best chance we could of raising money for the American Heart Association. So we're doing, it's, it's, it's kind of a special event too because it's, it's not often Zach and I go live together. We do have our individual Twitches. Again, link in the description. I've got a Twitch. I do that every Friday. Zach's got a Twitch. He does that every Saturday. And sometimes we do sporadic streams here and there, but that's our reliable schedule. We stream once a day each. So if you want to check us out or check out past streams, you can go to Twitch and check it out there. If I had to choose, would I take Zach's body or Zach's voice? Hmm. Definitely Zach's voice. He's got a really awesome voice. Neither. <laughs> Zach would forfeit them both. Yeah, I don't want him. Hmm. I don't want him. You can have him. I'm too fat for me. I'm too fat. I'm too fat. I'm too fat for me. Dance party, yes. Oh, am I still following me? Oh, hello, Hope. There we go. I heard a, a roach. Oh, the roach is still here. That was an easy fight. <laughs> like hunting elephants on ice skates. I imagine it might be difficult to hunt elephants on ice skates if you can't find them because there are no elephants in this area. And also there's no ice. There's no skating. <clears throat> Overlay is broken. Yup. It's a shame I didn't get that working, but whatever. I could probably break the stream down and start it a third time, but you know what? I'll just let y'all know. You guys have been great. You've raised... $12,000 for the American Heart Association, which is actually kind of bonkers if I stop and think about it for Yeah, any, that's that's insane. Any moment of time. You got some great big donations and a lot of small donations. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Thank you, Piggy O Gaming. Thank you. Welcome back, Zach. Hello, I'm back. How was your snack? What'd you have? Uh, I had a kind bar, which had almonds and uh, other different things in it. Where's the wedding ring on Rochi's corpse? Hey, 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 you know what I'm talking about. That's probably a reference that I don't get. It's a reference to Monster Factory. Oh, okay. Any memorable favorite Flash games? Ooh, my favorite Flash game was Thing Thing Arena 2. <laughs> I got really good at Thing Thing Arena 2. I played a lot of Electrode, which is more of a puzzle game. I think I streamed that for like a 20 minutes or so a long time ago. But it's basically just a puzzle game where you match electrodes. And if you, if you match the right electrodes and the person lives, and if you don't, then oh well, try again. What can we say, Mike? We've got a lot of heart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that pun. We've also got a lot of help. Thank you again, Great Sage Wind. Another donation. Thank you very much. Should you sell one of your 412 gauge shotguns? I don't care. Do what you want. I jiggle when I walk. I jiggle when I walk. I'm a mini Santa Claus. I jiggle when I walk. Ho, 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 ho. 
What? You don't know if this has ever passed before. It says, Vaca- Va- Vade, Vade Bacade. You want to know how Zach got the nickname Hazard? Uh, how do you know it's not actually my last name? Mm. How do you know it's a nickname? What if it's actually my name? It's from the old German. It used to be Von Hazard, but they shortened it. To they, just Hazard. Yeah, when they came to America. It's, it's kind of hazardous. It's kind of off the, off the charts. Will we play Warhammer 40k Dark Tide together when it comes out? Well, I'll probably play it. I don't know if Mike will. Yeah, we might be able to do a video on it or so. Thank you, Jonathan A. and PowerCore2000 and Clicker. Thank you very much. Giving back for the hours of enjoyment. Thank you, PowerCore. What is my favorite e-juice since I, I do not vape? I quit vaping a year, a year oh, ago. Yeah. I think a year ago. Let's see. Uh, yeah, about a year ago, yeah. Can't remember exactly when, but it's about a year ago. It's been about a year. Which, by the way, congrats. You need to be careful. It's dangerous. Congratulations. Thanks, Hope's butt. I can take care of myself. Well, sure you can, friend. Bye. See you around. What is going on here? Follow New Vegas randomizer mod. Yeah, everything's kind of weird. <laughs> Hope has a Gauss rifle. Apparently, Hope has a Gauss rifle now. Very Don't well. Where she picked that up from? Here, give me that. Use melee. Have fun with that. Oh. Okay, I gotta see if we master. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, yes. Hope Good is dead. Times. Hope's fine. Hope's dead. That Super Mutant Master is still alive, but he flew off way far away. Oh, here he comes again. Ah, uh, we don't have the kickback perk anymore. Sad. Mark, are you going to play Pikmin 2? I have actually streamed Pikmin 2, I believe, but I'm sure we'll play it again. What is going on? Who's... What's... Someone said we should play Destiny 2. Um, I disagree. I like my sanity. What is going on? I also don't like support I also don't like supporting a literal evil company. Destiny 2? Yeah. Uh, Bungie is literally that? Is it? Oh wait, no, sorry, I was thinking Blizzard Activision. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was thinking Blizzard Activision. Mm -hmm. I don't like supporting a company that goes, hey, all this hard work you put in, yeah, we're getting rid of it. Bye. Is that Blizzard Activision or is that Bungie? That was Bungie. Okay. Yeah, I know that you. Um, I know that you spent uh, like literally seventy hours farming to get these weapons. Uh, but we're taking them away, and you don't get them anymore. Ah, uh, yes, sunsetting weapons. You've announced your ire with that previously. Yep. Yeah, it makes me real fucking mad. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, all this content that you actually paid real money for. Uh, we're making it free for everybody. Oh, lol, Jk. We're actually removing it all from the game. S yeah, that's even worse. Because, like, we had a similar problem with Fallout 76. That came out, and, like, the next week it was, like, five bucks. Yeah. Oof. Ouch. When is the Team Fortress 2 play? You can't play through Team Fortress 2. <laughs> you just play Team Fortress oh, 2. Okay, that just happened. Mike died. And howdy. Whoo, I don't know what did that, but something did that. Oh, how far am I starting back? Uh... Not too far away, hopefully. I think I fast traveled pretty recently, so I should be able to start back from that. All right, cool. What do I think of the Metro series? Uh, the sound design is garbage. Zach has issues with that, yes. The sound... All right, all right. I am going to sum up the first Metro game for you. This is the first Metro game, because I don't think Mike's played it. I actually played 2033 on stream. I'm not that's, sure if that's the I first one or not. That might be the first one? I think it is, yeah. And then, like, Last Light was, like, the third one? I don't know. It doesn't matter. They have like the dumbest names. Um, <laughs> here's here's the metro. Here's the first metro game. Uh, also, sorry. Uh, th thank you, Cole, doing CPR training. Thank you, Ms. Mountain Man Cares, and thank you, Fedora Finder. Thank you very much. Please continue. Okay, here's the first metro game. Go to place. Meet cool guy. Cool guy does cool thing. Cool guy dies. Go to new place. Meet cool guy. Cool guy does cool thing and then dies. Go to another place, meet cool guy. Cool guy does cool thing, cool guy dies. Happens a lot, it would seem. Go to end of game. Cool guy is there. Cool guy does cool thing, then you die. Sounds like you've played a lot of that game considering you don't like it. Yeah, I've actually beaten it. Oh, okay. I've actually beaten that game and I didn't like any of it. Aww. The entire time I was just like, I'm so fucking bored. I'm ready for this game to be done. Well, on one hand, that's how I feel about it but at the same time that's also how i feel about all first person shooters it's not my genre it can't really it can't really hold my attention most times 
I'm going to say something potentially offensive. Well, please don't if it's offensive. Right? Russia doesn't know how to make video games. Um, how many? Uh, what's your sample size on that? Metro Twenty or all the Metro games? Uh, oh, Good Spring Sewer has it. Okay, interesting. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Thank you very much for the fifty dollar donation, um, and thank you, Fluffy Zombie. Uh, thank you for your fifty dollar donation as well. Hope you keep going with the amazing content. We hope to. We're really enjoying what we do. This has been a lot of fun so far. Hope we can keep on doing it for many years to come. We, anyway, we that, cheer you up every time we upload. Great. That is entirely my opinion. I'm, the Metro game, honestly, is not a bad game. I just don't like it, and I'm just talking shit on it because I because I don't like it. That's literally it. It's not a bad game at all. Oh no! Oh no! You it's Victor. Hi, thanks, Victor. Bye. See you around, Buckaroo. <laughs> just chasing me down. <laughs> what is my opinion on five seven seven Tyrannosaur? It's a meme cartridge. I mean, I say I can handle this, but I really can't handle this. That was a death claw. Yeah, probably not. It literally. Oh, killed good! It's an alpha male. And um, uh, he's going. Oh no! He's trying to fuck up the goat. Oh no! Okay, this again. Okay, something is shooting. Oh, okay. Oh, he's the shooting. The scorpion shooting is shooting at us. At open, you. open. Get a weapon out. Get a weapon out. Open, the, open the menu. Open the menu. Okay, fine. We're, we're just not Man, opening the menu. why have we been getting so many bots during this stream? I don't know. It's kind of infuriating. There you anyway, go. Agent Fuse has been taking care of it. I just been keeping it quiet. Anyway, I. Here you go. You can have the controller back. You can have fun. Fight. I can't even open my. I, I can't know, even open my pit it's boy. It's weird. The pit boy won't open, and your your gun is. Okay, there you go. You got a gun now. <laughs> ah, you're probably gonna die of the alpha death. Oh, oh yeah, for on. sure. We just a little plinking at it. Pew pew pew. Unless, oh no, Mike is down. Then again, he's surprisingly not doing a lot of damage. Is he de-leveled? Is he a level one alpha death claw? Uh, he might be, because I'm actually, I'm actually fine right now. Yeah, that's odd. And yet, at the same time, some random explosion out of nowhere killed us. Do we like Skyrim? We like Skyrim. I don't think Zach's played much of it. I actually have not played enough of Skyrim to be able to say whether or not I like it. Yeah, so we've been talking about doing a Skyrim series on the channel, so hopefully we'll be able to get something like that done. I was hope I was hoping maybe Skyrim together would be an option, but it doesn't seem to be the case. It's kind of glitchy still. Anyway, there's a scorpion now joining your party. That's kind of weird. Um, any, what I was saying about Metro, it's, they're fine games, I don't particularly care for them, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but with my opinions on it. Sorry if his contentious opinions are not shared by others. Yeah, I, I don't like the Metro games, I think the sound design is not very good, and I didn't care for the story. Thank you, Fedora Finder, Fluffy Zombie, and, pe yikes, penis. Thank you, penis. <laughs> Oh, thank Penis. Thank Penis for his contribution to the American Heart Association. The, the, the AHA con contacts us and says, thank you for your contributions during the uh, the charity stream. And I said, don't thank me. Thank Penis. Thank Penis. <laughs> and then I also said, I deeply apologize for everything that was said during the stream. <laughs> I'll pass that along. I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about how how it went. I'm and sorry I'm vulgar. And I'm sorry the overlay was broken. I'm, I'm sorry that everything was just a massive mess. I I sincerely apologize. I and now I can open, can open my pit boy. There you go. Oh, we have that mod on that doesn't let you open your pit boy in the middle of battle. <laughs> That'd be a real problematic mod, wouldn't it? We, it's a mod that doesn't let you use vats during battle. Honest? Well, that would kind of defeat the purpose of vats. I think there actually is an available mod on right now that uh, you can turn it on and you can't open your pit boy in battle. Hmm. Which I guess I hope you have the weapons you want quick selected. I just heard a bug get squished. You say Metro Exodus was much better. Ah, yeah, that's the second game of the series, Metro Exodus. My my problem with Metro Exodus is the English voice acting was so bad. Oh yeah, was it? I I hated the English voice acting. Can I drop a save here at F five? No, it doesn't work. Oh well. You missed the apple. I'll shoot, you flank him. Oh. Oh, Sorry. You, you didn't have your headphones on, so you had no, no idea. I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> just a, I'm just like I'm just like an angry, contentious man. Mm. Zach is grump occasionally. Yeah. How long will we stream for? I don't know. We're having fun. 
Will we do a playthrough of the Resident Evil Revelations games? Uh, I don't know. I play tested them. I think I beat the second one on stream. Maybe they're okay, but they're it's not great. They're all, they're okay. They've got issues. Many issues. Soccer is a Ukrainian game, not Russian. Is it? Okay. All right. Well, I still don't like it. Don't worry. The Russian voice acting from that game was just as bad. Oh, you walked into this area. That, oh, maybe we'll find love and hate on one of these guys' corpses. Probably not, though, because everything's randomized. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I, I hey, know. that guy's got a birthday hat on. Yay, Happy birthday party hat. to me. me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mark. I feel special. Happy birthday to Ooh. you. What's my favorite snack? Oh, man. I get a lot of goldfish crackers. Goldfish crackers are a safe bet. Everyone loves goldfish crackers. But I've actually gotten into something recently thanks to my dad. He likes peanut butter pretzels. They're pretzels that are injected with peanut butter. And oh my god, it's good. Oh, I can eat a whole container of those things and it feels sick, but man, they're good. Make sure if you have Jif peanut butter right now that you uh, that you double check that it's uh, that it's safe to eat. Yeah, there was like a recall on a batch of Jif peanut butter. Yeah, I got food poisoning from it. Did you actually get a batch of that peanut butter? Yup. Really? Don't eat bad peanut butter. You won the unlucky lot. You got salmonella? Yup. No, you didn't. You're just lying. Don't be a liar, Zach. How do you know I'm lying? Because that would be very unlikely. And I, I'm pretty sure those all got sent to Pennsylvania, essentially. You don't know that. I think that's the case, yeah. Whatever the case is, check your peanut butter. Yeah. Well, I got sick from something. Unless, don't Night check... stalker squeezins. <laughs> don't check your peanut butter if you have a nut allergy because you probably don't have peanut butter. Opinions on the Resident Evil Village ending? I thought the whole game was kind of forgettable. I didn't really care for it. I thought the Resident Evil Village was fun, but mostly I just like Lady D. Goldfish are great in tip. Yeah, I can consume in a whole box. It's fine. I love it. Uh, thank you, Anonymous and S and Mike the Liar, Mike the Liar, and Doug Bolster for your donations. Thoughts on the Lee Enfield? Uh, they're cool. I like them. Good bolt actions. I if if you ask me what my opinion is on on a specific gun, the answer is probably going to be I like it. It's fine. Very rarely is going to have a strong opinion one way or the other. Yeah, very rarely am I going to be like, yeah, that thing sucks. Ah, Mike wishes for heart failure to be gone. Mike also wishes for an Elder Scrolls game to be played. What matters is that it is fun. So Mike has spoken. Speaking like a Khajiit, yeah, we'll definitely play some Skyrim soon. I don't know how. We need to figure out how we'll play Skyrim. Yeah, I'll probably just do the same thing I did in Mod and a Companion like I did for this game. If you donate three hundred dollars, would we play Upturned? I have no idea what that game is. You, have, you, have, have you heard of Upturned? I have not heard of it. Ooh. Oh my, Mr. Housebot! No, no, oh no! Richard Nixon is inside a robot and is shooting at us. Is that Richard Nixon, famous tycoon? Famous business tycoon Richard Nixon, who put his brain into a robot. Oh no! And then did the Watergate scandal, and then brokered relationships with China. Kind of a mixed bag, that president there. Yeah. You need more marine jokes in your life? Eh, you can probably get just Google marine jokes. I don't know a whole lot. It's been many years. <laughs> you want Zach's bow rants. Yeah, I can rant about that the same way he rants about tanks and that he has proximate knowledge of them, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what I would say about bows uh, other than... This one's got a sheep shank hilt. Other than we went to the moon before compound bows were invented. Isn't that weird? That is very weird. Yeah, the compound bow wasn't invented until after 1969. Huh. What's up? Isn't that weird? It's very peculiar. You wouldn't think that. Yeah. It's the kind of thing you imagine like the Mongols be using while they're conquering all through Asia. But Nope. They had recurve bows and they had like other bows like that, but they did not have compound bows. Very odd. You think that's a weird quirk of like technology because you can't really decide when you things are when things are designed so like and if you if we ran the simulation for humanity over and over again you think most of the time we'd come up with compound bows 
before space travel, and it was just kind of a quirk that we didn't this time around? I, I'm not sure, because compound bows use pulleys in them. Hmm. Well, you So, yeah, I don't know. It's odd. It just seems weird. It's what, Yeah, it's, it's, it's odd, but... You got a donation from Fist of the Sex Bot that says, Hello, Zach. Please assume the position. Thank yeah, he you. showed up right as the robot showed up in the game, so it was actually <laughs> really good timing. And thank you, Lund Studios. I should have said something earlier. I'm sorry. Favorite Fallout game? Which faction's best? Uh, New Vegas is best Fallout game so far. I look forward to the day when Fallout New Vegas is relegated to the, the second best Fallout game. That would be amazing. Best faction. Followers of the Apocalypse are pure good. Although kind of bland because there's no negative to them, I suppose. You're going to need a bigger... I like the NCR because they're good but flawed. Legion is interesting. Hard to say the favorite. There's a lot of good ones. Man, can I reload faster? Or just find a better gun, actually. No, sorry. Your hands are still injured from your dual. Oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> no, they're not. It was so <laughs> dumb. And your fire rate has actually improved. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite Fallout faction, Zach? Uh, the Fiends, because they're closest to what humans would actually do. <laughs> All right. That's fair. Grenade launcher, test. Civilization Six with a tech scramble. Yeah. That, as if Civilization Six was already balanced to begin with. Yeah. What is grenade launcher, test? Ever thought about playing the Witcher series? I ran through the uh, entire trilogy on the channel. Oh, this is the test grenade launcher for... Interesting. Okay. I didn't play the first game all the way through, only played the first act, but I played through all of Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 and I enjoyed them. I couldn't really get into the Witcher. It's difficult to stream them because it's very, very talk heavy, very kind of slow paced. I also, I remember, I remember when Cyberpunk 2077 came out being really bummed about it and then having a thought of like, why was I excited for this game? Because I didn't <laughs> like The Witcher at all. So like, why was I like, oh my God, I can't wait for 2077. Because everything has potential, Zach. Everything is potential. It's quantumly good and bad until the waveform collapses when the game actually comes out. So you were excited for what it could have been. I guess. But, like, I, I haven't liked anything else CD Projekt Red did. I guess I just bought into the hype. Possibly. That must have been it. Yeah, probably. I like how Witcher 2, like, you get halfway through the game, and then the game branches off, and it's, like, a completely different game. That is actually kind of unheard of. That it makes, like, it's two games crammed into one. And that is also very insane, considering most people didn't even play through the, through the entire thing more than once. Let alone, tw like, fully twice. That is insane, actually. And a stretchy legionary man. Okay. Oh, she has Dr. Voss's glove. You're about to explode. And Violet's head. Look out. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank you, Lori. Thank you for the donation. And you too, Skosh. And you too, I'm Not Smart. And Ollie, thank you. You watched the New Vegas series twice? I'm happy we were able to entertain you. I, I couldn't even watch it once. <laughs> couldn't, man, those guys talk too much. I can I I have a hard time existing in my own body. Honestly, I fall I sometimes fall asleep listening to videos of us. Oh, like while you're editing? No, like when I'm going to bed and I have until we get to sleep. Listening to us talk kind of puts me to sleep because I've 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 heard each episode at least five times. It lulls me to sleep sometimes. Because you know, you and I will play through it and then I'll edit it, and then I'll edit subtitles into it, and then I'll edit more subtitles into it, and then I'll do a, a second pass, and I'll do a review pass. And I've seen every episode at least five times at this point. Woo! Did you see that hit? I did. That was nice. You nailed, oh, he nailed you back, though. <laughs> Bye. Oh, look. It's Ray. Bye. Bye. It's a ray of sunshine now. Bye. <laughs> what is this visual effect? Hey. It's raining cats and dogs, I'd say. <laughs> uh... I'm trying to think of what my favorite faction in Fallout is. And... Thank you. Thank you for the donation, S, who just gave $150. Goodness. And says, oh, hey, it's Quigley. Agree to play Quigley, upturned. Quigley, is Quigley over there. Quigley, Quigley. He's now he's up in the air. Shoot his derriere. No, oh, aerial shot. Hey, all right. Now get the get the finger from his leg. Oh, okay. <laughs> Marvelous. Oh man. Oh. 
thank you for the $150 as you, you say, agree to play upturn and then get the other half. I can't make a promise based on the game I haven't seen. I'll, I promise to take a look at it, though, if nothing else. Thank you for your donation to the American Heart Association. I will add it to my list right now. Check out the game Upturned. I'll see if it's up my alley. I can't promise I will play it, but I can promise I can at least check it out. There we go. Add it to the list. I fell over. Yes, I saw you do that. Besides the military, what's the worst job we had? Ooh, pipeline job comes close. Uh, it's pretty close, but, um... I think you get a car wash job you always bring up as being your most hated one. Oh, the power washing job? Yeah, that one was pretty annoying. I think maybe not a job specifically. Maybe not a job specifically, but the fact that every government job I've had, with the exception of... I, the military just kind of screwed me over. But every other government job I've had... Ooh. Oh, that's a fiend guard dog. Oh, that's okay. Fine. We have to worry it's a fiend guard dog. Every government job I've had, the post office, um, the military, and teaching small arms repair have all screwed me over and then fired me. Yeah. So but I you think, didn't, I think you it's didn't that. hate the job, though. You liked being working, working at the post office. You liked being a Yeah, I, I liked being a janitor at the post office. It was a great job. And then they screwed me over. Mm. What's a job? Jeez, come on, Hope. Have some decency. Come on. What is your what is what is your least like if you could do a job again, if any if anyone said, "Hey, we know you worked for us. Which job would you want the least though that you've had so far?" Cuz you'd go back to that custodian job. That, was, that wasn't a bad job. Uh they actually offered me the job teaching small arms repair again and I turned it down. Dang, what was this? I didn't hear about uh, this. Uh this was I'm sailing <laughs> away. I'm, imagining I'm gonna this... die when I didn't nope. die when I hit the ground. Okay. Um, I'm imagining this is sometime recently. Yeah, it was. I want to say 2018. Okay. I think that was pretty recent. Yeah. Yeah, they offered me my job again, and, or they offered me a job teaching small arms repair, and I basically was just like, no. You screwed me over once already. Why would I let my? Yeah, and based, my my response was like, they sent me an email being like, hey, you should come back down here and work for us, and I was I was just like, why? Oh, sorry. Thank you, White Duck and Thomas Nelson and Preposteron and Ian and S and Aaron Barnes. Barnes. Thank you again, S, the other 150. Th thank you. Good enough response. Honestly, don't mind. It's for a good cause. Thank you very, very much. Um, yeah, basically, I will, uh, Aaron Barnes, I will answer your question in a second. Um, Hold on. Wait, I, I want to make sure I didn't skip it. Oh, I, I also missed Skosh. Oh, I think I said Skosh. Thank you, you Skosh. Said Skosh. Thank you, Mike. I missed Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. White Duck gave $2,500. Holy shit, my guy! For the small rocks that wanted to be big. <laughs> that is not how geology works. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Oh my god, thank you, dude! For single-handedly stretching out the stretch goal of, like... <laughs> the initial goal for this stream was 150 You just gave 2500 Thank you, White Duck. My gosh. Goodness grief. Thank you so much. I've seen you before at the streams, too, on Twitch. Thank you for uh, your support there, too. But, man, that Good is a Lord. lot. Man, that is so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, basically, basically, they, they wanted me to come work, teach small arms, small arms repair again in Virginia. My response was, will it be a, will this be a permanent contract? Mm -hmm. Or will this only be for one year? Well, it'll only be a one-year contract. No, then I'm not moving down there. Why would I drop everything and move down to Virginia again? <laughs> yeah. Just so you can screw me over in a year again. Yeah, just so you can lay me off in a year again. No. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Fool man can't get fooled again. Fool man can't get fooled again. Uh, what is my favorite subcompact? Carry gun, probably the Glock 43X. Hey Ever tried out Barrowtron? Never dead. heard of that, actually. I have heard of it. I haven't played it. Yes, Quigley I'll is dead. That finger. Here's your reward. There's plenty of bounties left, so come back when you're ready to put in more work. Holy shit, indeed, Lori. That's Holy a, shit. That's a very for the next bounty majestic kid? shed. Yes, I'm ready for the next bounty. Last week, a caravan was waylaid north of Thank town. Thank you, cocaine pirates. Cocaine pirates! One of the guards survived with a leg injury... But by all accounts, he's a drunken ass. His name is Chesty, 
and he spends his days at the bar. What is my opinion on the Bren gun? Are you talking about the CZ Bren 2 or are you talking about the British military Bren gun? They're both really cool. I love guns that have a magazine on the top. Provided we get I, definitive I didn't really see that. Was our bounty target also randomized? I'm imagining they weren't. It I don't think so, no. Yeah. That's a shame. Maybe if I change the mod load order, they'll all be randomized, but... Speak to Chesty about the recent attack. Okay, we'll eventually get to him, but... We'll get over there yeah. sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Leave the what do I think about the AK-50? I don't. Oh, you love watching us? Thank you. Thank you very much. Have we Speed run the game by going through Quarry Junction, you old <laughs> pussy. <laughs> yeah, some of these things, these uh, custom tips are, um, they're still paying off years later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Favorite breakfast food? Ooh, French toast is real tasty. Um, probably just cereal. Thank you, Eric, with an A for the $100 donation as well. Thank you. Man, we got so many big donations like that one by White Duck that some of these ones that are already really substantial, like... S's 150 and Eric's 100. It's like, yeah, yeah, those are donations. Yep. They were $2,500 donations by White Duck, but there's still, let's take a moment to acknowledge, this, it's still a lot of money. We're, there's a lot of really good donations here, and the game is completely broken, and nothing is loaded into the world. <laughs> Why is it doing this now? Because! What if you fast travel and fix it, or break it more? I can't open my pit. Boy. Why is it doing this? Is it because I set the graphical settings down to me? Oh, there you go. It's opening now. We're in Poseidon Gas Station now, are we? Hmm, interesting. Can I think of five to ten weapons inventors off the top of my head in a few seconds? Uh, Samuel, Samuel Colt, John Moses Browning, uh, something Burnside. What's this for? Ambrose Burnside, um, Eugene Stoner. Uh, I forget what his first name is, but Garand, Pedersen, um... Smith & Wesson. I don't know what their first names were. Oh, this, this game is still broken here, huh? Yeah, it's still busted. Uh, to be fair, 2500 was an accident, LOL. Oh. Oh. You know, if it was, then maybe you can contact the American Heart Association and, uh, sort that out. Because I uh -oh. would have no idea how to riff on that. So yeah. I'm sure there are channels set in place for you to be able to fix that. <laughs> if it was only meant to be like $25, that would make sense. Too many bots. <laughs> Assassinate the bot. Assassinate the bot. What are my thoughts on these cartridges? 50 Beowulf. Stupid. 5.7 millimeter. Awesome. 450 Nitro. Stupid. Maybe the real bounties are the friends we made along, the friends we killed along the way. <laughs> Love the content. Thanks to the goose over the years. Thank you, Tarlac. Ambrose Burnside was a civil war, was a Union Civil War general who was the inventor of the the Burnside carbine and also whose sideburns are named after. Uh -huh. Because he had glorious mutton chops. Hmm. Then I go east side, uh, east side or west side for the boot camp. I went, but I went to the west in California, which was glorious. Oh, I love my time in California. Maybe not because I was in boot camp. Boot camp kind of sucked, so I didn't enjoy that part. Yeah, I'm gonna have to soft. I'm gonna have to like reset the game because it's kind of soft locked. It looks like. What's the bigger piece of trash, the Pancor jackhammer or the Ford Pinto jackhammer? At least the Ford Pinto functions without having to be disassembled every time you want to reload it or refuel it. All right, I'm doing a reset now. Um, Would I rather live one year under the initial effects of carbon monoxide poisoning or spend another year on Fort Polk? You've already been carbon monoxide poisoned. Yeah, I've already been carbon monoxide poisoned and I've already been at Fort Polk, so I don't have to do either one of them. You've already done my time. Checkmate, atheists. <laughs> if you had to redo some of them for a day, though, Fort Polk for a day or the initial symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning for a day... I think it's not going to be deadly. It's, it's, it's only for a day? Hypothetical, yeah. Then I'll just go to Fort Polk for a day and stay in my room. <laughs> there you go. All right. I, like, what? It, it sucked, but it only sucked because it was forever. Would I rather have a pet shoe or a pet raccoon? Uh, neither one, because they deserve to be in the wild having a, having a wonderful time. The thing is, if you give me a pet raccoon, I could release it into the wild and it would be fine. But if you give me a pet shoe bill, this is not its native habitat. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fort Polk has been, re been renamed Fort Johnson. Is it? Is it because 
Polk is named after a president. Polk was a Civil War or was a uh, Confederate Civil War general. Oh, I thought it was named after President Polk. Nope, not named after every military base is named after an army, an army, or a, a member of the U.S. Army. What's it called now? Fort Johnson. Fort Johnson. I don't hey! know who that is, but it's named after Fort Johnson. Probably a general that wasn't working for a bunch of traitors. Yeah. I was talking with my girlfriend the other day, and she was she wanted to know how I felt about that, about the fact that they renamed Fort Polk, or like, kind of, you know, like how they how they keep taking down Civil War statues, mm -hmm. and how they keep renaming stuff that's named after. And my opinion is basically like I don't care. It's it doesn't it doesn't matter. Uh huh. It doesn't matter that it was named after a Civil War general, and like you can change it because it's it's not like it's not like. Taking down a statue of a Confederate general is going to make me forget about the Civil War. Right. Oh, organ harvesters. That's surprising. Apparently, we got that mod on too. When it comes to monuments, I think it's better they're taking down that because you couldn't, you shouldn't memorialize traitors like that. But when it comes to like renaming buildings, I think it, it's the same thing for like renaming McCree in Overwatch. You know, you can rename these characters, but people didn't really know about them. What Niner? What are you doing out here? What are you here? doing out here? What the? Like, even me, I didn't know Fort Polk was named after a Confederate general. It was just Fort Polk to me. I assumed it was named after the president. Yeah. You could have renamed it. You would. You know what you could have done? You could have left Fort Polk as Fort Polk, but just changed all the references. Yeah, it's not named after the general. Now it's named no, it's after, named after the president, yeah. James K. Polk. Yeah. I don't, know what, I don't know what James K. Polk did. What did James K. Polk do? Uh, he preceded James Buchanan, I think. Did he? Let's see. I'll go with the Animaniacs line. After him came President Polk. Zachary Taylor liked to smoke. His friend killed Brad whatever he spoke. Zachary Taylor died of drinking too much iced milk and eating too many cherries. Not even kidding. Man, it was like... He's like the ninth president then. Polk was like the ninth president then. Huh. Pretty early. Who is your least favorite U.S. president? I mean, if we're gonna... Exclude recent ones if we're if you're using like the twenty year limit on limitations like that. Um, hmm. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll exclude the last four presidents. Yeah, like I said, you can't you can't pick any of the last four presidents for least favorite ones because I try to I try to I would much rather not get into a political debate. Yeah, right I now. don't want to get into a political debate, and let's not get political in the comments, please. Like seriously, we really don't want to get political in the right. comments. Right, we're just here to raise money wanna, for the Heart Association. I don't want to have to start arguing with people about about what what so and so's political beliefs were. Right, but if you're going to ask me that question, I mean, I don't even know enough about past presidents. Like, I started learning about politics like 20 years ago or so. I didn't really have a opinion on the ones that came before that looking back on it it's easy to judge them by modern oh, standards cook, cook. oh is that cook cook in a different outfit he's okay. tiny it's a very tiny man very very tiny cannibal man thank you there you go and he's stretched out um yeah it's hard for me to say because i don't know much about like I, I can tell you some cool things that some presidents did in the past because there are can we can we straight up just ban the accounts that are I'll, I'll try that are posting stuff because they keep they keep posting messages and they're getting deleted but they're not they're will, not getting blocked. I will tr I, I I think they are but there's just so many accounts. It's like a bot <sighs> farm. I will try and change the subscriber chat to or the change the chat to subscribers only if I can do that from here. I hate Ronald Reagan. Yes, you've mentioned that. Yeah. Also Richard Nixon. That's understandable. Uh, top chat, live chat, how do I go here? Let's see. I might have to go into the, like, you might have to give me a second. All right, I'm going to try and do it. Give me a moment here. I'm going to open eh, this go up. Go for it. So I'm going to open this, and I'm going to go to... Why did I make this political if I don't want to deal with politics? Uh, because I regret saying that. Shut up. It's history. We're not talking about po I'm done. I'm done talking about that now. He wanted, he wanted to talk about history. He wanted, he wanted to go on. You know why? He wanted to talk about Andrew Johnson, who's not really a hot button political topic. Isn't that Andrew, right? Andrew Jackson. Is it Andrew Jackson you were going to talk about? Uh, let's see. I got that on. How do I? I'm going to have to Google this. How do I turn on subscriber only mode? Or you could just, or you could just, uh, or subscriber you could just Subscriber only mode YouTube. How turn on. Pamela Anderson, big boob. Click. What? 
Oh, I said that. Yes. So if I do this, and then I do participants, it's going to show me everyone who's ever chatted. No, that's, yep. that's not it. How do I do this? Let's see. Under send a message, who can send a message? Oh, I got to edit the live stream. Okay, so edit video, this, like this right there. All right, all right. We're figuring it out. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. So playlist, thumbnail. I didn't actually make a thumbnail. I was very underprepared for this. Um, Steam. How kill Mario Bounty Hunter 3 mod? Well, there we go. Who can send messages? Subscribers. Minimum subscribe time. They got to be subscribed for like 20 minutes. There you go. All right. Now and we should now... be good. Hopefully that'll cut down on the amount of spam. There we go. All right. <sighs> oh, guys, I can't see the. I mean, I can't. I can see the chat. What was over here? I can't remember. I don't remember what was over there. Oh, that was that. was that. There it is. There, there it is. is. We right. found it. There we go. There we go. Oh my right. God, we have almost twenty. Oh look, Aaron B donated twenty five hundred dollars while I was doing that. Thank you for the twenty five hundred dollar donation. Red horse. Red horse. Red horse. What? I don't okay. Know. That's what he said. Thank you. Thank you for that. Also, Grimby and Lori and Remy Time and the Wizardly D. I'm sorry, I uh, misters. Uh, thank you again to all of you, and also thank you for the big donation, Aaron B. That's that's a lot. Thank Talk you. Talk about capybaras. Okay, I love capybaras. You like they, how, you they, love how they smell. Uh, I mean they they smell like an animal, but they don't smell terrible. They don't smell like poop. I assumed they did. I, I assumed it smelled like a horse's barn or something like no, that. No, they didn't smell bad. It was kind of funny that the floor of the the capybara. The floor of the capybara pen was filled with uh, like wood shavings, just like the floor of a guinea pig pen. Hmm. That that gave me a uh, that gave me a, a, a fun little chuckle. But yeah, I didn't think they they smelled bad. Um, they make fun noises. I like the noises capybaras make. Yeah, you try to go. Burr, I think it was like that. Yeah, they go, they go like. Burr, they they kind of make a noise like that. It's like a, a squeaky. It's like a squeaking noise. Happy birthday, Mike the Power Mancer. Thank you, Wizardly D. And thank you for the $100 donation. Very generous of you to give the American Heart Association. Oh, it's Driver to Fi. Driver to Fi, where's your golf club? You're supposed to have a golf club. Everything else can be randomized, but you must use golf club. And we shot you. And he's dead. Okay, then. <laughs> Just take his head. Are we doing three-card bounty without even actually picking up the quest? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. That works for me. I'm here. I'm here, Wardo. Someone, someone asked if we've ever heard of Iron, Iron Curtains Old World Blues mod, which someone asked. Heart of Iron, earlier. yeah. Heart of Iron. Heart of Iron. We, we get asked that quite frequently. Uh, none of us, neither of us, have played Hearts of Iron. We would have no idea how to play it. It's pretty cool. There's a Fallout mod for it, but I don't think we're gonna play it anytime soon because you have to learn how to play Hearts of Iron to begin with. How long does it take to repair an M4A1? Uh, like five minutes. It depends on what it is you're repairing. Yeah. Changing uh. the trigger mechanism on an M4A1. <laughs> I, like, a minute? Agent Fuse wants to point out that somehow that head you picked up wasn't officially marked as mangled. Oh, even though I, even though I shot his head off. <laughs> it's, it was yeah. apparently a clean shot. It's clean. clean. I just heard a grenade launcher. I, where? Where? I, I need to I need to actually get into cover before I start looking around for where that <laughs> grenade launcher fire came from. You tried. I'm, I'm having a really hard time triangulating position. Follow hopes wherever hope is shooting. Oh 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 oh! oh. Right. No, it's going away! <laughs> no, come back! All right, I'll just I'll just search the body. I I guess that might work. Yeah. Yeah, but skidoo heart research for you. Thank you, David. That's a missile launcher, not a grenade launcher. Oh, uh, was that what he was firing then? Ah. Uh, yeah. Where's the grenade launcher? Isn't that what he? I heard the I heard the dunk of a grenade launcher. <laughs> oh, okay. Strange. I, I wonder who did that then. The latest update added Zach as a military advisor. Did it? That's kind of fun. It's kind of ranty. All right. Are we gonna play Fallout Three together? Uh, we're gonna spend a lot of time playing Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Four before we even think about playing Fallout Three. Zerus's Ranger Patrol hat. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, Zerus from the. I remember Zerus. Yeah. Fallout 3 is great, but I feel like there's a lot of untapped potential in New Vegas and Fallout 4 mods that we should get around to. I mean, we could mod Fallout 3. 
We could, but there aren't as many mods for it because it's you know it predates even New Vegas. It's it's, it's okay. And also, it it wasn't working for a very long time. I you actually, basically could not play it. Yeah, I installed a mod that allowed me to play Fallout Three. Like, there was an actual mod like a a, a bypass fix, and uh, I was able to stream Fallout Three for the last few weekends. What do capybaras smell like? Um, uh, capybaras. They smell like capybara. I, I'm, I'm not sure. They kind of just smell like, I guess, most, ro most like, normal, somewhat clean rodents. Mm -hmm. They smell like that. Would I, I like a new weather? Oh, we got new weather already. Weather keeps on changing on us. It's randomized, I think, every five minutes. I'm trying to think about how they... I'm trying to think about how capybaras smell, and I guess they just kind of smell like... I don't know. They just smell like little fuzzy friends. Kind of like a dog, maybe? Maybe. Favorite fantasy weapon? Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII. My favorite fantasy weapon, uh, and, ooh, I do really like the boom hand. Oh, you know what my favorite fantasy weapon is? My favorite fantasy weapon is the Blades of Mercy from Bloodborne. They're made out of meteorites. Uh, okay, I've not actually played Bloodborne, but I know you enjoy that game a lot. Yeah, Bloodborne's one of my all-time favorite games. I love Bloodborne. By the way, I'm sorry I can't answer every question in chat. There is a lot of questions. Uh, I've said it before, but we do stream pretty reliably on Twitch, each of us. I stream on Fridays and Zach on Saturdays. So if you have a question you want to ask, that's usually the best way to get a response from us is going to the Twitch streams on the weekend. I'm going to try and like rapid fire read some of these questions. Do we use Vortex or MO2? Uh, I use the, the uh, uh, Fallout Mod Manager. It's, it's even old. You shouldn't use that. I was told I, not to use that, but I still use that. I use Vortex. Fallout 3 got patched. Yes, even though Fallout 3 got patched, it still was working for me and I had to download a mod. Doesn't Tales from, Tales from Tale of Two Wasteland 3 work with New Vegas? Possibly, but it didn't actually work for me because uh, my Fallout 3 wasn't working. How am I reading comments that we don't see? Uh, there are comments that are going through the donation panel that you probably can't see, but they are being shown on the donation page so I can see them. Will we ever play Dying Light 1? Maybe. I don't know much about that game. Whoa! Does Zach own a cat? No, he currently does not own a cat. Or I pets. want a cat, but I do not have a cat. Uh, you missed the dog smell. Dogs can smell pretty cool, but also they can smell pretty bad. This is true. What weapon would you take into combat if ranged weapons weren't allowed? Again, uh, gun blade, but I wouldn't use the, the, the gun portion. Uh, trench club. That works. There's a skeleton with a grenade launcher! <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, we gotta... Have I, continue, have I continued to play Elden Ring? I have not, but I hope to play it more of it in the future. Maybe do a stream on that. Gimme, 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 gimme. Worst game you worked on, Zach? Uh, he hated, he hated the, uh, the tank he had to work on because that small artillery, I guess it counts as that. Oh, how it's, yeah, how it's are the worst guns I had to work on. Ever played Geometry Dash? I have not. No, I haven't. Considering doing a Bloodborne stream. Zach has done a lot of that. Maybe we'll do a Bloodborne stream together or do a couple of videos together, but Zach plays it a lot on his Twitch. Favorite animal? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, it, uh, probably cats. Birds that show up outside because they don't have to do anything. Just kind of like, hey, how's it going? I do like dogs probably more than I like cats, but then again, whatever. Would I play Stalker Anomaly? I'd probably give it a check. Do I use an AMB? No, I, I don't use an AMB because I don't care much about graphical fidelity because I'm much more interested in the actual gameplay and also talk to people and role playing. Uh, making a game look nice is cool, but it's not really on my high, high on to do list. Do I actually play Fallout 4 or am I just a follower? I am just a follower. Sorry about that. Have you ever played Tales from the Borderlands? I love Tales from the Borderlands. One of my favorite games by Telltale. I, uh, I think Zach and I tried to, to uh, many, many years ago, tried to do a video on that. But because there's so much talking in that game, we can't really get a, a word in edgewise. Yeah, it just kind of, it, it kind of turns into... It's a game that basically plays itself for the most part. It turns into a lot of cutscenes. We're talking over a movie for the most part when it comes to that. And but, then neither of us want to actually like talk over anything, so we end up just sitting there. Quietly for 20 minutes at a point. But it's a good game. I enjoy that game. Favorite color? Red. Uh, Olive green. What do you think of Kawakas? They like capybaras, aren't Ooh, they? Quokkas are cute. Yeah. Uh, super rare or expensive gun you would like to own, Zach? Um, uh, the Smith & Wesson TRR-8 revolver. How do you donate? Link is in the description. Just look in the description. You'll see that. Also, a couple other links like to our Twitches. Also, the uh, the B&T Station 6. I would love to have one of those. Biscuit of choice. Uh, biscuit with butter on it, I guess. I oh, know. unless he's talking about cookies. Oh, uh... Uh, favorite cookie, I guess. Uh, Oreos? 
I think probably Oreos. I'm not a fan of Oreos myself. Not a fan of chocolate. Uh, I do like vanilla wafers. Those are pretty tasty, though. You know, what, you know what I really like? Mike is very vanilla. You know what I really like is oatmeal. Uh, like, I actually really like oatmeal raisin and oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, but I don't like biting into one when I'm expecting something else. Yes, that would make sense. Yep. Uh, yep. Hello. That is, You're tiny. That's a very weird weapon that guy has. Uh, I'm gonna do something real dumb. Blow yourself up to. Get... I killed him. Oh, oh, okay. What weapon was he using? Handyman. Weird. Thank you, bro, the engineer, and Turkro. Thank you for your donations to the American Heart Association. You enjoy watching all the episodes of the New Vegas series. Thank you. Of the mod of the mod series, yeah. Um, have you played New California? Technically, we have. Yes, a little bit of it here. I played. What the? <laughs> it's a ghoul arm. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a full New Vegas, uh, New California playthrough in the future. That's a ghoul arm with a nail through it. That is weird. I think it's holding like a radioactive rock. Possibly. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's got a radioactive rock nail. I have no idea where that weapon is from. That's that's messed up. This feels like dust. <laughs> Is this from Dust? It might be from Dust. Any other Resident Evil games to play together? Uh, I mean, we, we kind of want to check out Six and see if it's as bad as we remember. I don't know if we'll yeah, that might be interesting. Yeah, it's the only other only other co-op game for Resident it's, Evil. I I think the story in Six is just absolutely absurd. I don't like the story in Six. Is that is that a giant lake lurk in the distance? Or is, is, that, that... is that a giant lake lurk or is that the freaking giant uh, the 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 that's a lake lurk communism robot no, anti communism that is, robot? That is a lake lurk. All right, well let's hit it with this thing. Oh, it's uh, kind of broken already though. Oh, it's a pack oh, it's a ramen. dead pack pack ramen. Okay, okay. Mm. <sighs> more questions, more rapid fire questions. Uh, Groovatron. Yes, we've used Groovatron quite often. Yeah, we use that a lot. That, the Groovatron is the rescue gun. Why no more Long Dark episodes? I mean, we could make, do an infinite series on the Long Dark because that goes on forever. That's a fun game to stream. We'll probably do more of it in the future. Um, never say never, but uh, we're, we're good for now. The next time there's a new map. I mean, I streamed the Long Dark a, a few weeks ago. I keep on streaming every once in a while. I went to the relatively new area that was uh, Black Rock, which you probably haven't even seen yet. But Black Rock is an area that has a prison compound in it. Ooh. So you can explore a dilapidated prison compound. That weapon is from the frontier. Interesting. I don't know. I've never encountered that weapon while I was in the frontier, but that's very crazy. Favorite game you love to hate? Oh, uh, well, for me, that's Overwatch. I kind of love that game, but I also hate that game. Um, I'm trying to think about what games I love to love, hate. You love to rip on things like... you. I know you rip on games you haven't played before, like... Last of Us 2, you rip on that frequently. Um, uh, I hate basically every single Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah, you like, you like like if that if that entire series was erased from existence, I would not. I would I would not care. It's always fun to mock the iterative, low quality of sports games. Yeah. Um. What game do I love to hate though? I I I used to love to hate um Destiny 2. Like I I you used to hate play that game. I wasted so much time playing that game. All right, all right, time to use this thing. Any interest in following New California? Yes. We yes, will. We, will we will go through that. Yes. Any inscription videos on the way? I would like to uh, have Zach play the, through at least This the is not working act. as well as I would like. You're just beating someone with an arm. How is that going to be effective? I don't know. It is turning them into a pile of green goo, though, which is kind of funny. I kind of wish it shrunk him as it... At, why did I lose karma? <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> well, I, he just started shooting at me. Yeah, but he had good karma. I don't know, the karma system of this game doesn't even make sense. It doesn't have yeah, any, it doesn't really No bearing matter. whatsoever. I would like to get Zach to at least play through the first act of, of uh, Inscription because I think it's really good. And also added a bunch of fun modded cards. I playtested that on stream yesterday, and it, a lot of the cards were very functional. It, it didn't really break the game, so I'm happy that, about that. Any hobbies? Uh, we go biking, both of us. Zach's got his gun hobby. Uh, we do other things. I, I got RC editing. cars. I read a lot. Uh, next person to ask me if we'll ever play Stalker, I will... If, if if one more person asks me if I will ever play Stalker, I will never play Stalker. I, he's gonna play I, will, I will actually go out of my way to never play it, and then I will become a U.S. Senator, and I will get that ban that game banned. <laughs> boxers or briefs? Uh, bikinis? Uh, boxer briefs. Hardest boss in any game you played? Ooh. Um... I really want to say Rom the Vacuous Spider, but I've actually beaten her multiple times. Hmm. A boss that was so hard, I have actually... 
There was a, a boss in Resident Evil Revelations. I was like, I'm not going to buy. It's like the hardest boss I've ever played, but it's like one of the first ones that make me think. Eh, I don't care enough about this game to keep on playing it past this boss. I think basically uh, there were a bunch of bosses in Fallout 70 or in um, there were a bunch of bosses in uh, uh, mm -hmm. in the Frontier that made me that legitimately oh. made me like like so mad. Yeah. I think but that that's I, because that wasn't because of their difficulty. That's because they were broken. Yeah, the Frontier Nightmare boss kind of counts for that. Yeah. All right, I'm not playing Stalker. You guys brought it up again. I told you. I told you. Ever do Skyrim multiplayer? We'd love to. Yes. Dead Rising. Uh, I played a bit of that, but I can't remember much about it. Yeah, Dead Rising is fun, but like I'm not. I'm not in love with it. Any interest in Generation Zero? I have played Generation Zero. Didn't particularly care for it. What, I got really bored. What's Generation Zero? Generation Zero is a game where you kill a bunch of robots. It takes place in Sweden in like the during, I think like during the Cold War, um, and basically a bunch of cyborg, not cyborg, but a bunch of like artificially intelligent robots start killing everybody. And you're like a teenager, and you have to try to defeat the robots. And I, I got really bored. Okay. Funniest Metal Gear Solid moment. Uh, when Snake points to his headband and says, infinite ammo. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Um, Why does Zach like sh uh, raccoons? Uh, because they're cute. He loves cute Yeah, things. I think they're cute. I think raccoons are cute, and they're, they legitimately are like my spirit animal. I, I empathize with them a lot. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to save really quick. Okay. Uh, if the game will let me, if the game doesn't crash, it's gonna take like ten seconds to open up the menu. So yeah, I think it may have crashed. Uh, no. Save. Dishonor win. I don't remember Dishonor all that well. It was kind of forgettable to me. Can't remember if that was good or not. Ooh, wow, that was a weird, weird ranging. Instance. Most fun boss fight. Um, the sniper, the end from Metal Gear Solid Three is pretty memorable. That's a pretty good one. I mean. I remember the first time I fought the end. It took me like two hours, and I actually ended up... Alright, here he comes! He's coming! I ended up losing to the end. Like, the sniper battle took two hours, and I lost, and I wasn't even mad. That's how good that battle was. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I think, uh... Um... Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower in Bloodborne is probably one of my favorite boss battles. Also, um... Courtney Gears from Ratchet and Clank 3. That's just a fun boss. Like, you start fighting this pop star, and all this pop music starts playing, and you have to shoot her groupies. There's a bunch of stuff going on. What was the first video game I ever played? Probably the free pinball game on Microsoft Windows. Uh, Mario for the NES, I believe, for me. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, yeah, no, it was probably Mario on the NES. Hey, Kowalski. You're short, and you're a little bitch, and your brother was once, too. Oh, no, it's on. Okay, seems unnecessary to murder that man. Oh, okay, his arms have come off immediately. <laughs> well, then. All right, I, I want to try something here. I'm sorry, I missed a bunch of uh, donation chats, so I'm going to have to check that in a second. Uh, 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 there's, there's a few that came and I didn't see them all. Um, thank you, em Emilzebub and Drowstag. Thank you for the $60 donation. Fanta was made for the Germans in World War II. That's your name. Thank you. Favorite SpongeBob, ep favorite SpongeBob episode? Um, I was kind of out growing SpongeBob when it came out, but there were some good ones. I can't. Think it's of a rock. A rock. I don't need it. I don't need it. I remember that one. Krusty Krab. Krab. The first movie is good too. Makarov, thank you for the donation. Uh, Seal Nine. So with an, a C, a C. Thank you, Seal Nine. Remy Time Live again. Thank you for that donation. Will we ever play Call of Chernobyl? I, uh, I, don't know. I have no idea what that game is. Uh, thank you, A Monarch. Was there any reason for the in the Fallout series for when you two named the Chiapo Cleo the Cuddler? Uh, I think the reason was because it set enemies on fire, and I I I'm like <laughs> weirdly attracted to Cleo in that game. Um. Yeah, I'm like weirdly attracted to Cleo in that game, and it sets enemies on fire, and Cleo also sets enemies on fire. So I was like, oh, well, it's Cleo the Cuddler. Yes, this is the randomizer. We were playing with the randomizer on. Uh, thank you, Field Marine 32 for the $150 donation to the Ooh. American Health Association. Thank you very much. You love us so much. You love what we're doing for charity. Thank you. It's not what we're doing. It's what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you for the contribution. Thank you, Connection Error. Which one of you is Zach, and why does he lick feet? Ah. Uh. Thank you, Justin. Discovered us with the Gunrank compilations, but only realized how fantastic and hilarious videos are. Thank you. Thank you very much. Somebody's got brothers with heart problems. It means a lot that we're doing fundraising for this great cause. It is a great cause. Yes, it is a great cause indeed. Thank you. And thank you, Matt. 
Can you tell Zach I made an actual oil can silencer and it works wonders? I you shouldn't have said that, man. I doubt that, but that okay. was a that was a really bad idea. Don't tell people that. Don't tell people you made an illegal weapon. That's not right. Anyway, back to the game. Here you go. Now we're all caught up. Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. It seems interesting, but I don't know if it's kind of our cup of tea. Um, somebody asked. Uh... Thank you, Anonymous. I love you too. Uh, soccer. You, know, you can watch the entire first SpongeBob movie in a Discord video. Insurgency Sandstorm. That game seems pretty neat. I kind of want to play that game, but I don't know. Maybe. Yes. All Mike, right. Mike will be in Fallout Dust. Oh, he's like right over there. All right. Let's see. I want to see. He's going to keep can... on messing with Kowalski. <laughs> no, hang on. I'm going to do a very specific thing here. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We have to. We have to go. Get to Vegas before Kowalski catches up to you. No, we have to go kill whoever this next person is. Thank you, John. Thank you for your donation. Before Kowal We have to kill whoever the next person is before Kowalski catches us or the game crashes. Oh, I think the game already crashed, though. Favorite loop on the third character? Uh, they're all really great. I like Goyamon. Jigen. Jigen's pretty good. I like I like mm, them both, yeah. But I also I also do really like uh, Fujiko. <laughs> of course you do. I mean, who doesn't love Fujiko? Mm-hmm. That's one of the, that was, there's a really funny bit in Azumanga Daio where one of the characters is like, who do you want to be when you grow up? And this other character who, I, I can't remember her name now, I'm sorry, but she's not that smart. They're like, she's like, I want to be Fujiko Mine. I've already got the perfect body for her. And then she goes, Lupin! And everyone just stares at her really weirdly. <laughs> okay. Interesting. All right, reboot. There we go. Man, this game is crashing a lot for us today. No, it wasn't Osaka. Uh, I, why can I not remember? It's something with an M, I think, but it wasn't Osaka. Mm, Osaka is Osaka is just an airhead. Mr. Osaka. Oh, Zenigata's good too. Oh, it's hard to say not. It's hard not to say Zenigata there too. Zero out of ten. You didn't get to deface the memorial mod. What does that mod even do? I have no idea. Any Lego mm -hmm. games? I've not played any Lego games, but it looked like a lot of. Mindless fun. Could be a lot of fun. Uzi or MP7? Uh, if I can only pick one of them, then I want the MP7. Mike, did you know I actually have a box of ammo for an MP7 sitting at my house? For a gun that I don't even own and that you can't actually get as a civilian. You know, you could probably sell that for quite a lot of money. Eh, not really. No? I, I, I just ordered it at work because you can just get, you can get the ammo. Favorite loop on the third movie? Ah, oh, there's a fun story that we have there. I think I've told that before. Remember that, Zach? Uh, my favorite loop on the third movie is Castle of Cagliostro. Do you remember how you got that, though? Uh, I traded it to you for whatever movie you had. Yeah, I, I bought... We each bought a loop on the third movie, and I mm -hmm. bought Castle of Cagliostro, and you bought a different one. I can't remember which one it was, but we traded them. Yeah. Because I remember you liked Castle of Cagliostro a lot. Yep, I really like Castle of Cagliostro. It's my, it's my favorite loop on the third movie. Yeah, I remember you, your, exact, your exact words were something along the lines of... Uh, I wish I had gotten that one. That seems like a, that was a really good movie. Your your movie was much better than the movie I got. And I said, well, you want to trade? And you're like, are you sure? You clearly have the better movie. And I'm like, yeah. But in your movie that you bought, one of the characters is topless and, sun, and bathing in the topless in the water for like 10 seconds. So mm. that seems like a fair trade to me. Hey, Chesty. Can you hey, we're here to kill you. I, oh, wait, no. I need information about the caravan attack. Well. You, All right, let's what, go. What did he tell us? I wasn't actually paying he attention. He told us that. Oh! oh my God! <laughs> oh, are we? What are we? Are we playing Resident Evil Four? Or Resident Evil Five? What is this? Oh, everything's gone green. Oh! Why is this so broken today? What did I do to this game? Seriously, we were playing Fallout like two weeks ago, and we had like maybe one crash at most, at, if that. And now it's crashed six times, and this happens. Yeah. It's got to be the randomizer. It's got to be that. Yeah. All right. So I have fast traveled away. I shot the monument and now I've fast traveled away from Kowalski. Oh, geez. So Kowalski is... We are here now. Kowalski is back here. <laughs> so he's going to have to get to us all the way up here. <laughs> we, ha we have to get to... What is my current quest? Oh, investigate. The I have to get to the attacker's corpse and investigate it and kill this guy before Kowalski gets to me. Okay. That works. Go for it. Thank you, Kaufman, for the kind, and thank you, John Cook. Actually, I'm going to save here. All right. <laughs> it's Yeah, someone had a better idea. It's Fallout 3. What? Because yeah, it's all green. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> Mountain Dew weather. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, uh, did, did, Mike, did you know it's not Mountain Dew anymore? 
Uh, it's M- M- MTN do. Yeah, it's yes. MTN do. I don't know why they they shortened it. Because it's it's catchier, I guess. I guess it's, it's easier to. It's three and three. It's six letters total. Yeah. It's like the 05s all over again. <laughs> Like, every game that came out in 2005 was just green. Just black. All green and brown. Uh, I remember green, brown, and bloom. Those were the big things in 2005. Creamy or crunchy peanut butter? I haven't Uh, actually... I like both of them. They're they're both very good, but personally, I would prefer creamy. I only eat creamy. I might like crunchy, but I haven't had that in, like, three decades, so... Uh, Crunchy peanut butter is really... Crunchy peanut butter is really good if you're just kind of eating it, like, by itself. Because sometimes, like... If you're doing that, you might as well just eat peanuts, which is kind of what I do. Sometimes I legitimately just like to just open a jar of peanut butter and just eat peanut butter. You know... Especially because I can't have (laughs) peanut butter sandwiches anymore. Ah, yeah. You have to put on, like, some kind of corn snack bread. Oh, my God. You launched him real far. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what the shovel period do. Oh... Any peanut butter that isn't recalled is a win. Ah, there you go. That's that's fair. We don't talk about the early 2000s. They were weird. No time period was sane, really. Would you play any Pathfinder game? They're isometric, but don't limit you to turn-based. I don't think I've played any of those. I have no, no idea if I'd like that. Sounds interesting. Why are you me? <laughs> you just now noticed that. Yeah, I just now noticed that you're me. Because Why are you, you me? You, you gave me the controller while you were in the bathroom, so I gave, I made that the Zach companion. Oh, yeah, fair enough. My favorite soda? I actually have a video on my YouTube channel that you is my soda tier list. You ranked them all, yeah. Yeah, I ranked a bunch of different sodas. There were a lot that were missing. Thank you for the $50 donation, John Cook, and thank you for the $40 donation, Captain Eagle. And thank you too. Christian. Whoa, that's a big dog. Ooh, that's that's a German. Is that? Uh. Hey, it's guts. I think he's from New Vegas Bounties too. Uh. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Do you have any games on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Have you food? <laughs> bark, bark, bark. Oh. I love that I have not found any... I haven't found any uh, bobby pins yet. So I still can't pick any <laughs> locks because I still haven't found any dang bobby pins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I don't know where Kowalski is now, but I'm a little worried. It's too bad we can't tag him. Yeah. Is your mod list publicly available? Not this particular one, but, I mean, in any other videos, it's usually in the description. What, do you guys not have phones? <laughs> So, oh my god. Okay, so Diablo Immortal recently came out. I heard it was garbage. Which I thought it was out already because of of that debacle that was like... Four years ago, yeah. Four years ago. I was honestly surprised as well. I honestly... When when they were like, oh yeah, Diablo Immortal just came out and boy, it sucks. I I was like, didn't it come out already? Yeah, I I remember... I very distinctly remember when it was announced and it was like... The big controversy and... Yeah, instead of being like, oh, clearly our fans don't like this. Maybe we should do something else. They doubled down and went, what? You don't have a phone? Yeah, that actually became a meme. And people remember that very distinctly. So And I remember kinda... the fucking... The Giga Chad stepping up there and being like, yeah, is this just like an out-of-season April Fool's joke? Yeah. But then again, isn't that Activision Blizzard? So they just... I mean, they announced Overwatch... Two like four years ago at this yeah, point. Yeah, it was. I honestly, that was the that was the point when Blizzard started really going downhill. Mm, I mean, they've been going downhill for a while. Well, yeah, but that was the point when it was it became like immedi- immediately when it became, noticeable. Yeah, when it became apparent that they just one didn't care and two were getting real bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I think at this point somebody calculated it out, and I'm I'm sure they're going to change it. I think someone calculated it out now. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to fully kit out your, because the game is pay to win now. Uh. Um, if you wanted to pay to win to be max level in that game, it would cost like a hundred thousand dollars. 
There you go. Somebody asked earlier, what, what game do you love to hate on? How about that one? Diablo Immortal. Well, I haven't even played it. I'm not going to play it either. Exactly. We're going to mock it relentlessly and never touch it. Which is kind of a bummer because I love Diablo. I loved play Diablo, granted, my introduction to the series was Diablo 3. But I loved playing Diablo 3. And I, it's, it's, there's, no, there's no reason for me to play it anymore. A bit of an off topic, but I we were talking about Lupin movies earlier. Did you, did you see the 3D Lupin movie that came I out? I haven't seen it. I heard it's really, really good. I saw the trailers for it. It looked really good. But, I mean, these days, something comes out and you're like, how do I even see this? Yeah. Which of the 18 streaming services is yeah, it on? Which, which streaming... So oh, that was it. Which streaming service do I need? Quantrill's Notes. Uh, Bloodstained Pages, Final Log, Messages, Superior Officer, Ona Onoda. Which someone pointed out after we, uh, after we did this episode that Onoda is named after one of the last holdouts of World War II. Oh, yes, yep. the Japanese soldier. Yes. Slave, named after the Japanese soldier who was one of the final holdouts of World War II. I mean, there was probably other people that had that last name, though. Like TF2 or, no, it was specifically named after him. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he's an enclave holdout. Yeah. Mike, TF2 or Overwatch? Probably Overwatch, because I still play that game. I tried TF2 back in the day, and I didn't get into it. Um, somebody asked another question, too. I forgot what it was. There's, uh, there's a lot of questions. We can't read them all. I'm sorry. Again. Uh, uh, the 100,000 was was thrown out as a random number. No one actually knows. Oh, all right. Well, I'd have to look into it. You saw the 3D Lupin movie. It was really good. It was really good. Okay. We'll, have to, we'll definitely check it out. But, yeah, like I said, it's a bit difficult to find that. How much money has been raised so far? One hundred, or uh, not one hundred, eighteen thousand eight hundred and sixty-one dollars and sixty-six cents. Yeah, you guys have been crazy. Yeah, you guys have been giving all kinds of. Wow, that dog is messing up stuff. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That's oh been... my God, this dog! <laughs> Thank you, everybody that's donated, including Disco Gromer and Pleorb. I remember that name, Pleorb. Thank you, everybody, for all your donations to the American Art Association. Thank you very much for every contribution you've made so far. Would you ever want to come down to Australia and screw with some Aussies? I wouldn't mind going down to Australia on a vacation. I would love to go to Australia at some point. I'm going to blow you to pieces. Are you really? Because uh, I'm pretty sure I just blew you to pieces. Yes, you're all dead. I'm pretty sure I just blew you. Is this part of a quest? I don't know. Oh, okay. Just... They were fiends. All right, doesn't matter then. Favorite personal ending to New Vegas? Um, I, use, I really like, I like the free Vegas ending. I usually go with NCR because I'm a big fan of good but flawed endings. Which, I guess, mean, pretty much every ending in this game is good but flawed. Except yeah. for maybe Legion, which is bad but has redeeming qualities, which is a little bit different. It's bad but mediocre? Eh. I don't know. I, I like the, the free Vegas ending because I'm a constitutional anarchist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Warhammer faction, speaking of that? Uh, my favorite Warhammer faction is the uh, Astra Militarum. I, if I'm going to play Warhammer 40k, I would prefer to play as just the, the, the Astra Militarum. And I have no idea which faction, I guess, War Marines. Or the Death Corps Krieg. War, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, What's Death Corps Krieg is, I, I really like Death Corps Krieg. Oh, I thought this green cactus you're walking up on was a monster or something. Nope. Like, is that a dead Triceratops? What is that? Okay, it's just cactus. Got it, got it. Just a cactus. I'm just a I'm not the girl you thought I was. What do you think I'll it? race to feel the wind in my face, and I'll race to feel alive, and I'll race to feel like I own this place, and I'll race until I die, and I'll race against the other racers, and I'll race with one big shout, and I'll race against the clock, and I'll race against myself, and I'll race, and I'll race. Uh, ooh, 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 race! What is that? That's from uh, it's from the show Home Movies. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember that now. Yeah. Man, I haven't seen that show in a good decade. I know. I love that show. You... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you must because you own it. Yeah. Oh, shit. I hope I didn't just kill the dog. I hope the dog has plot armor. I hope the dog is okay. Okay, good, good. Thank God. Hooray, Guts has plot armor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for the anonymous donation for a few bucks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, goodness. Uh, Mike, am I being held against my will? Yes. Blink. I'd blink to let you know, but you can't see me blinking, so I'll just have to say no. Of course not. We pee on Kim Il-sung. 
If Bethesda made a zombie apocalypse game, what would it be called? Uh, it would be called Fallout 76, <laughs> the zombie apocalypse update. It does. Yeah, that that's probably the most accurate answer. I would probably make a joke along the lines of, they call it Fallout 76 because that's, Basically, a dead they keep on bringing a game keep on bringing back from the dead and resurrecting. It's just kind of a, a corpse they pop it around now. Honey, get up! It's time for your next DLC. Yes, dear. Time for your Brotherhood of Steel update. You love that shovel? Yeah, the shovel's called Yayit. I just renamed it to be you know, generic shovel just to, to hide it out there. Yeah, the shovel's called Yayit. Oh, oh. Thank you, Block, and thank you, oh, a couple of big anonymous donations, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You Y'all have helped so much during my military career, I got you guys. Well, thank you for the kind words. How long have we been streaming for? Um, Exclamation point up time. Well, I don't think that works in YouTube. <laughs> it doesn't chat. work on YouTube. Well, Zach, remember you came over, I said be here at 2, you came here, we started yeah. streaming at 2.30. Yeah. So what time is it now? Seven. So Dang. Going for three and a half hours, yeah. Dang. I might. Huh. The Nuka Breaker. Oh, that's great. We never got to use that one in the series yet so far, but it's cool. My favorite companion, it's Hope. If we're talking vanilla companions, probably Cass because she has a lot of barks. But Veronica's yeah, good Cass too. is Cass is fun. I remember the dark days of when they they nerfed the amount of barks that she has. Because so many people were like, I'm tired of hearing her talk. Well, I don't know if that was unnerfed or not. If there is, if, if she is still nerfed, there's a mod that unnerves her. I know that much. Yeah. Oh, I, I, this is the guy! <laughs> this is not, I remember this. This is Onoda, isn't Oh it? my god, I didn't even get a chance to shoot at him. Well, fine. Here, take this. Would the dog tear him up? I think, I think Hope just shot him. Ah, uh, yes. This is Hope's world. We're all just living in it. All right, we made it. We made it. And what's his name? Never showed up. He didn't actually get here. Who? Who doesn't get here? Oh, Kowalski. You mean, Kowalski. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember Kowalski. I pissed off Kowalski, and now we're just running around. Is he glitched? Is he just never gonna show up? I don't know. Actually, I'm kind of wondering if I stay here long enough, if Kowalski will show up. What, Maybe. Let's see. Which which direction would he show up from? Let me point towards. There's Boulder City, so I just basically got to point almost directly south. Mm hmm So he'd show up from kind of that direction. <laughs> you love how bad motherfucker is still following you, contributing nothing but appearing occasionally. Yeah. Will I do any gun blogs? Maybe. I don't know. Thank you, Program One, Cranbull, and Magnificent Oven, who asked, "Do you guys not have pit boys?" Yeah. Do you not have pit boys? What's the deal here? Right, Hope. Do we not have pit boys? Are we not men? Do we not bleed? You've got a pit boy. I have a pit boy. Hope doesn't know. We should get help a pit boy. We could. That's actually an option you could do. We should get Hope Pip Boy. We should get Hope some human skin. We could get Hope uh, some breast augmentation surgery. No. She's a robot, so we can just be like, beep, boop, and make him bigger. Then again, it would fit those straps better, wouldn't it? Because that backpack is kind of over nothing. So. Yeah, I don't really know how she's actually carrying that backpack. We should get... Hope is fine the way she is. She's a strong, independent, tall woman. Yes, who's also actually a robot. Who's also actually a robot. Yes. I, um, I just realized she's wearing high heels. I don't like that you're wearing high heels in the desert. We'll have to change that. I mean, yes, Queen Slay, <laughs> but also you, we're, we're in combat scenarios a lot of the time, and that cannot be good on your feet. That's going to sink, and also you're going to break a heel, twist your ankle. I don't see him. There's... All right, well, let's just let's continue on. Okay. Sky got dark, huh, didn't it? Did. Here you go. I'm going to let you turn this quest in, and I'm going to go to the bathroom and stretch. Okay. I got to turn this quest into Randall. Very well. Can't donate more? That's all good. I appreciate what you can, Lauren Woods. Thanks for all the awesome content. I'm happy to do so. We were very happy to keep on doing this for you. Your grandpa had a heart attack when he was little. He survived, but he had, he had to have a pacemaker. So this is a, a cause that's near and dear to your heart. Yes. Yes. It's very near and dear to many people's hearts because they all have personal issues, personal uh, relations with that, per personal experiences with it, including myself. It's, it's important that we take the fight to heart disease hey. and beat the absolute hell out of it and make it ever regret coming in the neighborhood. Is the convoy attacker dead? Yes. Good. Here's your reward. 
Don't spend it all in one place. I won't. Come back when you're ready for the next job. Okay, how did we meet? In- we met in high school. We met in high school. We hung out in freshman year, and then we had our own individual cliques, and then we hung out again in senior year, and now we do this for a living. Yeah. Thank you for the donation, Man of War. You ready for another job? You got it. Why do I have to collect fingers? Can't I bring back, like, their severed heads or something? What are you, some kind of psychopath? Look, we collect fingers because it's a quick and efficient way to provide proof of death. I'm not building some crazy finger necklace or anything. Mm. I learned it from a man I encountered in my younger days. He found me after Marco had cut me to shreds since he was on that bastard's trail. His name... Marshall, Marshall Cooper. Cooper. He was the bravest lawman and bounty hunter I ever encountered. Ah, uh, yes. I saw him kill three raiders single-handedly with a fucking fork. I don't know. How long do I think it'll take before Zach rages in Fallout Dust? Uh, episode 10. Finger time. That's what I like to hear. Our client Come on, Eileen. We're ba- going ba- after ba- Eileen. Ba- oh, very big dog. And it's a big dog. He's a pauper. Hope, I'm gonna need your finger. Don't ask why. What are you doing to Hope? I am going to trade her finger in for a bounty. What? We're no, gonna, Hope, you can't do that. We're gonna take Hope's finger, frame her for murder. He's and then, gonna know that Hope didn't do anything. We're gonna we're gonna frame Hope for murder. That's why he that's why he's gonna think he's gonna do, she's gonna do something. Hope doesn't even have any fingerprints. I have detected a flaw in this plan of mine. Ugh. If you you know what, you don't have to get fingers to make a finger necklace, but if you got fingers lying around, might as well enjoy them, you know? Take money, yeah. Doggo could be a horse, yeah, I could ride him into battle, that could be fun. Make sure Zach washed his hands. Zach. I always wash my hands. It's very prudent to, to do so, yes. Y'all are the ones not washing your hands, spreading COVID all over the place every time you come out of the bathroom. I don't need to wash my hands. Y'all are nasty. Yup. <laughs> no! Guts! No! Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I hope that wasn't the figure we needed. Oh, jeez, the figure goes off in space. Nah, we're fine. I don't know who these raiders are. They're probably added by a mod, if I'm being honest. Raiders enhanced mod. Oh, gotta reload. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Realistic raiders mod. Thank you for the donation. Oh, Oh, you died. Okay, thank you, Vinny and Dexter Bromlet. Well, it would seem somebody's got a lethal firearm they're using on us. How was Hope's robot body made? In a kiln. Was it recycled from Andrea's mesh or is it handmade? I, if you're act, if you're asking actually, it, I used the race mod from the Daughters of Ares mod, which is, I think, difficult to track down. It's not on the Nexus anymore. You might have to hunt it down. But yeah, I think the guy, the Nexus, apparently did some kind of shady stuff. Yeah, this, uh, this predates it quite a while ago, though. Oh, yeah, that body's oh. still floating, even though we just got here. That's still lingering from last load save. Would we go back to playing Elden Ring? I don't know. You've played a lot more of it than I have at this point. Yeah, and I'm I. How do you feel like it rates compared to Bloodborne and other games? Bloodborne's still my favorite FromSoft game. Yeah, it's not gonna. It's be... really hard. It's gonna be real hard for them to be dethroned. To dethrone Bloodborne. The other problems I got, I guess, problem complaints I have about Elden Ring. It's a great game, but they recycled too many bosses. Uh, There's like 160 something bosses in that game. Damn. Do you know how many unique bosses there are in that game? When you say unique, you mean unique to that game, or they recycled bosses like from Bloodborne or no, something? No, no, no. I mean, there, there. You know how many times there is a boss in that game that does not appear again? You only fight this boss once. Oh. Out of 160 something bosses, do you know how many times there's a boss that they didn't use multiple times? I think if you're gonna have a boss, it should feel pretty unique most of the time. So if you're gonna have 160, out. If you're going to have 160, I would imagine maybe something like 100 unique bosses that never show up again, maybe? No, there's nine. Wow. Yeah. That I can, I can see that being a... a I am so tired of fi- fighting the ulcerated tree spirit and the godskin duo that I want to be sick. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. 
Yeah, I, I, I might be I might be wrong on exactly how many exactly how many unique bosses there are, but yeah. Oh, was that the gun that was killing me last time? Oh no, I needed that head. No. And I actually kind of agree with what uh, Juan Don N Nady said. Of there's Eileen. I um, I actually kind of agree with what Juan Don Nady said. Of Elden Ring would actually be a better game if it had less content. Oh yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. I think it's I think it's a little too big. Or at least there's too many reused enemies. What are my thoughts on Oh, well what are Mike's thoughts on Death Stranding? Have you played it? He's never played it. I love Death Stranding. Death Stranding is one of my favorite games. I've already I'm not a fan of walking simulators. I didn't care for Firewatch. I was very bored by that. Death Stranding is less of a walking simulator than you think it is, though. You say that, but I also probably wouldn't enjoy things like spin tires like you do. It, it takes a very that's specific true. kind of person yeah. to enjoy that. I can I can understand that. I I really like the careful planning in Death Stranding of I need to get from here to here and I have to actually think about the route I'm going to take. Yeah, I can see that. It's not, not really something that appeals to me though. Thank you Dexter Bramlett, Benjamin Dover. Thank you very much for your donations. Money is a good cause. Yeah. Any game that I had fond memories of, but when you when you revisited it, you couldn't remember why you liked it. Uh I think that's probably Code Veronica for my <laughs> <laughs> Why did I like this game? Uh, I, I know there's ones that are like that. I'm I just trying to remember why. I what. still enjoy how campy it is. But, I mean, if you're going back to games that... If you're basically asking us, is there any game that we had nostalgia goggles on for? Uh, and when we went back to it, it wasn't as good as we remember. And that, that can be applied to quite a few things. Yeah, I'm trying to think of specific... Oh, um, call it Modern Warfare. The first Modern Warfare. When they came out with the... Um, not the not the remake of Modern Warfare that came out in 2019. They came out with a um, they remastered Modern Warfare. I forget exactly when. Um, and one of the problems I had with the remaster of Modern Warfare was I, it was this was a uh, how they handled it more than anything else. But they did such a bad job remastering it that the load times were oh shit oh, he got here hey, oh my god <laughs> you're desecrating a war memorial I holy crap i'm sorry Tell it was rude and disrespectful i'm sorry kowalski it won't happen again all right apology accepted i'm sorry it was a complete accident bye. bye bye it was a complete accident just like this negligent discharge sorry put my gun away i put my gun away oh uh, he's dead already oh he's already dead oh well bye Damn, I'm amazed that he made it here. Yeah. Hey there. how small he is, too. He had to yeah, run pretty right? Far. Good lord. Did you, kill Eileen? you bet I did. Here you go. Yeah. I think every member what is my opinion on Texas? A little easier with that you oh, wanna, okay, okay. If, um, you, if you want to know Zach's opinion on Texas, you'll have to check out his state ranking video. On yeah, his I, I, don't really have a I don't really have a problem with Texas. I have a problem with uh, what they're doing what they're doing to women's reproductive rights, though. You ready to work? But not to get too political. We're here to assassinate people and get their fingers. Exactly. Um, Look, yes, Modern Warfare was remastered in 2016, gone. and they did a very bad he job on the remaster gone. of it. He's the new the load he's times the took jackals. forever. I thought you were talking and about Call of Duty 4. Wasn't that game also remastered and awful? Out of the jackals. No. Since the Republic All right. The sorry -ass Cullen, huh, Mr. Cullen? All right. We're going to go after Mr. Cullen now. Would you like to resume play? If not, that's fine. I'll keep on killing some folks. Thank what? you, Wyatt. Thank you for the donation. Thank you very, very much. What do I think of New York pizza? New York pizza slaps. I love it. It's pretty good. I like the Detroit style, though. The, the burnt cheese on the side, that's really good, too. Yeah, uh, New York style pizza slaps. It's amazing. What do you think of Marco from New Vegas Mounties 3? If there is anything that can be improvement, improved, what would they be? I mean, I feel like Marco kind of needs a rewrite... He needs a re he needs to be less cartoonishly evil and less holier than thou. Yeah, I think actually the biggest change they could make was not letting you speak, so he has a ten minute monologue. Um, some of the other problems I had with that game are like if you kill, somebody pointed out in the comments of that video, if I had killed, uh, I forget what it, Glanton, if I had killed Glanton, the only person that would have known that I had killed, uh. That I had killed Esther would have been Brookshire. Uh huh. And it, there's absolutely no reason for him to have tell tell anyone that I did that because I would be dead. Right. And then you still get the child killer bounty hunter. But then they're still you. like, oh, you killed a child. So it like that doesn't make any sense. There's so many things in 
there's so many things that that modders of Fallout do that don't make a whole lot of sense to me. Specifically, they treat the world of Fallout New Vegas as if it's the modern world where people are going to um, have modern communication. Have modern communication in in this game, in in the Fallout universe. I could have come from New Reno to New Vegas and no one would have any idea who I was. Mm. Even if I had been one of the most famous people in New Reno. No one will know over here. Nobody's going to know. Also, because human memory is incredibly faulty. Yeah, but it's also not even a problem with the modders. It's more of a problem with, I mean, that, that was a precedent set by Fallout 3 where you hurt somebody in a town and then somebody everywhere else knows about it. Yeah, that's true. Or you, you hit somebody in the back of the head in a broom and then somebody three rooms over goes, Oh, you're my enemy now. Here I come with a gun. Yeah. So it, it, it is a problem, but it's a problem that also had precedent, so I can kind of be forgiving about it. Uh, all right. Apparently they're in here. Let's see if they're still here. I think we already... Were we already in here once? Yes, we were. There's a dead gecko. We were exactly here like three hours ago. And now there will be someone in There's here. There's no one in here. Wow. Pardon me. I got to go deliver my line. Nope. Oh, pardon me. No, I have... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who the fuck are you? Your I mother. Him. Your mother! There's a bounty on your head. I'm here to collect. Uh... See, this is a, a bit of a shame too for New Vegas Bounties One, is because this is the first mod that he made essentially, and it was kind of it's kind of showing its face. There's not a whole lot of dialogue options, not a lot of branching pathways no. to choose from much, but I will kill you now. You're gonna be collecting your ass. Mike, have you ever gone shooting with oh, me? Yeah. Yes, he has. Yeah, we did some shooting a bit ago. <laughs> okay, okay, indeed. Had a bit of a paralysis bug. Yeah. Mm. I yoink. Out of the way, dog butt. Oh, I have to look at this dog's butt while I level up. Wait, oh, the music is not here, too. What are my opinion? Do I have any favorite 40k guns? No, not really. I just like the guns in 40... Or I just like 40k in general. Eh. Eh. Also, what are my favorite... Or opinion on Necrons? Necrons are cool. Bounties, eh? Oh, I remember Dwayne. Ah, uh, yes. He's a big old dork, isn't he? Yeah. Right now. I said he. Was, I think I said he had a big red beard, and he's a piece of shit. And yeah. Fucks his mom. I'm not a bounty hunter. I'm a traveling folk singer. Yep. I remember that bit. I can't remember the entire song, but he's a big old dork, and he fucked his mom. Yep. I don't buy it. I think I'll just kill you. You will try and fail. I, I like that Guts is literally gigantic. I would never harm you, Guts. You're great. You are wonderful. Bark, bark. Uh, let's talk about your tactics. Aru. <laughs> Combat. <laughs> Combat style. I want you to use a ranged weapon. Let's go. No, seriously. Use a ranged weapon. Do you think there's anything redeemable about the karma system? Uh... Guts is incapable of ranged attacks and will continue using melee attacks. Perfect. All right, well, it's bathroom time for me. Oh, okay. I must, I must... Mix your aid, urinate, etc., etc. No, it's the other one. Oh, okay. What's my favorite sniper rifle? Uh... Oh, I didn't realize that some L96A1. guy... L96A1. Hmm. Didn't realize some guy did other mods before this in Fallout 3. Interesting. Mm. Indeed. I was gonna say something else, but I can't remember what it is. It's Intriguing! Ah... <laughs> uh. It would have been better if there were no secret, stupid sequences like that. Yeah, yeah. It's always easy to look back on it and say, well, in hindsight, this should have been how it goes, but, eh, whatever. Did I know that our playthrough of New Vegas Bounty 3 might be the first recorded one that showcases the low intelligence dialogue? Well, I'm, well, there's probably a lot of playthroughs out there, but I'm glad that we were able to do that. Zach was kind of annoyed with it at first. He's like, uh, I don't like people treating me like I'm an idiot. I don't like feeling like an idiot. But by the end, we were done with Virgil. We were having a lot of fun with that. So I'm glad we did. <clears throat> Thank you, Ameribear. You'll be the first one to donate. <laughs> I knew that we'd get somebody eventually. <laughs> Thank you very much. We've actually raised $19,000 and then some and some spare change. So thank you for everybody who has donated. If you are able to donate, we appreciate it. And if you are currently not in a place where you can donate, I, that's understandable. There is no pressure. We're just here to have fun. And if you are in a spot where you can donate, thank you. Link is in, in the description if you want to. Uh, we, we're very grateful that you're able to join us 
for the very first charity stream we've ever done, it's kind of I'm kind of surprised it's gone as well as it has. Very, very amazing, actually. Oh, and uh, Zach is in chat. That, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you, Hey Matt. Thank you. It does help. Thank you very much. So, uh, yep. You can check the video description for a link for the Tiltify account so you can donate money to the American Health Association. There's also links to Zach's and my streams. I know there's a lot of you here. I'm trying to respond to a lot of comments, but it's very, very difficult because there's a lot of questions being asked. But if you join us on our regular Twitch streams, it's usually a lot quieter there. Usually only about 100 people at a time at most. So it's just very chill. We're playing games, answering questions. If you have something you want to ask us, that's usually the best time to get a hold of us. I stream on Fridays usually. Zach streams on Saturdays usually and just kind of whenever we feel like it. None of the followers have died so far. That is true, but I also they have plot armor so they can't die. So that's that's that. Is this really the first charity stream? I do believe it is. I don't believe we've had a charity stream before. Yep. Kind of surprising it took us six years, but here we are. Better late than never. Uh, you love the Twitch streams? You got a happy birthday from Zach last Saturday? Yeah. We're see, we're able to respond to people a lot easier in the Twitch streams because it's a lot less busy. Great first, first stream. Thank you for saying so, Hunter. Is it my birthday? It is actually my birthday today. Today is my birthday, but instead of asking for a birthday, I mean, to, if you're going to give me like a birthday gift, I would please say redirect your birthday wish to uh, the American Heart Association. Link is in the description. Um, I intentionally scheduled the uh, donation, the stream on my birthday because I figured, you know, I never celebrate my birthday. I usually try and let it play out, but you know what? I'm gonna do a charity stream for my birthday. That's gonna be that's gonna be how I celebrate it. So, thank you everybody that has contributed. It has been a great birthday so far. Favorite duck? Mallards are pretty cool. Oh, but painted ducks hard to say. Painted ducks are pretty beautiful, I will say. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. What is the Twitch channel? That is in the video description here. You can check that out. It's basically just Mike Birdfire on Twitch. And Zach's is Zach Hazard on Twitch. Thank you very much for all the birthdays. Thank you. Thank you for all the well wishes. <laughs> you sewed it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at all that cake. Thank you very, very much. You still remember when you heard of us from a Reddit post? We have come a long way, haven't we? A lot of people have come here from Gunrant videos, some from Reddit, some from something they saw on funny i funny stuff like that you, you've you've all joined us at various times from various places and thank you for being here and enjoying the stuff we do it's been a lot of fun i feel like i'm getting a phone call from zach oh no i'm actually getting a spam call that doesn't happen very often i'm just gonna ignore that ah mm. oh, the birthday big grade watch the ymca rats video for your birthday zach actually sent me that video yes favorite shadow person i don't know i don't know what that is how much has been donated? Yes, unfortunately, the overlay doesn't seem to be working. But to answer your question, currently we are at nineteen thousand dollars to uh, nineteen thousand and three hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Thank you, nineteen point three dollars. Thanks to Mania Show who just gifted another one hundred dollars. Very kind of you. Thank you everyone that makes these big old donations. We got quite a lot of big donations being gifted. We appreciate all donations, even the small ones, though. Uh, there's a lot. A lot of bigger donations here that I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more of like small little $5 donations here and there, $2 donations, yada, yada, yada. And then some of you guys come out with swinging, like, here's 100, here's 200, here's 250. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Kind of very crazy. Kind of very incredibly crazy. So when we got done with Fallout uh, Frontier, I initially were, was going to have us play Fallout, uh, there's a moon quest, but uh, we didn't actually do that. Because Zach told me he was sick and went into space, so I figured, you know what? We'll just we'll put a pin in that. We'll go into a, we'll go back into space a different day in the future. You watched a Fallout 4 video and you were hooked. Awesome, nice. Yeah, boom, boom to the moon is the one I was talking about there. Thank you, Daggerfall. Uh, I was we were gonna play Boom to the Moon. That was the one I was setting us up for next, but Zach was just kind of burned out on space. He wanted more of a traditional Fallout experience, so we did that instead. Well, I do intend to do Boom to the Moon in the future. It's a great game. Very different from what you would expect from a Fallout mod, but very good, very good. Mm. 
really overshot the goal. I had no point of reference for how good this, or how bad this is going to go, so I set a very, very low bar, and we sprinted through that in the first five minutes. So thank you, everybody. Hmm. Hello and thank you. How old am I today? Oh, if I tell you how old I am, you're not going to find me very relatable. It's like, hmm. Mike's only 14 years old. He can't relate to my adult problems. Or Mike is 80 years old. He can't result. He can't relate to my average, typical age problems. My middle age crises problems. No, I'm 36, I think. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Celebrating another birthday bash. Michael, <laughs> it's your birthday today. Cake and ice cream are on the way. Yes. Uh, Fallout New California. We'll do that soon. Yes. Have you met El Chesbreach? Uh, not in person, but he's a great guy. I like to rate his stream when I'm done with my stream, usually on Fridays. Thoughts on Bioshock? I played one and two, and I really enjoyed them. I didn't much care for the other one. What's Bioshock? Bioshock is a game. Game series. Have I heard of Nuka Break? I enjoyed the Nuka Break series. Yes. Deadly Premonition. I have not played it, but I did watch somebody else's playthrough on it. I thought it was pretty interesting. Not sure it was my cup of tea. Will we ever play, play the revamped MTR campaign of the Frontier once it comes out? I'm sure we'll showcase that on the channel once it's ever finished. Yes. No, I never will. Even if Zach says no, it'll be on the channel. I will never point. play the Frontier again. Mm, uh, yes. Give me money and I will. He's very soured on that. Some of my best friends have kids my age or older. Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I feel like the internet is kind of like nullified some of the, the, the divisions between different age gaps. It's like... Eh, we're older, but also we're also connected to the internet and we chat with a lot of young folks too. So it keeps us young and makes them older. We're kind of like just a gray mash of age. I stopped aging after 17. I, long, I no longer mature. That's correct. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <coughs> that was a sneeze. I sneezed. Thoughts on doing Stardew Valley? Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I probably won't just because I, from what I've heard, that game, you basically have to literally spend years playing it. <laughs> you don't have to. You can play it for as long as you want to, but yeah, people play it for as long as they want to. And some, oh, I got to go return to Randall. I forgot about that. Yep. Forgot to go back to Randall. Was that play Resident Evil 4 remake? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm going to play that game. Uh, are we going to play America Rising, a mod for Fallout 4? Yeah. We haven't played any mods for Fallout 4 aside from Fourville at this point, but we do intend to play a lot of... Fallout 4 mods eventually when we can get around to that. A lot of people saying bless you, Zach. Thank you. Bless you, bless you. Oh. Big dog. I thought that was... For a yeah. moment, I, fought, I forgot we're here. I thought it was that was his dog. Like He's got dogs in New Vegas Mounties 3. I forgot he's got dogs. Skeleton voice or Skeletor voice? Yeah. Yeah. He-Man. It's hard to pass up Skeletor voice. What was that about, He-Man? Is Colin dead? Uh, he could be. We may have cultivated his death, yes. Standing job. Come back when you're ready for work. Now that I've dabbled with a Gek, are there any plans to make a big quest mod or is it too much of a hassle? I just don't have any time. I yeah, you do. I've got time for nothing. Think things. about all the time you could have spent getting ready for getting ready for this stream that you spent doing nothing. No, I spent a lot of time getting ready on this stream. Hey there. And working on st other stuff, too. I'd love to make more stuff for the mods, but unfortunately, modding is not, like, a profitable career. No, it really, really isn't. See, that was the thing. Many, many years ago, when Bethesda announced the Creator Club, I still have an extra grind about that. Creator Club! And I went, oh boy! They're finally going to make modding an actual career. I could become a modder. This is before we even had a YouTube channel. Yeah. They announced the Creator Club, and I'm like, oh boy! I always wanted to be a modder, but I never actually did it because... You know, modding, you can't actually make money doing that, so why would I make that my career? But the Creator Club will allow me to make money being a modder! Oh wait, Mike, hang on a second, really quick. Yes. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I would love to fight a horse-sized duck, because after I do that, I'll have a lot of food. I'll be able to eat that duck for many, many years. I would rather fight one horse-sized duck, because then I can tame it and I can ride around on it. Anyway, please continue. Yes, and also, a horse-sized duck only has, like, one or two weak points. You hit that, and it's down, but, like, a hundred... 100 horses have like 100 weak points, and you gotta find them yeah. all. Yeah. Anyway, please continue. Uh, yeah, the Creator Club. It sucks because it doesn't actually allow modders to have like a career modding. It's just like, here's a skin for your pit boy. Yeah, the, the Creator's Club is real, real trash. So, very disappointed in that. Thank you for donating money, Dat Jesus lad, you know the guy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> 
We've been playing the randomizer mod. We should probably start wrapping up the stream because we've been doing it for about four hours. Yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah, I've actually been hungry since we started the stream. But oh, I actually... geez. Yeah, you probably should have eaten some. Mike, you need to eat. I did eat. I ate this morning. I had a bunch of chicken and also some peanuts, but also I'm a, a, I'm a monster that loves to just shove food in my face and I put on a lot of weight. I need to lose weight anyway, so it's all fine. It doesn't matter. I'll eat dinner or whatever. Anyway, how do you want to end the stream? What kind of, what kind of mission or two you want to do? Um, we could take out Cold and call it a day, but also, like, the randomizer hasn't seen much use because we did Bounty's quest, but Bounty isn't affected by the randomizer, I, so... I feel like it, we had seen enough in that random things have been showing up. Um, Why don't we make it to Nipton, our home sweet home? There we go. We'll make it to, we'll make it to home sweet home Nipton and call it a day. You mean Novak? I said Nipton. I meant to say Novak. Thank you. We'll get to Novak. Thank you, Jessica. You had prepared the Monster Factory question for the donation message, but being a third-time donor, you think it's enough to say thank you for providing good stuff to listen to. Our pleasure. Thank you. You love the editing? Excellent. And you love Zach's commentary? Yes, he does do very good stuff like that. Also, going to the fun to make Zach play Frontier again? <laughs> no! I refuse. He refuses. You can't make... If we play the front... Okay, let me let me, let me me go back on that. You you said you wanted to play uh, the if... uh, Crusader campaign, though. Yeah, the, the problem was... The problem was, I... You want to... You I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you, please. I honestly believe that we played the Frontier for too long. We played it for a good year. We played it for a year. I think that was too long. Um, I, I would have preferred to go on to something else, because by the time we finished the Frontier, everybody had forgotten about it. E yes, it was still in the... It was, still, it was out of public zeitgeist and everything. But I, I still think it was great that we were able to showcase all of the good stuff and the bad stuff that thing had to offer. Anyway, if we played through the frontier again, <laughs> floating road cone, if we played through the frontier again, I would not do the NCR campaign. I would probably do the the other campaign, but I'm sure people would have a problem because there's a girl in there that she's barely legal. Oh my god, you guys. So, oh, my skeleton shoot down Oh, no. How did meat come off the skeleton? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Necromancy. I do want the answer to that question. Jeez. How did meat come off of him? Yeah, so eventually... Ooh, boy. I do eventually want to get a Crusader run on the... Oh, there goes the car. Yes, I do eventually want to showcase the Crusader run on the channel and also whenever it's done, the NCR revamp run. Will Zach join me for it or will I do it by myself or with somebody else? Who knows? That's a question for the future. But yes, we, have, we did a year of the Frontier... It's going to get a well-deserved break. The Frontier had some great moments. It had some big missteps, but I'm glad we were able to get through it and we were able to make the jokes we did. And we were able to give a lot of people a catharsis. No, oh, Mike, we can't do any more Frontier because I see one, I see I already see a comment that says, don't do another Frontier. I got so bored with that series. Okay, well, I'm, it's tr I'm sure we can't do one. We can't do any more. The fans have spoken. No more Frontier. Well, a fan has spoken, yes. No more Frontier. No more Frontier ever. Okay. Did very well. Very well. I honestly can't fault anybody for being burned out after playing through that NCR campaign. What was the single most maddening of the Frontier mod overall? The fact when it, the fact that the NCR campaign in the Frontier has four endings. It's got more endings than Lord of the, the Lord of the Rings movies do. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about like it had branching endings. I'm like, no, it didn't have one single ending. Oh, you mean like you felt like it ended four times? Yeah, was, like you do all this stuff and you get to you. Find, they show you the airship. Oh my God, we have the airship. Now we can do. Oh, except that no, now you have to go to space. Oh my God, we're going to space. Except that no, now now you're done going to space. Now you have to go do this other fight thing. Fight the Legion. All oh right. my God, we're fighting the Legion. Oh wait, no, now it's not over. Now you have to fight the. Now you have to fight the the X exiles again oh my god and yeah. now it's finally fucking over it did go on for a very very long time that and then you know what you know what? it wouldn't have been that bad if it had gone on for that long i guess one of the other problems i had is that when it when the mod ends if you do the ncr ending it is not satisfying you do i did so much stuff to help the ncr and the ending is basically and everyone died <laughs> the end, the end. <laughs> It wasn't a very satisfying ending. There's only one ending, and it's pretty bad, yeah. I felt like the end of the NCR campaign was basically, LOL, look at you supporting the NCR, you fucking chump. Get wrecked. <laughs> Thank you, Doc Pope and Dragon Z Venom and Wyatt and Jaden What Cordivore is happening here? And Jel... Jel... Oh, my gosh. Thank you for all your donations. What is going on indeed? Who is... Is this the Legion attack being activated prematurely, or are these raiders attacking? Oh, these are legionaries. For so Oh, these are NCR soldiers. What is happening? Uh, apparently, some random NCR soldiers uh, uh, got caught up with some random legionaries. Okay. 
I got ya! Huh. Saved. NCR soldiers are being shot at by people. I have no idea. This is actual chaos. And everyone died! The end! Oh, baby! Zach, go buy a high point. Why? Who did? Is that? No. That's hope? Okay. Yeah, I kind of wish that I had talked to the final. I was so fed up. Mike pointed out to me after I had just basically shot at the final boss because I was so fed up of listening to him. But Mike pointed out to me that you can defeat him by playing Caravan, which I think would have been really funny. <laughs> yeah, it would have. But, but I, I mean, if you talk to him, we didn't showcase this, but if you talk to him, it, it's got the same problem where if you if you talk to him, he will tell you, Oh, all right, and then he'll give you he'll give you his backstory, and he'll just give you an info dump on his backstory. At this point, you just want to kill him, but he will legit talk for like seven minutes straight about his backstory. Yeah. I was raised in a cabin, and my father didn't love me. It's like at this point, you don't even care. It's just yeah. too much talking. You're you're just done with it by then. Um, the guy that voiced uh, what is his name? Rancor. Yeah, the guy that voiced Rancor uh, plays the out. plays one of the characters in Death Stranding. Oh, does he? Yeah, he plays um. He plays the... He's uh, a prolific voice actor. He was also in Valkyria Chronicles 4. Yeah, he's, he's done... I Well, apparently... The reason I hadn't really heard of him is because... Um, uh, he... Like, really only started in voice acting in, like, 2008. Oh, okay. So... Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't like to talk too much shit about the Frontier because the Frontier has its issues, but it's also got some good points, and I feel like a lot of them get overlooked. Thank you, Anonymous, for the $150. And Jeez. butter for the $50. Butter, do I like you salted or unsalted? Um, I get it unsalted. I think either one can be good depending on the situation. But I, lo I love you, butter. <laughs> you just live with me forever, butter, yes. You watch the channel grow through high school? I'm glad you were able to watch us grow through high school. Didn't the Frontier pay their voice actors with exposure? I, it's a, I don't know. I don't know what the... The I don't Frontier know what isn't the, an actual thing. It's like a, it's like a, a, a fan-made project. Everything is like paid with exposure. It's people just having fun doing what they want to do. It's kind of amazing to me that they got what whatever his name Ray is. Ray Chase. It's, like, it's kind of amazing to me that they got Ray Chase for the Frontier. Yeah. But it's... It's also disappoint, or it's also kind of sad that they got him for that because now that they're working on the frontier again, and because the reception was so bad, Ray Chase was just straight up like, "Yeah, take my, I'm, take me out of it." Yeah, I'm, I'm not in it. Yeah. Take me out. Can't fault. Oh boy, can't exactly fault him for that because there were some uh, pretty negative elements in the community that would just hound anyone associated with the, from yeah. the frontier mod. A lot of harassment going on. A lot of people didn't want their names attached to it. There was a lot of negativity around surrounding the frontier mod. But hey, if you haven't seen my two-hour video discussion on the frontier mod i do talk about all of its bad parts and its good parts and i do want to emphasize that there are really good parts and at points the frontier is like some of the best fallout content i've seen in a fallout anything mod or game like it's got some really great moments the unsafe harbor is in is incredibly good i love it I, if, if, my favorite honestly if the frontier had just been unsafe harbor that would have been amazing yeah <laughs> that mod in itself just that section in itself was so good is one of the best mods of fallout new vegas i have ever played yeah i would honestly suggest if you want to play a fallout mod you want to, my opinion download the frontier and if you do nothing else with it get the unsafe harbor patch and play the unsafe harbor mod because i love it and then just uninstall it because it's like that that even that by itself is super good yeah and if you want i mean there are still a bunch of fun side quests in the frontier and i i think the legion campaign still had a lot of great themes to it i i really enjoyed the legion campaign of the frontier as i've mentioned in my video for all the reasons i listed but it has its issues it, the frontier has its issues I, there's no doubt about that Anyway, I think we've talked about the frontier for many, many, many months at this yeah, point. Yeah, we've talked about it for like too long. We've we've got uh, Fato Cato, Fato love a good cause. Thank you, Fato Cato. Project Brazil. Project Brazil is actually New California. They renamed Project Brazil New California. Yep. So yeah, look forward to that in the future. Yep, we will be doing that later on. Oh boy, I can't jump very high. It's very. We got we got J Jupiter gravity on right oh, now. Oh well, if it was Jupiter gravity, you would be getting crushed right now. Well, actually. Well, actually. Mike, where does a mansplainer get his water? At the found mantain. No, at a well. Well, actually. actually. Well, actually, yes. 
I'm hoping because of how good. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the frontier anymore. Frontier has its redeeming uh, redeeming qualities. Yeah, we're done. We're done talking about that. Check check out my two hour video if you want me to hear my great at length opinions. I gave you all of them. It's a make another video essay. You love that style of video. They take a while to put together though, and I also don't know what else I would talk about because. I mean, I did a video essay on the frontier because no one else really had at that length that I did. But if and, and it, on any other subject regarding the frontier, uh, regarding Fallout, there are many, many people out there making lore mods, lore videos, like in-depth lore discussions out there. There's a lot of people out there, so I, it's kind of a crowded place. I prefer to do things that haven't been done before, like co-op here with Zach, and also, I mean, I was probably one of the fewer people, one of the people that actually played through the majority of the Frontier in many campaigns. So, I had the um, Mike. Seeing how you've reached your mid thirties, when do you think you'll be getting your hip replaced? The perspective. Careful. They got spies all over. I hope not to ever ha need to get a hip replacement, but at the same time, the way I sit probably would be pretty soon. Who sent you? I ain't talking. I know, Bark. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Thank you, BC twenty four forty eight, for your fifty dollar. Donation to the American Heart Association, and also quoted me by saying, it's not sex if you can breathe. Thank you. Goodness. Hello from West Virginia. Sorry you hated Fallout 76. Again, I liked the world of Fallout 76. They made a really nice world. It's just that the game it itself is pretty awful. I wish I could explore Fallout 76 and Fallout 4's engine. We'll just see. And thank you to Fato Cato for your donation as well. Fato Cato. You gotta go now. Let me know if you meet anyone suspicious. Fallout Miami, I, again, Fallout Miami, Fallout London, I try not to get too, too super stoked about them because there's always a chance those fa those projects fall so, through. We're dinosaurs. She said the line! Oh, yeah. she did the line! She did, she did the line! Woo! Yeah, she Woo! did it! Yeah! Woo! Clean, but judging by those teeth, I wouldn't I invite him over for dinner. dinner. You got it, Hope! That's Stinky for you. Da -da 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 -da. That's Stinky. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba all right, well, thanks for tuning into the stream, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful time. <laughs> All right, I think it's time we start wrapping things up. Yeah. I need to eat some food. Yeah, Zach's getting hungry, and yeah. it's 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 been a fun stream. I'm really happy with how things went. I'm sorry I couldn't answer the vast majority of the questions you asked, but there's a lot of questions. There were you guys many were questions that unfortunately went unanswered. I don't think Siege of Firebase Zulu by some guy was ever finished, but we will probably try. We'll play the uh, the Angels Encore for bounties in the future. Yes. No, we didn't meet Malcolm this stream. Sorry. Project Mojave, when that's done, we'll probably check that out. Yes. Glad you were able to join us for a stream. Um, if you want to see more streams, we do regularly do streams on Twitch separately. I do yes. streams on Fridays. Zach does his usually on Saturdays. And Mike, we, what's, your, what's your Twitch channel? Uh, it's in the video description. Our, our, there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of resources in the video description. I think on, yours is just Mike Burnfire. Mine is Zach Hazard. Yeah. Or Zach underscore Hazard. Those are our names on YouTube. Hello, what is this guy doing here? I will probably be streaming tomorrow. Don't listen to a word Novak says. He spouts okay. nothing but nonsense. Nice armor, Novak Settler. Cool. All right, that's that. Yeah, you join just as the stream is ending. Yep, yep well, that, that's a, that is what always happens. Oh, jeez. That is a discharge. Will I be streaming later tonight? Uh, probably not, because we just did a very long stream. It was quite a long stream, wasn't it? I'll probably do, like, a stream sometime between now and... I, I mean, I probably won't be able to do my normal Twitch streaming on Friday, because it's very busy next week. Zach, can you say my name angrily? Why the hell... Why would you think that I would just say your name angrily, the Derb Wanderer? Why would you think I would do that? No, I won't say your name angrily, the Derb Wanderer. Thank you, Chaos House 2. Thank you very much. Who is... Oh, is... <laughs> hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. One of the earliest videos that I did, the playtest for this. The Oh, man. That is an ancient video now. I don't even think it's public, but there was the, the, the first video on the channel of like the, 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 the precursor to you and I doing a New Vegas series was me going in here where there's a bunch of GMA clones. And they're all going, hey there, hey there, hey there. And one of them's naked. Yep. Anyway, this is what you get for telling someone into slavery. Ah! Ah! Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. You raised $19,773.66. Uh-oh. Hey, look, at, look who we found. The citizens of Novak. Oh, hey. Hello. Hello. It's me. Who are you? Well, my name family. is Zach, Family, is family, 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 family. I'm sorry, family. Zach. I couldn't hear you. Zach was talking over you. You want to travel with me? Are you sure? I'm sure. 
Well, I'll tell you what. If I die, it's all your fault. Let's go. Yay! Gun fetish perk added. Yay! Whee! All right. Hey, a little radiation never killed nobody. Except Mary Curie. <laughs> Mary Curie was the first person to discover radiation. Mary Curie was also the first person to discover dying of radiation. So if you haven't seen these before, these are Mike and Zach companions made by uh, Agent Fuse. Did a very good job on yes, them. Yes, he did. <laughs> it's your handiwork. You got it, Fuse. Thank you for making these guys, and thank you for your assistance moderating the stream today. Thank you very much for everybody that's been here. Even if you couldn't donate, even if you're not in a spot where you could donate and you just didn't have the ability to, thank you for joining us and uh, spending some time with us and being part of this birthday celebration where we celebrate my birthday by raising money for a good charity so that we can fight heart disease because heart disease fucking sucks. <laughs> I uh, I think we'll end things now. If there's anything else you guys want to say, now's the time to say it. But again, we're not, we're not going to be able to answer a lot of questions because we uh, there's a lot of questions. And we, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to answer any questions on our own streams. Thanks again for participating in this, our very first charity stream, which actually went our very well. Our very first one. It went incredibly well. Hopefully. I mean, there's always a chance we'll be done here and then we'll get a, a, note, a message from the American Heart Association. Hey, so... Uh, why are, Why did you send us a bill for $19,000? Oh, no! <laughs> we raised negative money <laughs> somehow. Oh, God. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you, everybody that wishes me a happy birthday. Yeah. Kill the clones? No, the clones helped us kill the Novak citizens. They're all right in my book. Yeah. Aren't you, Mike? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's Mike. All right, I'll talk to you later. See you again. And if you own Fallout New Vegas for PC, you can download these companions yourself, and uh, you can go on journeys with us while you're doing the mods, like while you're doing the quest that I made. You could journey with us. I, I will warn you in advance that I am far less interesting in person than I appear in this game. <laughs> you could recruit us and then do missions with that involve talking to people voiced by us. And while you're doing that, you can listen to us in the background on your phone or something. Yeah, that would be too... That's too much me. That's a lot of Zach and that's, Mike. That's too much me. There's never enough Zach. I don't like existing in my own head, much less listening to myself in triplicate. Zach is the alpha and omega. He exists everywhere. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, everybody, for joining. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you for the donations. And uh, I don't know if we'll do a YouTube stream anytime soon. Like I said, we do Twitch pretty regularly. But yeah. I'm glad we were able to do a YouTube stream and it, it went off largely without a hitch. Yes, indeed. Yes. Ah, survived another day. Yep, we were going to end it right there. All right. And we, we have received a gift. Oh, somebody gifted us something. Mike, while we were... you received a gift. Oh, I got a birthday gift while I was <laughs> streaming New Vegas with you. All right. I don't actually see what it is because it hasn't loaded because uh, Steam is kind of buggy like that. But apparently yeah. I got a gift. Yeah. Thank you. Do we have a podcast? We do. It's on the channel. Go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. You're probably on it right now. Thank you very much, Anonymous, for you, the $20. You can check the... Um, campfire videos and podcasts and other stuff. It's a playlist called... I think campfire stories and podcasts and stuff. Oh, see, there's an idea. Just open every single Fallout video and play them all at the same time. <laughs> I don't think you'd have the bandwidth. There's like 500 episodes at this point. It's a lot of episodes. Oh, you prefer YouTube? Twitch screws you over too much? Yeah, hopefully we will do a bit more YouTube in the future, but reliably we'll be on Twitch doing our own respective things. Yes, indeed. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, fart knocker in the testicle. We were very happy you were able to join us. Thank you, Wingnut Master. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Thank you, Wingmaster. Um, maybe... Oh, you got a copy of the Game Islanders. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for that, Frog. Yeah, actually, I think you would like that game, Mike. Uh, minimalist city, build oh, city Builder. All right. Yeah, it's a fun little game. I think you would like it. I might check that out. All right. I will perhaps do that on a stream or something like that. Oh. Everyone liked the stream, so it goes further in the algorithm. Thank you for saying so, Gary. I have no idea if that's actually going to work. Can we do more campfire stories? Yes. We, they come up organically. We're not going to force them, though. Um, yeah, you would need a lot of streams. That's true. You probably crashed your own computer trying to do that. Thank you, everybody. Even if you donated anonymously, thank you, everybody. Thanks. I can't say thanks enough. Thank you very, very much. Uh, this is the end of the stream, but I look forward to I look forward to us starting the 
uh, Dust playthrough tomorrow. The first episode of that will, will go live tomorrow. So if you want more Zack and Mike, you can see us there. And you can see how we do in the post-apocalyptic post nightmare that is Fallout Dust. Mm. Yes. All right. But enough stalling. I can tell Zack is itching to get out of here. He's very hungry. So You're the pee! We're going to go. Thank you again one last time. And have a good night. <laughs>